What's up, everybody? We're here, hanging and banging somehow, but fuck, man. So t pools are fucked. I'll say it right now. Pools are fucked. Pools are fucked. If you do a pool, do not expect it to happen. <laughs> if you get a pool, do not expect it to happen. Because right now I had to reinstall OBS. I was on, I've been doing it for the last hour trying to fix the fucking audio. It was not coming out at all. Audio, okay. Every setting I changed would not record audio or send audio, even though the, the the you know it's it's going through OBS, but I couldn't record it or say it, so I had to fucking reinstall audio, reinstall OBS, which just totally fucks all my, uh, you know, all my automation shit. So now it's like all fucked. Everything is fucked right now. We are dealing with it. Look at this. We can't see shit right now. Like I don't think. I, let me see if like fly feel fly works or something. Here, this is a test. But I figured it's better it is to do something than nothing, right? So I'm going to have to fix it, find out exactly what's exactly fucked. I think I can put most things on. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to have on? There's no fucking... There's... Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Extravagant, for the disaster stream fund. Yeah, I don't think any of the fucking... Oh, why are they working? My fucking... um, The fucking animations aren't working either. Classic. What a day, what a day, what a day. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Um, we're going to have fun no matter what. That's what I promise. All the nonsense might not be here, but the other fun stuff will be. Okay, You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we'll get through it together. Uh, I don't know where I am here, but um, what, you know what I have to do is... Okay, I'll figure this out. Don't you worry. I'll figure it out, and we're going to get to it. Uh, but we're going to have fun no matter what. So let's start... Now, um, I don't think, assume every automated thing you come to know and love on this show, it's gone. Just accept it. <laughs> but we're going to get together positively. All right. So before we get to that, let's move to some more positive style announcements. Let's get to some new cards, shall we? Some new cards are always fun to get us hyped for the day. And uh, you know what? I'm going to show you one right now that I think is pretty hype. This is from Dark Sea DeFil. We have Animal Farm. Animal Farmer in the house. Um, so there we go. Animal Farm card is now ready. Of course, you can't pull it today. So maybe I shouldn't even show these. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm tilted right now. Let me tell you right now, I'm tilted. I'm tilted. <laughs> All right, you know what? Fuck it. No more new cards. I have eight new cards. But you know what? You're going to wait till tomorrow to see them. We go through the Ask the King, all right? I'm not going to show any more cards that we can't even fucking see because, yeah, it sounds pretty dumb, you know what I'm saying? That is kind of dumb. Uh, but in any case, let's get to the point of today's show, which is the best buy, uh, the best buy arc of employment series part four. All right. Part four of the best buy series is here and now it's time to show it. All right. So that's what we're covering today. And, uh, to start that off, we're going to show, uh, some, some some messages from my favorite website and yours, SRK. And I'm going to show you this one. All right. So this is from DSP, from SRK. And uh, it's a message. He was putting together a little tournament known as ECC. Okay. ECC was the name of that tournament. All right. And, yeah, don't try visions either. Visions don't work. I have to fix them all. I had no time, guys. No time. There's no fucking time. I had to get the, you know, enough to stream and I have to put it all together and that's going to take hours. So uh, I'll do it after this. Tomorrow we'll be back and running, I promise. But don't try anything. If you spend anything, but, but you will waste your, you're wasting your coin right now. So don't do it. I'll do it all tonight. But anyways, this first, now go back to the store. I'm not talking about it anymore. <laughs> I'm not talking about it anymore. Everything's fucked. Assume everything's fucked. Okay. We're back to action. All right. SRK, ECC tournament happened, right? And uh, Phil was in charge of setting it up, okay? He was the one in charge of setting up this beautiful tournament, okay? And he, as you can see here, I'm reading this, just so everyone knows, I'm working hard on ECC. Of course, he wanted everyone to know he's working hard on ECC. Sound good? Uh, and uh, he has purchased new controls for every cabinet to be used at ECC. Eight perfect 360 joysticks, four ultimate switch sticks for ST, 72 new buttons, 25 replaceable switches for all caps if anything breaks down. 
I'm also working on purchasing two MVC2 boards, and we will have four cameras on the tournament. I've also purchased two Xbox 360s for the DOA4 tournament. And finally, this is the key point. And finally, I've secured three TVs and four PS2s myself for all console events. That sentence is the key sentence. I have secured three TVs and four PS2s myself for all console events. So we should be all set if nobody donates anything. However, I plan on getting a few donated setups. So combined with Wigfall's work and some newbie six donated, we should be 100% good. Please, if you could donate anything, post or PM me. I like that sentence. If you, please, if you could donate anything, please. <laughs> okay, so that's the setting the stage, right? He's getting hyped. He's getting equipment. All right, we're getting equipment for this tournament. It's going to be hype, right? Later down, later down that very same thread, we get some bad news. Ba -ba -da -ba. Here's some news for you. Let me get out of here, Derek. Why is Derek here? Derek's just like flexing on us all, owning us all. Okay, here's some news for you. I have been suspended from work at Best Buy for two days because of a pending investigation of the HR department. I purchased three PS2s. Remember those PS2s he just rec he just uh, he just got a few days ago for use at ECC, and we used my employee discount, which was a whopping ninety cents off each one. I came in the next day, and my store manager had me writing up a statement saying that the PS2s were for my personal use since I'm a tournament director of ECC and basically not trying to give them to anybody else or sell them for profit, which would be a violation of the terms of the employment discount policy. I'm thinking everything is fine. Then I come into work this morning and a manager says that HR is investigating me and I'm being suspended for at least 48 hours until they are finished. All this over $2.70. I could have easily bought these PS2s elsewhere, but I figured, hey, I work at Best Buy. I could just pick them up there. What the fuck? I just can't catch a break, man. All right. So just to recap, Phil is making this tournament of called ECC. He says he secured the PS2s. Later that very same day, he posts this message. He is getting an appending investigation for the employee discount. All right. Not done. Not done yet. Not done with the news. Let's go to our next slide here. That very uh, two days later, he said, I just got fired from my job. They provided me no proof of any wrongdoing at all. Just said that the corporate office decided to terminate me on grounds of violating the employee purchase policy. I even had it in writing, but there's no evidence whatsoever. Now I have to, one, look for a new job, and two, pray that unemployment doesn't say I'm ineligible because I was terminated. Okay? Uh, as amazing as this sounds, it's actually pretty much true for any multi-million dollar company. Any person at any time is expendable. So, yeah. The next few days, I'll be uh, applying around for jobs, okay? So that's the three-part arc of this story. He was absolutely fired from his job because of that employee discount. But the drama doesn't stop. The drama does not stop there, all right? The drama does not stop. Today, it's very thick. It is very thick for all of us. <laughs> Speaking of thick, Liquid Swords in the house says, Yeah, man, you can file for unemployment. They have to give you a pink slip. The only way you can't get unemployment is if either you, they, is if either you, they not approve of it, which is less likely, or quit. Not like I know about that or something. So this person, Liquid Swords, is trying to help the situation, all right? We're trying to help the situation. Not done yet. Not done yet. Uh, can you sue for wrongful termination? As far as I know, if they can't document why you were fired, then they have no right to do so. Okay, so this is Phil's response to that idea. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can. I talked to a friend's mom last night, and she told me I should go to the Department of Labor first thing Monday, explain what happened, and demand a hearing. According to her, the Department of Labor is extremely pro-worker, and they will probably try to convince me to get a case going against Best Buy. The only problem is I have no idea how much time and money it will cost to get a lawyer and do this. 
Right now, if I don't get unemployment in the next couple of weeks, I will start defaulting on bills and then GGPO and good game peace out credit. Now, this statement right here got me. I was confused. I said, GGPO, that's that's the fucking um, the the Cannon Brothers net code. What they called it back in the day was GGPO. And that's what, you know, what eventually, that's what Street Fighter still run on today. It's not called GGPO anymore, but he's saying good game, peace out to his credit. As in the thing he fucked up with his bankruptcy many years later. That's what he's talking about. Uh, so it's not some kind of credit system like I first thought. <laughs> oh, it's still called GGPO. Big ups. So anyways, the case will probably take a year or more just to get to court. And as long as Best Buy agrees to pay unemployment anyway, the only thing I'll have to gain is actually getting get my job back which is not going to work out since I'm sure it's going to be super uncomfortable to go back there after getting canned. <laughs> after getting canned. At any rate, I'll be applying for unemployment on Monday and we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. So hopefully if this ever happens to any one of you, you will know what to do as well. So he was fired for, for what he says is not cause. They don't have any cause yet to fire him, right? He talked to his friend's mom, and she told me to go to the Department of Labor first thing Monday, explain what happened to Amanda Hearing. Well, that actually did happen. I have one more slide here about Best Buy, and uh, you can get fired for using this. This is someone else, not Philip Burnell, saying this. He said, uh, yes, you can. I believe the PS2 at that time wasn't allowed to be purchased under the employee discount, so it was against the rules to buy the PS2 on your employee discount. Doesn't matter how much it's for, it, you are not allowed to do that under your PS2 discount, Okay. Sure, he only got a couple of dollars off the system, but it was still against company po company policy, I think. In fact, Best Buy might have taken a loss on that transaction, too. So this is from someone else. I don't know if it's true or not, you know, but <laughs> that's the case, is that um, it was against company policy to buy new things, this person is guessing, PS2s, may, probably, under the employee discount, and Philip Burnell chose to do that. So again, yes, it's, it's, it's a small amount of money, but it might have been against the employee discount uh, you know, the employee discount. So what the fuck, you know, break the rules, find, fuck around and find out what happens. Right. So Philip did go to the unemployment office and he did, uh, you know, take some action here. And this is a public document. I'm not uh, leaking anything. You can't find yourself online. There's a state of Connecticut department of labor, employee security appeals division, board of review, 38 Walcott Hill, uh, in Connecticut and uh, Philip P. Burnell, and uh, this is Best Buy Stores, and this is Phillips K. This is the decision of the ruling. He went there on Monday, uh, filled this out, and here is the result of what happened. I'm not going to read all this, uh, but the interesting parts are um, the employer filed a timely appeal, the Board of Review, acting under authority, blah, blah, blah. So he filed a timely appeal of Best Buy's decision to not want to pay unemployment because he was fired for cause. That is what Best Buy claimed. DSP, however, said that is not true. Now, here's the issue. The referee ruled that the employer discharged the claimant for reasons other than willful misconduct in the course of his employment. In support of this appeal for the referee's decision, the employer reiterates its intention that the claimant purchased game consoles at a discount in order to earn a profit holding video game tournaments. The employer maintains that the claimant knew that he was violating company policy by using the employee discount to purchase equipment for use in a personal business. The employer also maintains that the claimant can organize future tournaments such that he will ultimately use the items he purchased for a profitable business. So what I take from this is Best Buy say, hey, motherfucker. Yeah, this tournament you're talking about now, maybe you're not using that for profit. You, you could use it for profit, right? He told a video game tournament for an entry fee. That's the key, right? There's an entry fee to all this shit. So he's saying you could use that for your entry fee. And also you could use it in future tournaments, right? How do we know about that? Right? How do we know? So the issue for the board is whether the employer discharged the claimant for willful misconduct in the course of his employment. Because if he did that, if he was discharged for willful dis misconduct, uh, then they don't have to, they don't have to pay him unemployment. He doesn't have to get any unemployment. All right. So then we get the provisions of law nonsense. Um, uh, blah blah blah. Deliver misconduct is willful disregard of the employee's interest or a single knowing violation of a reasonable and uniformly enforced rule or policy of the employer. Okay? So, you know, that's like, if you, that's, they're explaining what it is. So here's the findings where we want to be at, okay? In the case before us, the claimer received an employee discount of $2.70, <laughs> which is my favorite. 
<laughs> of three video game consoles used in a tournament that he volunteered to organize. Although the tournament participants each contributed $10 to defray the cost of the event, the referee found the claimant credible in testifying that he did not make a profit. So would you love to hear Phil Burdell's testifying? <laughs> I wish I could hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he he is testif testifying that he did not make a profit, did not intend to organize a similar attempt in any way. Here is the link slash enthusiast. Uh, it's all public documents there. Uh, uh, but uh, to organize any similar tournaments, uh, blah, 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 that he not make a profit, did not intend to organize any similar tournaments and has retained the consoles for his personal use. There is nothing in the record that would cause us to overturn the referee's credible determination. Um, uh, but, but the claimant made no attempt to hide the transaction, which only resulted in a very minimal discount for the claimant. We thus concur in the referee's conclusion that the claimant did not knowingly violate the employer's discount policy. Okay, so he didn't knowingly uh, violate because when you you fuck up, you have to know you fucked up to to get out, right? So we found that the parties have not offered any argument in support of or in opposition to the appeal. Which would disturb the referee's finding of fact. We further find that the findings are supported by the record and that the conclusion reached by the referee is consistent with those findings, blah, 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 blah. Accordingly, we adopt the referee's findings of fact and decision. Philip Burnell is allowed to get unemployment. And I saw your question, um, utterly insane. And uh, the question is, uh, who pays unemployment? I believe that uh, companies have to pay uh, uh, unemployment insurance, I believe. To pay that, so it's not like it comes out of their pocket. I might be spouting bullshit here, but in my understanding, I do have a business degree, but I'm not a, re a legendary. I'm not a legendary business owner like Philip Burnell. I don't think the company just straight up pays him, but they pay an insurance, and then there's an insurance company that pays that out. But Best Buy is just saying, "Fuck you, I'm not paying for this bullshit." So in the end, what happened here? Right? Yeah, empl empl employ you pay part. You pay part of your paycheck into that as well. That is correct. Uh, every 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 paycheck, some people take it. And um, it goes in. So it, it goes into that kind of pool and then unemployment comes out of that. So Best Buy is saying, though, that, hey, fuck it, man. We don't want to pay that. And over $2.70, as many of you probably allude to, I believe there was other factors at play, right? <laughs> There's definitely other factors at play. It's not over $2.50. No one does that. No one. No one's going to make that happen, right? No one on earth is going to do that. But you know what? But but if they have other reasons to hate his work, then that's a good enough reason for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I think happened. Do we ever know what's going to happen? No. But I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right, guys? I mean, you don't just it's not like fun to fire. To, it's not like you go looking for people to fire because it's annoying to fire people. Right. But if you have cause reason to fire people you find any reason you can so it's like fuck uh he made a little mistake here that's good enough for me and then he's out the door um is what i think okay but there's two sides to every story here in wpig 6051 stratford connecticut uh there's all different ways we can go through this and now we're going to hear a lot of uh dsp's reasoning for that and before we get to that before we get to that i want to open up the dictionary here and this is very important for our future learning, and this will be on the test. So I want you to remember, keep this in your mind, okay? This is very important, and it's you're going to be quizzed on this later, all right? Let's open up Cambridge, all right? And I'm going to put in here frame, okay? Frame. This is the key point we're going to get to. All right, so frame, obviously, it can be a noun, but that's not what we're interested in here. We're interested in the verb form, all right? Where's the verb form? Get to the verb. Okay, and we're going to get to this to make a person seem to be guilty of a crime when they are not by producing facts or information that are not true. I will read that one more time because it's going to be extremely important to our story later on. All right. So here we go. What is framing? Okay. Framing is to make a person seem to be guilty of a crime when they are not by producing facts or information that are not true, okay? I'm going to keep that tab up because we're going to be going back there a lot, okay? So remember that frame, all right? Now, the fun can begin. The fun can begin. Uh, before we get to that, though, I do have a little tiny clip to play that's just for fun, for my own enjoyment here, 
from uh, the the legendary episode known as of the Dense Sea Scrolls called A Desperate Measure. And Best Buy has a very small part to play in this. Uh, so let's listen to it real quick. It says anything under 4.5 inches is quite... Right, play for me. Hang on. I know you could hear it, but I couldn't. All right, here we go. Sorry. Rare, because even short penises <laughs> tend to be reasonably... Oh, hold on, this... Hold on, An Angela's got to say something here real quick. Listen to Angela here. Five inches is quite... Scientist. Yeah. <laughs> like, 4.5 is quite rare. Quite rare. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I need I need to know Phil's reaction. I need yeah, to know Phil's reaction. We're getting there, yep. It's quite rare because <laughs> she said quite rare. <laughs> like quite is kind of a proper word. Yeah. <laughs> she says quite rare. Four point five is quite uh, Angela, by the way, just said that four point five inches girth is quite rare. Rare. <laughs> like she's a scientist. Yeah. It says anything under 4.5 inches is quite rare because even <laughs> short penises tend to be reasonably That's thick. Really oh, even short penises tend to be reasonably thick. Angela is a, I mean, I'm surprised Angela doesn't get much support. I know that most people love Taco Chan, but Angela is, is something else. <laughs> he said right! He Did said he say right! right? He said right! How? Oh, dude! Even short penises tend to be reasonably thick. Right. <laughs> DSP says right. Oh, it's <laughs> right. Oh, sorry. I just he wanted said, to hear that because it's funny. But here comes the Best Buy mention. Tend to be reasonably thick. Right. <laughs> the that is the best. Best. Uh, yeah, yes, that was definitely laughing. I think I think she's she's right to be honest. I have a uh, a Best Buy register receipt we, which I have drawn. Here we go. Out. Here we go. <laughs> I said the same thing. <laughs> How did I manage to say the exact same word in the exact same way? You want to see a desperate measure? Oh, we don't see it. Oh, you want to no, hear? No, you hear, no, 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 no. You want to hear a desperate measure? DSP just got a Best Buy receipt. Oh, God, no. Scrollers, Dead Sea Scrollers, all of us among us, among everyone just assembled here today enjoying this archaeological dig. Oh, God. Would you, would you like to hear a desperate measure? We're about to. Let's listen in. Oh, no. I register receipt. I think she's she's right, to be honest. I have a, uh, <laughs> a Best Buy register receipt, which I have drawn inches on. And, uh... <laughs> what, what better way to use a Best Buy receipt? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, I think she's Damn. correct. Best Let's Buy is way. now Best Buy. It's your dictate from Best Buy. Best oh. Buy. <laughs> Best Buy. We know girls. Okay. DSP is now measuring his penis. Man, this this will be discarded promptly after this experiment, but give me a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, <yeah>. it. <laughs> He's got us the real reason. <laughs> promptly after this experiment. <laughs> the penis pills to his goddamn penis. Oh, he's really doing it. <clears throat> he's doing it. I've okay, anyways, if you want to watch it, if you want to hear that episode, I, I kind of want to hear his, 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 uh, his, uh, his measurement re results. I heard some success stories. You know, you're not. Success? I can't. Yeah, I don't have no idea. Come on, Phillips. Don't take that long. Pills or maybe some Medicaid science on the market. <laughs> that is. Use of maxi. <laughs> Crap. Okay, we're going to stop it there. But if you want to watch the episode, it's there. Then see scrolls. The episode is called A Desperate Measure. Philip does measure his penis there. And uh, yeah, it, it's a great episode. One of the best. Six hours long or something. <laughs> yeah, six hours and 28 minutes long during the summer of ALT. That was a classic one. Okay, back to the issue at hand. Okay, back to the issue at hand. <laughs> DSP's going to tell us all about his time at Best Buy. And we have many, many clips to go. And uh, let's go. I remember when they came out. I was working at Best Buy the year that the Xbox 360 was launched, okay? There's two different kinds of pad. There's the wired and there's the wireless. <clears throat> Excuse me, something's tickling my throat. And uh, and I was asked them, and they said, absolutely not. We haven't even seen those for like three years. Look at all these beautiful fucking, beautiful fucking uh, measure, beautiful fucking figures going on here. Very cool, very chill. This was October 4th, 2011, and that was the first mention of working at Best Buy. Next. Oh, God. I ended up working for in an apartment, and I thought I was going to have steady income, and the job didn't work out. I ended up working for Best Buy for less than... Oh, by the way there, he just says his last job didn't work out. That was a predatory loan one where they asked him if he wanted to work there, and he chose not to. Because I had moved out of my parents' house. I had spent all this money to live in an apartment, uh -huh. and I thought I was going to have steady income, and the job didn't work out. I ended up working... Job didn't work out when you left it. Sound good? For Best Buy... 
for less than Wait, a let year. Me say no pool. Within that year, which looked really good when I started working for them because I was on this elite business team. I was getting paid a lot. Elite business team. He was on the elite business team. <laughs> I was on the elite business team. Sound good? All right, let's go. A lot of money. I was supposed to be selling. When what? I started working for them because I was on this elite business team, I was getting paid a lot of money. I was supposed <laughs> to be selling uh, like high-end electronics and stuff to people. My boss got fired for embezzlement. Our team had absolutely no leadership. And then slowly but surely, Best Buy realized that this elite business team was not a good idea. And they tried to <laughs> find ways to get rid of us without outright laying us off, which means they would have had to pay unemployment. Okay, so let's hear that. So now we're getting some new lore. Okay, this is, I believe, I don't remember this story. But he says, the, the, they're embez they're, okay, so the boss was getting in trouble for embezzlement. Embezzlement. And slowly but surely, Best Buy realized that this elite business team was not a good idea, and they tried to find ways to get rid of us without outright laying us. They try they've tried to find reasons to fire them now. So they were looking for reasons to fire them because of that. Off, which means they would have had to pay unemployment. So they framed me for trying to abuse the store discount. Framed me for trying to use the employee discount, to abuse the employee discount. Even though the transaction, they tried to say that I abused the store discount, I saved 40 cents. So that's how You saved $2.70, sir. How fucking stupid these idiots were. So basically, I got fired from Best Buy for being framed for abusing a store discount. So I know this is semantics, but that is not the right way to say framed. He was not framed. <laughs> that was not a framing. He did the crime. He abused employee discount. He used employee discount when he shouldn't have. The only thing they, they found, the only thing that the, the, the thing that the, you know, the only thing the court documents state is that he didn't make a profit from them, right? He didn't make a profit from that, which, you know, it, it, it's, it's not a framing, okay? It's not a framing. So within a, a year and a half, all this happened to me. And now I was forced to move out of my apartment and move back in with my parents until I basically worked off enough debt and found a steady job. And luckily for me, I did find a steady job. And that ended up being my job of five years, my full-time job. And I was able to work off a lot of my debt. I was eventually able to save Korski. up enough money that I could buy this condo. And Korski. then even look at that. Then I ended up losing that job. But the thing is... I <laughs> How'd <never> that happen? <laughs> so he didn't sue them, Squid? I said the question, did he sue them? It wasn't a suing situation. It's a situation where you have to go to the unemployment office and just explain your situation, and they kind of take care of it. So it's not like you had to get a lawyer and stuff. It's just like you go there, they help people that have those kind of problems, and kind of tell you what, they kind of take care of it. I never gave up. I never said, fuck this, I quit. I'm just going to go work at fucking McDonald's, or I'm not even going to work. I'm just going to sit around and leech off my parents. I was never like that. Oh, what but a man. What a I legend. stayed positive. I had friends who were supportive. I had family uh -huh. that was supportive. And, uh, and I really just felt that if I just stayed positive, I said, look, everyone's shooting me down with negativity. I believe in myself, and I know that I have positive qualities that people want to see. Uh -huh. And fuck, people will pay for, whether it's in a Ooh. boardroom where I'm leading a, 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 a uh -huh. continuous improvement meeting, whether it's here making a, a funny, entertaining video on YouTube. I what? have qualities that people like. So... I'm going to find an outlet for them. And eventually here I did. So I really still, I know it's, again, it's a fairy tale. And now it sounds like it's too good to be true. But at least in my life experience, staying positive and not letting negativity keep me down. Even getting get shot down continuously. I've always took a shot, took the chance. And now, at least in the... Whether I was in, hear what he said, the boardroom. I was in a boardroom leading a continuous improvement meetings. Okay. The current state that I'm living in. Things are working out for me. So uh -huh. that's my personal experience. That's how I stay positive. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a shit. Take a sip. Best Buy for a time. No, I'm sorry. It was Circuit City. No, it was Best Buy. When I was working uh -huh. for Best Buy, he randomly came into the store. And I said, excuse me. You know, I, don't, I'm, I apologize. This is a wrestler. He met a wrestler at Best Buy. Guys, if, you know, this is out of place, but are you Steven Richards? He said, yes, I am. I said, wow, I'm actually a fan of yours. We shook hands. And first of all, the guy is fucking tall as hell. He oh, doesn't God. look tall on TV. The guy was towering above me. I said, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I kind of want to wonder what you're doing after this. Maybe we can get some dinner. And, you know, I've been watching you for a long time on ECW, also on WWE. 
but I noticed recently they're not using you. Like, you're not on TV. What the hell happened? <laughs> Where do you hear this? This is a true story. I swear to God. He says, well, Phil, here's what happened. We were at a company Christmas party. One of the VPs of WWE got drunk uh -huh. and said something about my wife, and I punched him in his fucking face. <laughs> Okay, I can't. Too much cringe. We're out of that one. Bye bye. That's zero percent. I worked at Best Buy several years ago when the PlayStation Three came out and the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty too. I worked there for both. People both. were sitting outside of the store two days before the system came out in a lawn chair and a fucking full body parka in case it rained, waiting for the system to come out. Okay. Were they waiting with their arms like that, like a Karen? That's what they were waiting like, sir. He does the arms. Look at that. <laughs> he does the arms like, we're waiting. Look at that. <laughs> Chair and a fucking full body park what? in case it rained, <laughs> waiting for the system. <laughs> yeah, that's how they were waiting. Like a Karen like you. Something to come out, okay? During the release of the PlayStation 3, someone caught pneumonia and almost died outside of the Best Buy I worked at. This, back in the day, man, he would say whatever the fuck he wanted without even questioning how true it was. Just say stuff. Someone got pneumonia and almost died. Yeah, how would you know that? Yeah, that's how insane these fucking people are, okay? Uh -huh, so insane, There's dude. no reason to go to that means to get a launch system. That's ass fucking insane, and I guess it goes along with the theme of this fucking ass fucking insane video, the insanity. That's ass fucking insane, and I guess it goes along with Whoa. the theme of this fucking video, the insanity. Who in their right minds would do something like that? I have not a fucking clue. Uh -huh. And obviously, yeah. my back. Who would have 18 million soldiers behind them with? Who would have a, a condo like this at, in combination with that beard set up? That's the insane thing. Back injury? No. Like oh. that, I have not a fucking clue. And uh -huh. obviously with my back injury, no. <laughs> it doesn't... It's, I get into my back injury. It makes sense for me to be trying to sit outside of a gaming store for two fucking days to try to get a console uh -huh. on launch, okay? Okay. So, that being said... I'm hey. hoping that I can get my foot in the door with GameStop, and tomorrow I'll try to talk. I'll notify the store manager or whatever. Listen, as soon as this thing's... Uh-oh, let me... Excuse me? Can I speak to your store manager? I'm on YouTube. Ever heard of it? I work there, okay? That's what he's gonna do. That is absolutely what he's gonna do. Excuse me, can I talk to your manager? Yeah, yeah, I'm from YouTube. Ever heard of it? It's a website, okay? And I work there. I would like to sp speak to you about your upcoming console launches. Thank you. I flew in the door with GameStop, and tomorrow <laughs> I'll try to talk. I'll notify the store manager or whatever. Listen, as soon as this thing's ready to be reserved, you call me. I will come to the store and pay for everything so that I can come and get it on launch day. Okay, so you want to be the normal buyer of the systems. Yeah, call me special, sir. Could you get the call? You know, when I once worked at a mall, when, uh... When Panda Express had the fresh orange chicken, they would call me. I'm looking to get the same system here, if you don't mind. So if it is November 11th, I guess that week's going to be a pretty crazy... <laughs> there she blows, the calendar. We've struck, we've struck schedule, boys. La schedule ho. <laughs> yeah, look at the red marks on the neck. You're right. Schedule ho, boys. Watch out, Chun-Li. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> you can get a suntan off the shine. <laughs> crazy week because you're going to have... Look at the sway. Holy shit, look at the sway. It's November 11th. Watch this. I guess that week's going to be a pretty crazy well, week because you're going to have... Let... This is... He must be on a ship right now. This is... He's on a cruise ship. I didn't know that. Few people know, but his condo was on a cruise ship. The Wii U coming out on Sunday... And Call of Duty Black Ops 2 coming out that Tuesday, that would be an insane week of gaming. Like, insane. all the hardcore, you know, Call of Duty people, all the hardcore Nintendo people. Dogs and cats so living together. People, all the hardcore Nintendo people. I don't know. So <laughs> this is the rare, it, it, he rarely does this, but he didn't have a comment and he just gave up. That's very rare. Usually he'll at least fall back to a shit joke. We didn't even get that in this case. Look at this. All duty people, all the hardcore Nintendo people. I don't know. But that's exciting <laughs> because if, if the Wii U does actually come out, that could be potentially 
some games that we didn't think were coming out this year that could come out and actually maybe tip the <laughs> scales a little bit. We got J Dogs. So, so much swing. It looks like a Richter 7 Quake. Exactly, dude. Look at this swing. He's out of control for right 2012. now. It's been, like I said, it's been kind of a slow year for good uh, games. And maybe so this slow, is an dude. opportunity to, to flip that. Who knows? But Who knows, dude? I'll give you more information as it's available. I'll ask tomorrow when I go to pick up Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Great. And let everyone know what's going on. Can't out, wait. So. Gonna be hyped, dude. That's it for the channel update for now. As you can hear, I don't hear any sound outside now, but I'm kind of skeptical now to do anything because I have no idea what's really going on. You know what I mean with this fucking roof? roof. Once I tell my parents that that my back porch is a mess, they're gonna flip. I'll tell you right now, because they were they did it as nice. Oh, they're gonna flip. Favor to me, and now it's been ruined by these fucking assholes. So, I'll tell what? you right now, because they were they did it as nice. Once I tell my parents that that my back porch is a mess, they're gonna flip. I'll tell you right now. They were, they did it as a nice thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So his parents cleaned his back porch? Give it to me and now it's been ruined by these fucking assholes, so. Okay, you, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. His parents came and fixed something back there and then the roofers fucked it up and then he's like, my parents are gonna fucking flip. You could clean it up, you know? You could, I mean, you could make sure it looks fine after they're done. Damn. Regardless, I thanks for it. bearing with me. I know this has been a long video, but a bunch of crazy shit to talk about. Oh yeah, so crazy. Dude. I'll be tweeting and also oh, Facebooking God, can't wait for the about tweet. what's going on, so people oh, will please know if later today there will be. Fuck out of here. We're done. Next, ask the king. From Best Buy. I'm in a shit, to... shit mood today. Version of the employment series. Get ready. Bill, can you refresh our minds about the incident where you got fired from Best Buy? Because you tried to purchase two consoles with the employee discount. Uh -huh. I know that you made a thread about it on SRK. That's sureyoucan.com, which is 100 years ago I, I made a thread about it. Ah, uh, yeah, 100 years ago. Don't check out what I wrote there. It's 100 years ago. Don't worry about what I said there. It's 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. But that thread is long gone now that there have been multiple software changes that occur every couple of years. And nope, it's not gone. I can show you to you today. I just already showed it to the lovely people here today. The thread got deleted. Can you retell the story? Uh -huh. And that's from Jolly African American. Sure. <laughs> All right. That's the best name so far. That's the best name so far. Let me, let's hear it one more time. Well, years and the thread got deleted. Can you retell the story? And that's from Jolly African American. Sure. And I'll, I'll, I'll make it short sure. and sweet. Yeah. But basically, back in, I think it was around 2006, 2007, I worked for Best Buy. Now, I wasn't just a regular store employee. They actually hired me. I was better than that. Me because of my college degree and my expertise in electronics, they actually had hired me to work on the business team. Now, what Business team. Okay, so Geek Squad? What this was, it was called Best Buy for Business. It was a brand new initiative that Best Buy was starting. So, <laughs> okay. I don't, if any, did anyone else work in this in the chat right now? Please tell me how high up these people were. Or was it just more, you know, lowly grunts that go out there and take care of the business thing instead of residential? Please tell me. Nationwide, where there would be a team of experts in the store who knew more about technology than any of the, just the, the regular employees. Uh, oh, God. Can you imagine? Excuse me, guys. We're the experts. Uh, dude, you're just in the business team. Yeah, we're the experts, okay? We are hired for expertise, okay? Watch out. And it would be our goal to try to sell... Multiple computers, networking, this kind of stuff. So, that, so your list of special things is two. Computers and networking stuff. To small business owners, okay? Uh -huh. So we'd be trying to find people who own their own business and sell them laptops, computers. Holy shit, dude, you sold them laptops? That's high level. Well, you sold laptops? Holy shit, this guy's a big deal. Working, and we actually had the Geek Squad. There were some people in the Geek Squad who were part of this. Okay. You know, the Geek Squad is the people who do, like, computer repairs and installations they the ones that actually know how to do stuff unlike you and they would be trained highly to do networking and we'd actually have people go set up networks and stuff for businesses they would be trained highly well i worked for them for a little bit under a year okay, okay. Why, what why ended up stop? happening was within the course of that year best buy spent way too much money on the promotion then they found out that a lot of the people who were involved in the promotion were corrupt meaning some people were actually going out and getting contacts with small businesses and then doing consulting for them on the side rather than doing it through Best uh -huh. Buy, okay. undercutting Best Buy, uh -huh. and therefore Best Buy was getting screwed. Uh -huh. uh, and bo bottom line is within a year, hey, Best Buy said this was a bad idea. Does not work. Son of a bitch. My bell is fucked too. This is a nightmare situation. This is the worst stream ever. We're going to get through it together though. Just pretend it's a normie stream and you'll be fine. Yeah, we're doing normie style. Go ahead. The Best Buy Bell. Bing!
I'll fix it today. We don't want to do it anymore. We're paying the people who are on this business team more than anyone else in the store besides management. Uh -huh. And there was a lot of conflict. So mm -hmm. what Best Buy decided to do, instead Best of doing Buy? the right thing and saying, okay, listen, everyone, we screwed up. We're going to try to get rid of Best Buy for business. Uh -huh. And we're going to dissolve you into the, 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 the stores as management. They tried to find as ways to... As management. Instead of dissolve you in the store as management. Why do you think you deserve management? <laughs> Yeah, they wanted you to be management so much, they decided just to let you fucking go. Sound good? <laughs> Does that work? Does that work the same as you expect? Uh-huh. Instead of hiring us as management. Right. 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 Sound good? Uh-huh. That's what you wanted? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Sounds good? Hey, I got it. That wasn't too much work. Go. Fire and lay off the people who are on the Best Buy for Business team. Uh -huh. So they actually tried to, to frame me. Yes, Best Buy, this company who everyone goes to in shops, they tried to illegally frame me and say that I abused the store discount. So that illegally? Oh, so that, that, okay, real quick. Just want to be sure so everyone knows out there. There is sometimes you can legally frame people then, clearly, since this was an illegal framing. As opposed to the legal framing, you know, those are commonplace. Illegal framing, though, watch out. Those are tough. Those are rare, okay? This was an illegal framing. Shops, they tried to illegally frame me okay. and say that I abused the store discount so that they could fire me mm -hmm. and basically get me off the payroll. So here's what happened, okay? Oh, no. Okay, okay. oh, I can't wait for this because I have not heard this so far because I knew this was... One of, some of you know it's going to be jackpot for the show, so I don't even fucking listen. But let's hear what he's going to say because he... Remember... He was fired because of abusing the employee discount, but let's get real, there was other stuff involved too, you know what I'm saying? I know, <laughs> Phil, of course, saying that they wanted to get rid of these people anyway, but, okay, so he, let's see what he says here. He has to explain away now what, what he didn't do, because remember, the employee discount was not supposed to be used for this kind of shit, but let's see what he did. Okay. Take a sip. Basically... There's a store discount when you work for Best Buy. It's pretty good. It was basically the cost of whatever the item it was that you were buying plus a certain margin for shipping and storage costs. Uh -huh. So when I was there, I bought a lot of stuff. In fact, I just talked about my surround sound system and all that. I bought that stuff when I worked at Best Buy because it was a huge discount. So a lot of stuff I had purchased completely legitimately under the store discount. Okay, you heard it there. He bought a lot of stuff completely legitimately. So that means what's coming up was not legitimately, at least in his mind at this time, okay? So he said, I bought it completely legitimately. Now let's hear what, what was not completely legitimately, right? Let's go. Well, all of a sudden they said, we got to figure out how to fire Phil. What do we do? <laughs> yeah. The whole world's against the main character of the universe, Philip Bernal. We got to figure out how to fire Phil Bernal, boys. What do you think? Yeah, see? We're going to get him on one of his employee discounts, you see? That will never work, sir. He's too smart for that. He has a business degree. Oh, yeah, right. See? Okay, well, let's think of something else. I see he bought a couple of PS2s recently, boys. Hey, we could just put him in management, right? No, he's not ready. We can't do that. He's smarter than us. <laughs> He was an elite member. We hired him in our highest business manager, our highest business portion of the, of the, of the company here. He's doing the grunt work. <laughs> what did they do? Well, at that time, during that year, I was actually one of the tournament organizers for East Coast Championships, which <laughs> at the time was the largest tournament. Oh, now we're going to talk up ECC. Largest tournament on the universe at this point. On the East Coast of the United States, it was considered a major at Oh, I got major. At the time. Mm -hmm. Well, it was bigger than Evo. And uh, I was one of the co-organizers along with Josh Wigfall, who's a well-known player from the New York area. And I was basically getting all of the resources together, the monitors, the consoles, everything. And so this, that year, all the games were still being played on PS2. This was before PS3 mm -hmm. had come out, okay? Okay. And most of the major games occurred in Third, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, Capcom vs. SNK 2. This was back when those games were still actively being played in the tournament scene before Street Fighter 4 had come out. And they were all being played on PlayStation 2. Okay. So I only had one, and I needed to buy more for the tournament. Now, per the store discount policy, it says anything you buy for, for the store discount has to be for your own personal use. You can't yep. buy it and give it 
uh, as a gift. You can't buy it for your friend and give it to them. Yeah. These were for my own personal use. In fact, I still own them. I still have these PlayStation 2s no one in gives my a closet. Fuck. No one one gives of them a is shit. actually currently hooked up to my TV, and I have two more in my closet. So they were for my own personal use. Uh -huh. The fact that I was using them for a tournament was beside the fact. So I... Was that beside the fact? I mean, you were making money from the entry fee. I hope you talk about the entry fee, right? I know the entry fee was to defray the cost, but it's not insane to think that you might take home the extra, like any other business, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see what they say. Okay. But, that, but that's besides the point, though. Okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I bought them with my store discount. Did I even ask for my store discount? No. Whenever someone who's a store employee bought something at the store, they gave you your store discount. So I purchased these three, and guess how much money I saved on these consoles? Forty cents each. <clears throat> and that's... Forty cents each. That's because if people who don't know is that when when retail stores sell consoles, controllers, anything that's hardware, they don't make any money on it. They actually sell it at cost. Okay, it's the software that they make money off of. Uh -huh. So the store literally forty cent discount. I saved no money on this. Get the hint. That's how much they wanted your ass out. I bought these consoles. A week later, I come in and I told I'm suspended. Go home. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? They said, we can't, we can't talk to you about it. You're suspended. Go home. So then I get called. Okay, let, let's just check on. Let's, let's fact check here, right? That's what we're here for, okay? So let's go back to that. Um, Got to fix that. Okay. Oh, not that one. That's a new card. Oops. Oopsie. This one. I was suspended from work at Best Buy for two days because of pending investigation. So it sounds like they told him what it was, actually. Uh, I just purchased three bits to print and use my employee discount. I used my employee discount and used my employee discount, which was a whopping 90 cents. Oh, I thought it was 40. Oh, I thought it was. You, you made sure to say it was 40 cents off, though. Huh? What? So 90 cents off each one. I came in the next day. A man store manager had me writing up a state. Oh, let's see what he says there. Let's see if we get to that point. But it was 90 cents off, and they did tell him it was a pending investigation. Okay, let's go. Come in to come in a week later. I come in a week later. The store manager's in his office. He has a meeting with me. You're fired for abusing the store discount because you bought three PlayStation 2s with the store discount. I said, how does this make any sense? I saved 40 cents each. This is ludicrous. To which <laughs> so uh, let's get to when he was actually fired. They, they provided no proof of any wrongdoing at all. Just said that the corporate office deter decided to terminate me on the grounds of violating the employee purchase policy i even have it in writing but there's no evidence whatsoever except for the writing they gave me but okay fine sound good <laughs> oh man i love it i love what he says oh god all right anyways user name my bad okay i'm trying to fix the i'm trying to give make a uh an action that says that hey there's no pools guys i see people trying to pull it's always fun to pull but sometimes we, we, the pools can't happen you know what i'm saying there we go but anyway, let's get back to the story which he basically said i can't talk to you anymore get out of my store so i filed for unemployment huh. and if you can believe it Best Buy tried to deny me my unemployment, saying that they had terminated me for violating the store's discount policy. So we had a hearing. That's right. I actually had a hearing with a judge, okay. to which I said directly to the judge, I said, do you really think I would jeopardize my job for 40 cents on three consoles? Bad. Like, it's $1.20. My job for $1.20. Like, are they out of their fucking minds? It really Best sounds Buy like... Really had really it really sounds like they wanted to get rid of you for other reasons, but they didn't. They didn't track that. Like the problem is in America, with uh, if you want to fire somebody, uh, you really got to have like documentation for it. Like they came in late these three days. They came in, they came in five days late, five days in a row, and here's all the times they came in. You really got to have that kind of shit. Uh, and and apparently they didn't do that part. They had that part. It's it's like open and shut. Just like all right, he was late this many days. He was an asshole this day. In this case, that's it. But I'm sure the manager didn't do all that shit. So now they just are using this one thing to be the reason they fired him. And that guess wasn't enough for the judge here. Dollar twenty. Like, are they out of their fucking minds? To which Best Buy really had nothing legitimate. I'm sure you said that to the judge. I'm sure you called sir about eighteen million times. Whatsoever to say at all. And uh -huh. the judge actually laughed at them in the hearing. Uh, all right, top, mm, top two. 
That's top two on our list of things that never happened ever on any timeline. He said, you guys are out of your minds. You lose. Phil gets his unemployment. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what they did. Yeah, it was like Judge Judy. Hey, hey, come on. You lose. Phil gets his unemployment. The crowd's going crazy. No one knows what's happening. You lose, sir. <laughs> so I did get unemployment for a couple months until I found another job. But that's the story. Basically, this is what I mean when I talk about corporate America and what people don't understand. Uh -oh. You know, we talk about places like Ubisoft where the game Ubi? developers are Ubi? more like... I know it's changed to Ubi. I mean, now he says Ubi, but what's this Ubisoft? Ubi. You know, we talk about places like Ubisoft where the game developers are worked like slaves and the next uh -huh. thing you know... The game gets delayed for six months because they want to make it cross-platform and the people get screwed. Uh -huh. You know, corporate America treats people like, like tools, like shit. They don't treat people like people. Uh -huh. They will step on you. And yeah, when you're an asshole employee, they definitely will. Use you and abuse you and throw you the fuck away when they uh -huh. don't need you. That Best Buy for Business team worked their asses off for a year to try to make the team work. Best Buy did not support that team whatsoever, and then they tried to illegally fire people for reasons that made no fucking sense. This is how corporate America treats people. And that's why I, when I talk about the economy uh -huh. and that there are no that's jobs. A, uh, the jobs so let's just, hear how, let's just hear more reasons why you can't get a real job. That's all we're doing here. Let's, we all know it. Come on. This is what I mean. But people don't seem to understand. They think, oh, as long as you have a job, everything's oh. hunky dory. No. People say, oh, that's the, you're an idiot. Oh. It was terrible. And it's yeah, a horrible buddy. experience. Uh. And it's funny. That, oh, you know, oh, it's funny because it's funny I'll tell you right now, when I go to Best Buy, the only stuff go. I buy is stuff on sale that I know they're not making money on. I go buy the DVDs that they sell for three bucks because I know I'm fucking them because that's how <laughs> you should treat these corporations. They, they mistreat everyone. Oh, my they, God. Hold so on. Oh, God. Buying stuff from their store is fucking them. Is that what we just said here? Holy shit, man. I hope I misheard this one. On. I go buy the DVDs that they sell for three bucks because I know I'm fucking them. <laughs> yeah. I want to help raise their revenues to fuck them over, dude. Yeah. I want to buy their stuff on sale. Yeah. <laughs> he, where are we going today, Phil? Leanna's like, we're going to Best Buy. I'm going to totally screw them over today. Okay? Excuse me, sir, where's your for sale DVDs? <laughs> Bet you don't want to show me, do you? <laughs> I'll take 10 DVDs. Never going to watch them, but I have a score to settle with you, Best Buy. Because <laughs> that's how you should treat these corporations. They, they mistreat everyone, and they're just horrible, horrible places. I'll clear out your inventory for you. <laughs> to work? To, to, to be involved in the management is you know those shitty TVDs that are going to be at a landfill in two days I'll take all of them <laughs> terrible but, you know everything about it is terrible let's make a business team and within a year oops we didn't support them properly or give them enough support so just fuck everyone and fire them all that's what the they didn't fire them all. They fired you for a reason. Top management at Best Buy said. Uh-huh. When you did something fucked up, they had enough. They didn't like you enough to say bye. Yeah, I wonder why they're failing now. Probably because... Yeah, Best Buy never heard of again. Your business model sucks and your management's terrible. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, let's keep going because I got quite a lot more questions to go and I'm running out of time for part one here. Let's um, see one more question. Next question. Are you okay now. with having younger fans? I've been subscribed to you since <laughs> middle school. I'm now in high school. And I was wondering if you're fine with having young... <laughs> Wait, this is Leanne. Oh, this, is, uh, this is from Panda Lee. Okay, what's up? Good question. And polite subs. And that's from Booyaka Dragon. <laughs> Booyaka Dragon? <laughs> this is from Booyaka Dragon. Okay. <laughs> Listen, obviously my content is... Dean towards more adults. I, I oh yeah, it's really towards adults. Let me tell you. Swear a lot, you know. I make uh -huh. food humor, but the bottom line is this: if you, hey. you can handle a rated R movie, Bing. you can handle my content. And I have been watching rated R movies since I was like twelve. Okay. Whoa. It all depends on the person. This guy's hardcore, dude. Whoa. Rachel, ra ra rated R since you were twelve. Holy shit, dude. Handle my content. Food humor. But the bottom line is this, if you think you can handle a rated R movie, you can handle my content. And I've been watching rated R movies since I was like 12, okay? It all depends on the person. 
Uh huh. And yeah, twelve year olds are great at deciding when when they're ready for the, that content, aren't they? When you you know the, the the time you can best make decisions about the content you should watch is when you're twelve. Perfect. If I could choose the content I could watch when I was twelve, it would be straight porno all the time, nonstop. I don't know what they're doing. I just know I wanted to watch it. Really happy to have younger fans. That's awesome. I mean, <laughs> gaming is let's face it. For the most part, for a younger audience, even though now times are changing and it is being catered more to an older audience, younger kids love gaming, younger too. Kids. I mm -hmm. love having younger fans. You just have to understand. I know. You do love having younger fans. Let me tell you. That the stuff that you see here on my channels is for entertainment purposes. This is what else could it be for? It's not me being serious. Oh, look at her titties and stuff like that. <laughs> says titties to the young child. The stuff you say in the real world, this is stuff that you joke about, and it's meant to be entertaining and a joke. Don't, by any means, act like an asshole like I do sometimes in my playthroughs. And that's all I have to say. If you're a younger fan, understand it's all for entertainment purposes. If you can understand that and not take it seriously and laugh, then it's cool that you watch my content. Okay, oh, okay. Too brain dead. Best Next. Buy years before, which is a long story, but obviously out of my mind, to be like a bachelor pad. Was, Wait, hold on, hold on. Because I can't just I gotta find hear stuff that I could do, amazing stuff, and I've never had that. And that's my goal for this year coming up. My resolution for 2014 oh, yeah, this is, what he... is to at least start, <clears throat> seriously start the process of moving out of here and in. Yes, this is when he was thinking about moving out. It's not about a house yet, though. He just wants to move out. That's all he knows is he wants to move out. To the next phase of my life. Uh-huh. Because I can't just be here anymore. This place, quite honestly, what? for me, was a place for me in 2009 when I moved here to kind of be like a bachelor pad. Uh, I was single. I wanted to move closer to my job and obviously out of my parents' house, which I moved back to after uh, getting fired or not. I wasn't, yeah, from fired from Best Buy years before, which is a long story. I've talked about it before. I'm not going to uh -huh. get into it now. Okay. And, uh, you know, I thought you were framed. Moving on with my adult life. And that was an important step for me to get out of there, for me to be here, to be self supportive, which I've been self supportive. In. Now it's time for me to take the next step, get a bigger place, a place where I can move in with my girlfriend, where I'll have more space to be more professional with what I do. And the space you're in now is actually smaller than your area you are in now. And you do the exact same thing you did in you do in your new house as you are doing right now. Okay. Okay. Sound good? And really, when it comes down to it, that's what it's about. Not only having better weather, having better internet, uh, but also... <laughs> better weather and better internet. It's that's Seattle weather. Moving to the next phase of my life, being more professional with uh -huh. my work and being uh, more adult with my life, actually sharing a living space with someone instead of going out and eating every day, planning meals out and being, a, you know, starting to cook and being... Oh, no, no, you just do DoorDash. DoorDash can bring the meals to you, brother. That's how you become more of an adult, right? Responsible, more responsible of a person. Uh -huh. I've wanted to do this and I just haven't been able to do it up to now. Now I finally have the means to do it financially. Right. Now I got to make it happen in 2014. Okay. So that's really what I'm pushing for next year don't give a shit next city and best buy things are looking good uh -huh. basically here's what happened in 2010 happened? uh i was laid off from my full-time job now uh -oh. my whole life until 2010 i held a full-time job oh, whether dude. it was whoa this dude's elite he had a full-time job working at fast food whether it was uh, selling shit at Circuit City and Best Buy, okay. whether it was selling mortgages at Wells Fargo. I always held, you know, a nine to five desk office style job. Baller alert. Oh, I was that. blindsided in 2010 when I was laid off from my job. Blindsided. They gave me dude. no indication. I had nothing to fall back on. But luckily. What are they supposed to. <laughs> okay, yep. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. For two years, I'd been doing this cool YouTube thing as a hobby. Mm -hmm. So I said I was going to make a go at it, especially because there was no jobs in my sector whatsoever at the time. I said, look, what's your sector exactly? Let's make a real solid go at it and see if I can make this work out full time. Right. Sound good. And it has. Surprisingly yes. enough, I've been partnered with Machinima and I am actually at this point considered a managed status partner, meaning that I am kind of protected by them <laughs> from a lot of the bullshit issues that people get here on YouTube when they're trying to upload videos. <laughs> yeah, things in the begging sector, B. I'm in the begging sector. <laughs> I'm in the begging space. Video game related footage. On a daily basis, I do full video game playthroughs. I live stream one to two times every single day on Twitch TV. 
I direct capture that footage and I upload it right here. Yeah, we are. This is directly after direct capture happened, by the way. This is uh, within two months of direct capture being happening. So here to my YouTube gaming channel, DSP Gaming. I also have a vlogs only channel called the King of Hate Vlogs. No one cares. Next. In Geek Squad to do it at best. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. So now he, we moved into the new house two years later. And he's going through the new mic and setup. This whole video is a goal of mine, but we're just going to get to this little, let's watch like five minutes of it. Cause you know, he talks about Best Buy, but this whole video is, is good. <laughs> I am right now sitting here and doing vlogging and doing. So this is a setup. If you ever want to see the setup, this is what he's looking at. So there's the, uh, that's the tips, tips and, and chat laptop. He's got the Stein. He's got the Scarlet uh, mic uh, interface right there. <laughs> There we go. That's his setup. In play with this microphone, you can still hear echo. Some people have even said, well, if we're listening on headphones, we've noticed a difference. But if you're just listening on a standard speaker, it sounds the same as your old setup. There's still echo. I ordered. Oh, the clock is there. I never know that. $200 worth. That's 24 square feet. But look, there's no there's no soundproofing yet. Of soundproofing foam. $200 on soundproofing foam. Which I'm going to put up once it arrives. I'm going to adhere it to this wall behind me. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to adhere it. Please don't say adhere. It's just, I know it's the right word, but it just sounds stupid. I'm going to adhere it. To this wall right here. Whoa. So I figure maybe 6 to 12 squares here uh -huh. to fill up this whole area. And then some squares here, maybe some here. I have to see how I can get it to fit. I don't know realistically how much is 24 square feet. But, <laughs> but we're going to try to fill the walls with, you know, we've got bought adhesive for it and everything. <laughs> Stop saying adhesive and adhere. With this soundproofing foam. So hopefully you won't hear this echo noise anymore. The one thing I can't do away with is the fan sounds from my PC. Unfortunately, you could always move that away, sir. Unfortunately, my PC has a big fan on the front, two here. Two here, so five, <laughs> and it has one in the back, and they're all out of shit. And I don't. You can turn those down, sir. I'm sure that computer's not working too hard, especially someone that has that expertise, right? That expertise that got them hired at Best Buy. Put that to good use. You could lower the fan re revolutions. You could actually get better fans. But you know, what we see now is a great look at these set <laughs> beautiful cable management going on here, though. I don't have the know-how to go in there and replace five fans, and I. I don't have the know-how to replace five fans. I don't have the know-how to replace five fans. This is someone that was supposedly hired and had, a, what was it, high-level training and was hired for his business-style, you know, knowledge, and he cannot replace fans. They're all out of shit, <laughs> and I don't have the know-how to go in there and replace five fans. And yeah, his wallpaper is uh, he, he a wallpaper of his Twitter. That was his Twitter page, and he could set whatever background he had. That's his Twitter background, guys. I'm not trusting Geek Squad to do it at best. I'm not trust. I'm not trusting Geek Squad. Okay, Bye, because they don't know shit more than me. And uh, they don't know shit more than me. Place five fans, and I'm not trusting Geek Squad to do it at Best Buy because they don't know shit more than me. And I definitely there's no there's no local PC places around here. Just like there were more any local PC places where I lived in Connecticut. It's just. So Best Buy Geek Squad can't <laughs> can't replace fans. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, Geek Squad. You don't even know how to replace fans, dude. It's unfortunate, but they don't really exist anymore. The mom and pop shops. Mom and pop shops. So you know when they built this PC for me, did they did they think that it was going to be inside of? All right, the pasta maker is saying there's a weird desk calendar on the desk. Freaking off. Let's look. Just like this one. Uh, this one. It looks like. What is that? Okay, I see what you're talking about now. To the right of the modem, which is in the middle of his desk for reasons, I guess. That seems to be an under-desk thing. Uh, it should be an under-desk thing, generally. But what's that, what's that calendar? What do you think? Any ideas? Or I won't need it quiet for, for daily live streaming. No, this is a beast rig meant for... This is a beast rig? ...video processing and for <laughs> gaming, not for what I do. It's definitely a baby picture. So it is what it is. It's loud. Um... It is what it is. It's loud, dude. It's a beast rig. You've heard of beast mode? This is beast rig. That's the one thing I'll never be able to do away with, but I'm hoping... Uh, you could also... You could do so many things with that. In addition to not just... Uh, you could move it, you know? There's other places that thing could go. You have a lot of space, don't you? Once we get... Maybe even I could put soundproofing foam fucking right here, right? A, a chunk or two right here. 
so that maybe this will, will end up, I could do a column of foam here, and maybe some the foam clock? there and there, and maybe that'll negate the sound of this, and you won't hear the echo anymore, and then uh -huh. it'll sound awesome in here. Who knows? Oh, you can't wait for that. But that's what I'm going for. Uh, and we're going to see what happens. The foam's not supposed to arrive till the end of this month. So once it does arrive, that's great. I'm going to adhere it to the walls. It's actually good, Stop saying it here. good timing, and here's why. I know, I, I know that. Oh, oh, look at that. Unless you want to analyze the finger biting. <laughs> there we go. That's a big one. He must have played a basketball game today. <laughs> what game did he play today? <laughs> oh, what the hell? I'm just like a oh, God. Big ups, Joel L, L Tractor. Philip and his throne of trash. Thank you, my friend. Sorry there's no pop-ups today, but we'll get through it together. Cut my finger. That's nice. Uh, it's good timing, and here's why. Because guess what? Remember I had a leaky roof? Remember I talked about this last year? You can't Dude. really see it here anymore. Dude, he just... Remember when I had a leaky roof? Camera gets pointed up. <laughs> remember I had a leaky roof? <laughs> remember I talked about this last year? You can't really see it here anymore. There was a little bit of water damage over here. Okay. But it dried up, so you can't really see it anymore. Uh... Remember, he just moved in at this point, by the way. Just point, mo just moved in at this point. More. But we had a leaky roof last year. They repaired it. But now they're coming this year. They're coming in a, two weeks from now to replace the whole rooftop. They're going to literally tear the whole fucking thing apart and put a new roof up, which means that week is going to be incredibly noisy. But also, everything's going to be shaking. The walls are going to be shaking. So if I actually put... Oh, dude. Are you serious right now? They replace a roof and it becomes like an earthquake situation. Put the soundproof foam up before then, but also everything's going to be shaking. The walls are going to be shaking. So if I actually Come put on, the man. soundproof foam up before then. <laughs> it's going to be shaking so much. Holy shit, watch out, Leanna. <laughs> it's not an earthquake. We got the roof first. And chances are it might have fallen off the walls. So the, the foam's supposed to come at the latest, the middle of May, but it chances are hopefully it'll arrive by the end of April. And I'll probably hold off until those guys are done replacing the roof. And then I'll put the foam up. And we'll see how it goes. So, okay. this has been a walkthrough. A walkthrough of Look my at that. office. It's a mess. Look at that. This is the professional style this setup you wanted. Through. Sound good? Sound good? This is what professionalism looks like, dude. This is what professionalism looks like. Don't question it. Do not question it. Just accept it. <laughs> oh, look at the floor. <laughs> What's over there? What's in the back there past the PS3? We can't see it because that'd be too blurry. There's a Sonic cat. You may not know it, but this is what peak performance looks like. This is what peak performance looks like. All right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're moving on. Ask the king. I my job at Best Buy in the mid 2000s fringe thing you're an outcast or you're a freak or something oh, hold on i gotta hear this and then shove it up its own ass oh, because God. that has hurt more than held in my opinion that shit didn't bring stuff to the mainstream it was when people realized there was money in the gaming market that all of a sudden it became mainstream oh shit well we've been making fun of this for years but we put a ton of money in developing games and now the games are making millions and millions of dollars worldwide i guess it's not a joke anymore right, right. and that's it people like you and me who don't necessarily like have this kind of social <clears throat> like you and me. Let's see what BS can I put out here. Ineptitudes can still oh, <laughs> that don't have the social ineptitudes. Like you and me, who don't necessarily have these kind of social ineptitudes, <laughs> can still like this shit. Uh, there's not one actual fan in his audience that does not have social ineptitude in one way or the other. Not one. Not one. You know, and I have to be made fun of or ridiculed by fucking people. It's a bad stereotype that, oh, because you like something that's a fringe thing, you're an outcast or you're a freak or something. Uh-huh. Defiant sip. Now. 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 You say, well, how did you overcome it? I mean, did I really? No, I just kind of stuck with it. Did I, I make just kind of stuck with it. People just kept making fun of me. I end all and be all of my person? No. I still mm -hmm. remember when I had my job at Best Buy. Uh-oh. In the mid-2000s when I was uh -huh. working for the Best Buy for Business team. When I told them. Best, now he said the truth. Best Buy for business. Remember, he used to say the elite business team. 
Remember that? The elite business team? Now the real name comes out, Best Buy for Business. <laughs> that I was a competitive Street Fighter player. All the employees of the store snickered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they checked, they Googled and saw you got fourth and laughed. Uh, oh, Justin Wong, I know him. Where are you on this list? Check down to fourth. That was the top rated American. Fo oh, shit, Justin Wong's here. Cool. Did you ever meet him? Because <laughs> they don't understand what that means. They don't know the time, the dedication, the actual level of competition, the sacrifice, the uh -huh. financial sacrifice. They don't know what it means. Uh -huh, they they don't just know think video games. <laughs> and it's ridiculous that, that people were still that fucking mindset. Even that of that time, people uh -huh. were still that fucking mindset. Uh -huh. So I understand. I really do. I understand if there's anything in life that maybe you like and other people don't get, mm -hmm. you know, unless you're like obnoxious because there are people like, well, I like this. And I make it the end all and be all of my fucking existence. And if you don't accept that I like this. Ah, uh, this is this is targeting the Kojima fans. Then, you know, because there are people who just go too far. And I don't believe that making, you know, some kind of a hobby or whatever go too far. I've always been, you know, <laughs> yeah. I have professional life. I've got a... a, a When's the professional life start? Personal life. I've got my hobbies and they're all... Uh, can you name one of those, sir? Of the third group? Kind of separate from each other. Sometimes they intersect. But, you know, try to keep them separate so that way it's not just the end all and be all of your existence. All right. Um, Could you name one the last? Now, the you know, it's kind of funny because he, he makes the. the oh, it's kind of funny. Says, You're ready. Well, there are people who are friends of your content. Right. And they're made fun of. Yeah. Because they like your stuff. Uh -huh. It's the same shit. You know what I mean? Like, it really is. It's like just because you like something that maybe the mainstream YouTube viewer doesn't like. You know, it doesn't mean that it's a generalization that it's a uh -huh. negative thing. I hate to say it, the mainstream YouTuber, is with what? the shit that they watch, if it's representative of good stuff, then I don't want to be a part of good stuff. Sorry, I don't want to be... Yep, yep, you don't want to be... That's clear. That is definitely clear. ...be a part of fucking these terrible viral videos, people mm -hmm. who just fucking sit there and talk about the news all day and go, ow, ow, and act for the camera like clowns and do this daily bullshit that has absolutely no fucking substance <laughs> to it. And that's a popular shit on YouTube. Look at the... What, what's the substance we get on DSP Reacts? <laughs> look, look, look at this. <laughs> the vi things that go viral and the things that are the most popular. And tell me for a fucking second uh -oh. that there's any kind of quality or any kind of any kind of value in that video besides maybe a quick laugh or, or making fun of someone negatively. That shit I don't want to be a part of, you know? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. This is 2016, by the so way. So if you're a fan of my stuff and people make fun of you for it, be like, well, fine, watch your shit. Keep shoveling the shit down your fucking throat and become a fucking moron, right? I'm going to watch something that I like, and it's my yep. choice in life to decide what I like and what I don't like, and you have no fucking right to tell me that I'm right or wrong or make fun of me for it. And, of course, that's not just me. Anything. If you like anime, if you like this kind of book, if you like comics, if you like this movie, if you like this, if you like the paint, if you like to be a, to sing and be a music. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Painting and being a fan of DSP are the same thing. If you can play an instrument be a musician. If you like athletics, if you like the... There, no one has any right to tell you what the fuck you can like or don't like. What if you like trolling? And fuck their stupid social casts and shit. Social casts. You know, because I know they exist. That's the truth on the internet now. There's a social cast of the <laughs> social cast mainstream, and basically, I'm in the 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 underdog, the guy who's the guy who shouldn't be liked because he's not in the in group, right? Same shit in high school. I wasn't in the in crowd and fuck. Oh God, Phil is going fire right now. This is a good question. Over ask this question. I was a loser in high school as well. <laughs> Actually, I was a loser in high school as well. Thank you for pointing that out. In high school, I did my own thing. I went my own way. I had my... I thought you were not in the crowd, but you were still liked by everybody. My own morals and standards and stuff that I lived up to. And I was a lot different from all the kids in high school. And I... Oh, you know what that means. <laughs> I wasn't in the in crowd. And a lot of people made fun of me. Oh, 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 God. I didn't know it was this bad. Up to... And I was a lot different from all the kids in high school, and I wasn't in the in crowd, and a lot of people made fun of me uh, for it. Fuck those fucking people. Those yeah, I don't give a shit. Wanna go to prom with me? <laughs> no, it's not a joke, actually. Would you want to go with prom with me? No, no, it's not a joke. Seriously, seriously. Ah, <sighs> she went away. Fucking elitist douchebag pieces of shit who just, the only way they can get a, a rise out of life is to bully others. Uh -huh. So because you, like, you like something that I don't understand, or you like something that I don't like, I'm going to bully you. And that's all it is. Fuck those losers. Those people are insecure. Those people are fucking less. Yeah, great point, Banana Jones. Uh, Philip on SKRK would repeatedly say people that play Guilty Gear and anime style games are homos. Better than you. Like, really, what SRK was is a place where he could have a fresh start and try to be the one doing the bullying. 
But we all see how that turned out. He just got bullied even more because trying to be the bully, you know? That, I mean, that's get real. That's what SRK was. It's a place for him to try to be a bully, but then it didn't work out. And then everyone just bullied him again even worse there. Then he went to YouTube, found fans because, you know, some people relate with that. Got bullied there, you know? And it's like, it'd be fucked up if there was no reason for it, but, you know, <laughs> there's a reason for it, <laughs> you know? That's the bottom line. You shouldn't ever degrade yourself to the point where you bring down others either uh -huh. for liking stuff that you don't like. Remember that. It goes both ways. Both ways, dude. All right. Next question. Next question is from Matthew Vader. He says, Phil, could you name some of your favorite mystery theme shows that you watched growing up? I don't give a shit. That like Best Buy and stuff. And they suck live and your take on them before release. Also, if the dev teams are there, you could be... Oh my god. Thank you, you for that. Interview them and show the faces. That's very professional. It should not be made fun of everybody. And the game's just thought. All right. First off, a GoPro. I mean, I'm sure that this camera, this is the camera that you like wear on your head or whatever. Yeah, you eat. It's like an eyeball in the room with you. Um, I've heard, when I used to, actually, I used to sell the fucking things when I used to work at like Best Buy and stuff. And they sucked back then. The resolution was terrible. They weren't in good quality. Now I hear that they've become like really good stuff and that the GoPros are, are actually quite good. Okay. Um, first of all, I wouldn't use a GoPro. No, I just use a handheld camera. I've been to E3 before. <laughs> the international symbol for handheld camera is, is thus. Um, first of all, I wouldn't use a GoPro. No, I just use a handheld camera. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Bernal, I'd like to ask what hand you used on that day of the incident. Thank you. Please put your hand down, sir. Camera. I've been to E3 before. You know, using a handheld camera, much better. GoPro would be too shaky cam, and the quality wouldn't be as crisp or clear. You just got to say shaky cam. You can't talk about shaky cam, sir. Shaky cam. Let's not pretend that was something you ever worried about. Ever. All right. Um, but here's the thing. It's here's very thing. directly related to what I already mentioned uh -oh. previously. I don't have the time. Like, if I took an entire three days off to go to, to say... PAX West. All right. First of all, people don't realize how busy these fucking conventions are anymore. Like when I started off this oh, thing God. on YouTube, gaming was just becoming like a, uh -huh. a hobby that was yep. popular. Now it's like the number one thing. It's insane. Parking, you're, you're talking, yeah, I have to park like a mile, two miles away from the fucking <laughs> and walk. Expensive. You gotta walk. I mean, get this. You gotta walk, okay? You gotta walk. There's no valet. You gotta park. And you got to walk to the place. I mean, come on. Who's doing that? To park, right? And to get in, you got to get you buy your tickets a million months ahead of time, right? You have to pre-order your tickets. Let's listen to all the negative things about going, okay? So here's the, here's the, so far the list of the, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the massive hurdles to going to a convention. So far we have parking and we have pre-ordering tickets, okay? Those are the two. I want to translate here for you. Let's see what else is negative about going to conventions, all right? Parking and pre-orders. Let's go. Right, which I have really not been on top of or even looking into. Most uh -huh. people who want to get into the fucking convention can't even get into it because they don't get tickets, right? Okay, yep, just bullshit, but okay. Um, You get in there, and it's a fucking crowded with people, walled. So there's a lot of people. The wall, hard to record. It really is. Um, Well, maybe a Gro GoPro would help with that. And the bottom line is, I've already heard that it becomes bottom line. like almost like a an internet gaming culture fan fest with millions of people coming in. And so that sounds pretty fun. Hold on, whoa, whoa, hold on, this sounds really cool. What is it? Trying to look for YouTube celebrities and stuff in there. The bottom line is this. God damn it, we got. I don't have my bottom line bell, and like he is on fire today. If I went to PAX West, I would just be a normal attendee. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so just to reiterate. <laughs> Parking, walking, pre-order, but once you get in there, it's like a culture fest of internet. It's awesome. So, I mean, uh... We'll film a few things. I wouldn't be able to be a guy who's a celebrity who's covering stuff, because I, I'm just not popular. Let's face it, I'm not popular on YouTube or anywhere to the level where I'd be able to get an exclusive interview with a game developer. No one cares. <laughs> That exclusive interview with who? Super Blind Man. No game developer would grant me an exclusive. And Super Blind Man turned him down now anyway. <laughs> so big ups to him. Interview. I'm just sorry. I mean, I'm just being real here. I don't think it big would ups ever Mad Max. I'm not trying uh -huh. to be negative or defeatist. I don't have any kind of a following where I could get my foot in the door. That's the thing. People, again, I'll say it again. People seem to hold me up to the like to the comparison and esteem of these giant YouTubers. No, no, that's only the people that think you're a real YouTuber that like you. Millions of subs. I'm not. I'm never going to be there. You uh -huh. know. 
So I don't. I would never have the clout to be able to do that kind of stuff. It just wouldn't happen. Okay. Um, so the real reason came out at the end after complaining about parking, walking, and pre-orders. The truth comes out. He would he would just be a normal schlub, and that's not good enough for elite business team Burnell. Um, and the bottom line is, I God damn it, E3, dude! And the year that I went to E3, I didn't get much exclusive coverage of anything. Really, if you look at my videos from E3 2012 when I went, it was all stuff that you kind of saw from at home. The only things that I... Yeah, because they, they they wanted to see it. I mean, most people aren't there, you know? Actually did there, right, that you couldn't have seen if I just covered it from home, was I played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh-huh. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. You couldn't have seen if I just covered it from home, was I played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Revengeance. And I played Resident Evil 6. And I saw some footage of Injustice, Whoa. hands on, but I didn't get to play it. And that's really it. Like, everything else that was there uh -huh. was stuff that I could have covered from home. And by the way, I wasn't able to record any of those things that I just mentioned. So, the exclusive things you get at E3, you can't fucking record. EBT. <laughs> Mike says, EBT is what Phil should be on, not begging dance. Big ups, Mike's. You know? So it's like, what's uh -huh. the point? It's expensive. The point, you know what I mean? For me, yes, I live right next to Pax West, but I still have to drive all the way there, park, walk, food, tickets. <laughs> You're talking hundreds of dollars in expense. <laughs> now, now that we have a curated list for us, park, walk, food, tickets. Sound good? Park, walk, food, tickets. <laughs> <laughs> park, walk, food, tickets. You're talking hundreds of dollars in expense, plus taking two to three days away from my business here where I'd be recording and putting out videos to pay my bills. Again, it's just like going to the movies and all this. Phil, why don't you do this? Why don't you do just that? Just say you don't want to. It's much easier than all this. This is the classic case of someone has a good idea that would be a legitimately good idea, but he has to explain it, why he can't do it in the mo to the nth degree, right? Can Just can't say I don't want to do it. Like like charity, right? He has to go through an hour long explanation why he can't do that thing would be, would be a good idea, you know? Yeah, I, I don't have the freedom to do it. Uh -huh, I don't. No freedom. You know what? I'll be business. honest with everyone. Uh, what's your many oh, years ago? Finally, we're talking. You know, I'd say probably from the years of 2011 to 2013. Uh -huh. when I was much bigger on YouTube. I had way more attendance on everything I did. I was making way more money. Then I had the flexibility. Then I actually was making enough money where I could say, "Fuck it, I don't need to make any videos today. I could throw everything off for a week." And go to E3 uh -huh. or go to PAX. I could do whatever I want because I have that flexibility. I no longer have that, you know, and that's a shame. I know people want to hear it. Hey, that's the question that was asked. That's why. You'll probably never see me at PAX West because uh -huh. I just don't have the freedom to attend. You know, a lot of the people, business. the other thing, there's two groups of people that are there. Either people who are there, that's their, that's their re recreation time. Their time off is at <laughs> PAX West. Or they're so big on YouTube that they could just go cover it, and every video they put out gets millions of views. So if they make five videos from fucking Pax West, they make a, a ridiculous amount, tens of thousands of dollars. They can afford to go. I can't. That's it. You know, I'm kind of. You know, a lot of people say, "Why don't you go to conventions anymore?" Why does it? That's why. That's your honest answer right there. Is because uh -huh. I just can't. I have to be here every day, working my ass off, putting videos out, or else double I can't work. Pay my bills. Okay. All right? All right. Uh, next question from Atlas mm -hmm. Telemark. Yeah, and by the way, thanks, big guy. He was making 50% more than he is now during these times, by the way. Yeah. So, sound good? Successful business, dude. Can't take three days off for parking, walking, food, and tickets. <laughs> parking and walking. Best Buy. <laughs> oh, it's God. The... Oh. oh, God. Here we go. I go over, like, gangbusters with the, with the latte crowd. Those folks appreciate some of my more highbrow material. Here we go. Oh, look. A pipe that I can't get in. Well, guess what time it is? Oh! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Dude, what? it's the Black Friday shit story all over again. That's pretty much about what I saw on Black Friday that one day that I worked at Best Buy. All right, the Black Friday shit story. Want to hear that? <laughs> Might as well, right? I can't use this toilet because it's completely full of shit. Uh, wow. Very, very funny. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, very funny. Still at Best Buy. <clears throat> Featured all these presets. But if I try to use that with my Xbox One, number one, the microphone not, might not work. And number two... Don't worry, we'll get the, the Black Friday shit stories coming up. Don't two, worry. Two, apparently... 
not funny uh, anyway. Most but. of the presets won't work. It's basically uh-huh. because in the era of Xbox 360, PS3, everything worked with everything. But I kind of understand too that these these uh, consoles kind of have become more divergent, and you know they're not. It used to be everything was a plug and play PC. Now it's kind of like there's a little bit of a difference between the everything. Uh-huh. Um, I'll be drinking. So more than likely, I'm going to end up getting uh, the uh, what you call the the Astro A4 DTRs. Um, but I, I you know they're very expensive, 250 bucks. Whoa. So I looked into it, and apparently there's a Black Friday sale at Best Uh-oh. Buy where it's 25 percent off. Hey, the Best Astro Buy A4 Black DTRs Friday sale. If you buy it between the 25th and the 20 or the Look at this Photoshop, by the way. I mean, just don't bother. Excuse me, the 23rd and the 25th of November. So I think I'm going to wait. And on to the 23rd, um, see if I can get a pair. You know, a 25% off is nothing to shake a stick at. I mean, that's going to be at least, <laughs> uh, you know, 50 bucks or more off the price tag. Nothing to shake so a stick at. To get at. these for under 200 bucks would be a, a pretty good bargain compared to how much they cost, you know, outside of that. So. Okay, <clears> done? <throat> So there you go. There you go. I'm not listening anymore. I don't care if he says more. I'm done. All right, next. On, uh, We're up to 2018, by the way. Uh, at many places that I worked in. This is an odd one, by the way, where in his early days, he doesn't talk about it that much. But in the later years, he talks about it way more. So it's kind of a rare case here for, for this employment series. In the past. You know, management that swore they knew what they were talking about, when in reality, you know, the, the front lines, they didn't know shit. I remember when I worked at Best Buy and I worked for this Best Buy for Business team. Best Buy for Business Small team. business team. The Elite Business Squad, right? That's what he started with, right? The Elite Business Squad. Where we were supposed to be bringing in small business owners and setting up networking and selling the computers. And basically, you know, the man, the upper management of the company brought us out, trained us and everything, blew smoke up our asses. <laughs> it, imagine training you and that's blowing smoke up your asses. They trained us, dude. Blew smoke right up our ass. Then when we actually went to the stores to sell the product, they didn't give us anything we needed. We didn't even, they wouldn't even buy us business cards. They were like, <laughs> yeah, I think. imagine that. Uh, you didn't really give us business cards, dude. What's going on? The guy's like, uh, you're not really that level yet, guys. Just sell the stuff, all right? <laughs> oh, you're just expected to bring in these customers. How? You don't let us go to mixers. You don't let us go out there and even let <laughs> mixers. Small business owners know we exist. You- <laughs> Business cards. Dude, it's not that kind of a deal. Just go sell the stuff, all right? You don't need business cards. We, 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 we got to go to mixers. <laughs> Keep us in the store and act like we're normal employees who have to sell fucking PCs all day. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, wow, wow. Now we're getting it. So he was Best Buy for business, but they made him work in the work in the store instead. And he didn't like that because he, he don't want to be this floor-level employee. Please. I was hired for expertise. As owners know we exist. You keep us in the store and act like we're normal <laughs> employees who have to sell fucking PCs all day. <laughs> How do you expect us to get any small business owners to come in here and buy networking? And the upper management didn't want to hear that, and they laid everybody off. Oh, they laid everybody off. Everybody. Yep. Everybody so- bought PS2s on their, on their employee discount. Right. 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 Or they fired me. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you for making that clear. For bullshit reasons, they laid everybody else off. They fired him for bullshit reasons. Uh, I mean, that's how it is with these companies. They're a bunch of fucking idiots. Uh-huh. Oh, they buy... Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, how, about, how about Don Matrick? Remember him? The guy who... who, who, who Who's Don By Matrick? all reports, single-handedly sunk the Xbox One at launch. Oh, okay. Then he got... He left the company, probably because they told him they were going to fire him if he didn't. And then he got hired by Zynga, a mobile games company. What the fuck does Don Matrick know about mobile games? Within a year, he tanked that company, and he left there, too. Cope. <laughs> Cope. It's just stupidity. It's Cope. Johnny Soros Rex Charity said, Real talk, we need a Super Mario RPG playthrough. As I said, I'd be more than willing to play it. That's a Square Enix game. I should be able to. Hey, you just got to wait uh, six more, uh, th- five more years, and you'll get that, brother. Johnny Soros Rex. Next. <laughs> that guy, Dredd, you may not realize this, but there's Uh-oh. different ways to make a living. You know, there are. It's not just, oh, you go to a job on a salary or a set amount of hourly wage. Oh, this guy asked the question about, are you going to get a real job or something? And you work for the man, and you make a certain amount of money, and you come home with it. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Uh, Up until YouTube, right? Uh Until I started doing YouTube for a living in 2011, Uh that was my living. I I worked multiple kind of fast foodie style mall (laughs) jobs. Then I worked a circus. See, see, listen, hear that? We, we heard that during the yogurt episode. He said, I work multiple fast foodie style far- jobs, but he, there's only one, I think. I think it's just like, this is just an on-the-fly lie, like this comes out. 
But like, I, I, I think it's just a lie, but he just, I did multiple fast foodie style. Kind of fast foodie style mall jobs. Then I worked at Circuit City selling electronics. Then I worked for an insurance company. Then I worked for Wells Fargo Financial for a year selling mortgages and credit cards. Uh -huh. um, then I worked for Best Buy working on their business team selling uh, high level uh, networking and home. He always says a high level. Like he has to make it important. I said this high level when they sell an Ethernet cord, you know? Like you could buy them on the floor or you could buy from the business team. It's still Ethernet cores, brother. It's not high level. Uh, style computing for small businesses. High level. Then after computing. that, I worked in an office job. For about five years, where I was in helicopter uh, helicopter parts and support, uh -oh. and aftermarket support for people. All right, that's next week. That's next week. We're not going to listen to that. So I'll that's next to week. Classical music, if you can believe it. Classical music is next oh, week. Oh, wait. Now. Music takes. Easy. That, that's kind of the mind that I have. But I never really got into music too much. It wasn't like I ever got into instruments or anything. I don't actually like anything. And like I said, after that era of high school years, I kind of just fell out of it. And like, not that I don't like music, but I don't. it's not a <laughs> Your part of my life. I don't sit here and listen to music. I don't really. I don't like have hobbies or like things. Really, you know what I mean. The bit, the most music I listen to right now is every once in a while I listen to some classical music. If you can believe it, classical music is nice and calming. I listen to it every once in a while at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> Got to get Rambo out of his mind. Um, <laughs> your final question, Chris. I almost get the feeling you're not going to like the answer. And I, uh oh, I to say Chris. Your question is: If I there were five famous people, dead or alive, who I would like to go to dinner with. Or have a dinner with or whatever. Who would it be? Okay, so I have not heard this, but I'm guessing he's going to say, like, a no one. Because he doesn't care enough about it. I, there's no one I want to see, I think. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. Big Ops Almighty Bree. The legend. Go. And I hate to say this, because I've kind of answered questions like this before. And it, it, people think it's a cop-out, but it's not. Oh, yeah. This is a private Q&A video, by the way. So this is a video that uh, was so this guy paid for on Patreon. And Mr. Hut Stuff Legend is keep it up. So this is a made for a single person, right? Phil only thought a single person would see this back in the day, so he doesn't really talk any differently, though. But the answer that I have for you is no one. Oh, I wouldn't want to have dinner with anyone. And you might say, "Well, why?" I don't understand. To be fair, though, I might have heard this and just seen this before and just not remembered it. But yeah, he definitely says shit like that. You know, wouldn't it be? <laughs> Phil had a high level position mixing the yogurt. Uh, he was on a chair, dude. Swaggy Davis Jr. in the house. Cool to have dinner with so and so who you idolize, or so and so uh -huh, idolize. Yep. My answer is no. And the reason I say that is because I, I'm actually my own idol. I am an a adamantly b in, of the belief that people are people. I don't think that because some person's been on TV, because uh -huh. some person's a big gamer, a big YouTuber, because some person is famous for science, because some person's <laughs> a celebrity or whatever. Squad. Even, you know, athlete. A lot of people have, you know, wrestlers, athletes. He was in the business blue cheese department. All that stuff. I don't look up to people like that. Like, wow. Uh, because why? I want people to look up to me. You know what I mean? And although you can get moments of inspiration from maybe a life story of someone who overcame obstacles and stuff, to me, people are people. So uh -huh. it's not people like, people, oh, I'm dude. awestruck. You know, I used to be a big fan of Howard Stern. Oh, oh, I was never like awestruck. If I ever ran into Howard Stern in real life, I never would have been like, wow. In fact, the, the one or two people who have. Oh, God, I got to do it. Sorry, everybody. Look, if I ever ran into Howard Stern in real life, I never would have been like, in fact, the, the one or two people who I've ever real, see, really seen in real life, I remember one of them that I met was Stephen Richards. He was a, a Stephen Richards story, a famous pro wrestler in the 1990s, especially in ECW wrestling. And I've seen him do countless matches. He was on TV in WWE doing big stuff. And then so it sounds like you were all struck enough to talk and to him. He got released. Like, that was it. He was gone for a while, maybe two, three years. He hadn't been on TV. Uh -huh. And I was working at Best Buy at the time. Okay. And he hype. was in my store. And I ran into him. I ran into him, meaning I, w I noticed it was him and walked over to him. I said, oh, you're Steven Richards, huh? He's like, yeah, that's me. Ah, good to meet you. Shook his hand or whatever. I <laughs> yeah, good to meet you. I thought you asked him about, uh, what about the story about the, you punched somebody or something and you lost your mind cracking up at it? What about all that? So what the heck happened? Why'd they take you oh, off TV? Go. It's ridiculous. Okay, he's saying it. You know, you were a good wrestler. I actually liked what you did. And he said, you want to know the truth? Yeah, I went to a Christmas party and a VP was all over my wife and I punched the shit out of him. And since then, the VP had a stick up his ass about me to the point where they released me two months later. And that was it. After that, I haven't gotten, been able to get any jobs. They basically blacklisted me in the industry. Well, I mean, <laughs> I was like, okay, wow. Well, I thought you cracked up. That's a shame. Thanks for the story. And that was it. 
That was and that was the that, it was like oh my god Stevie Richards I was dumb. No, yeah, no, you did that after he left. Knees, wow, yeah, yeah. Or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like I've never been like that. I don't know. Uh, People ask me when I was in high school, who do you aspire to be? No so one. Cool, me. Dude. I want to be me. Oh my god. <laughs> People ask me when I was in high school. <laughs> yeah. Remember all the people making fun of them? This is one of the things they would ask me in between shoving me into the locker. This is fun. Who do you aspire to be? No one. Me. I want to be me. I don't <laughs> want to be someone else's story or be like someone else. I want to be me. And people would say, well, who, you know, who do you? I don't know. Hold on. Well, open up the locker for a second. We got to follow up. Lies. No one. Who do you? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Take him out of the locker. One more question. No, no. Get him out of the trash can. Come on. One more question. Look up to. No one. <laughs> I want to be make my own story. I want to tread my own ground. I don't want to say that I based my life off of the actions of this person or this mm -hmm. person. And although there are lots of people who undoubtedly I would compare myself to. Like John Rambo being one. Like I said, Howard Stern. Howard Stern was a groundbreaking person in the realm of media, in particular radio, where he did things <laughs> that were crazy and out of control, but they were also very popular because of that. He was so different. He knew entertainment even though he pushed the boundaries of it every day. Uh -huh. When I started on YouTube... That's like that's a Philip Brunel, pushing the boundaries every day. I was kind of the same person. No, I'm not going to do a walkthrough. I'm going to do a playthrough. I'm going to give my... <laughs> Groundbreaking. I'm not going to do a walkthrough. I'm going to do a playthrough. I'm going to change my the My own industry. honest commentary. I'm going to do zany things. And, you know, things change over time because now you've got people... Yuri Thin Ice. Yuri's on extremely thin ice right now. People who've completely bastardized that formula and said... Well, I saw what Dark Side Phil was doing, but instead I'm going to be a clown and I'm going to completely act as a stupid character on camera. Oh, so like you did. Camera, and these people are now Rick. Oh, so they did the same thing you did. So, you know, they took my formula and ran with it, but... Oh, so they made it to, took it to much higher heights than you using your own formula. You know, there are people who I idolize, but there's no one who I would say I absolutely want to... There are people you idolize. ...spend time with. I couldn't tell you five people right now who if I... Had, I'm not going back, but didn't he say he didn't idolize anyone? ...had the opportunity I would want to spend time with. I don't know. I might, even even you would say, "Gee, who, YouTubers? I wouldn't even want to spend time with YouTubers because my uh, yeah. Why don't you just want I Justine? PewDiePie my path is favorites. very different from their path, and I know a lot of the ways to be successful on YouTube, and I don't want to do those ways. I want to be uh -huh. my own person, you know. So even I, what could I learn from someone like you know the a big gaming YouTuber? Probably nothing. I learn how they did it. Wow, that's great. Good for you. I don't care. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Good for you. I don't want to do any of that shit. I don't want to do the hard work. Get the fuck out of here. You know. I don't know. I've always kind of been that kind of person. A lot of people think that that's like like stingy or, or even elitist. No, I don't think that I'm better. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that. I'm yeah, Michael Scott says like that a legitimate same thing. I'm better than who do I learn from? Myself. Am I a hero? No, not really. But in a very real sense, yes, I am a hero. Anyone <laughs> where I'm better than everyone, and no one would be would, would you know it'd be an honor to have dinner with me. No, I don't think that. It's quite the opposite. I think everyone is the same. Everyone's just a person on this planet. And no one's better or worse than anyone else, even though some people uh -huh. might have insight and some people might be able to help you with advice. It doesn't mean that there's someone who you should fucking idolize and want to spend time with. All right. And that's you why you asked for it. You asked for it. I hear you. Help you with advice. It doesn't mean that there's someone who should fucking <laughs> idolize. What? what the fuck? In time with and that's why i'm kind of like i wouldn't i wouldn't invite anyone to a dinner uh mm -hmm. if i had the opportunity because i don't think that that's anything that's even legit i think that that would be kind of a a silly thing you know if there was someone who was cool and fun to talk with personally that's who i don't care if you're a celebrity personally. or you're joe joe blow off the street who i've never met before if you're joe a funny blow. entertaining person you're, you're personable and you can be get along with you have a fun conversation have a laugh that's who i want to have dinner with i could care awesome, less if dude. you're if you're a famous person or not and that's kind of why that question for me is a non-question and I just spent 10 minutes talking about it. So, you know, what's, yeah. that's why it's a non question. Yeah, oh, here's the shit. Oh, here's the shit story. I couldn't even do this is the Best Buy Black Friday shit story. So, get ready to not laugh. I go to my friend's house and play Tetris Effect or Tetris 99 on his Switch. <laughs> I ruined his goddamn Good one, bro. Uh, Love gaming with you guys, by the way. We're all really normal. Badge because I got him too high rank. So, he just plays with really good players. And I was like, what the fuck you, dude? All right. So, once we drop. <laughs> <laughs> no one like gets turns shit. into a big Kekan in the house. Bowl, porcelain bowl. Then I'll tell the story. <laughs> oh, so Phil bowl. is Phil is bri bri uh, making hype for this. Bowl, porcelain bowl. Then I'll tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. right, Twenty-one and drop ship. A lot of people dropped already. I don't feel so good. 
<laughs> Loving the drop ship six. The pit, maybe? Pit, maybe. Hey. Let's do it. All right, you know what? The pit kind of looks like a big toilet. Let's go. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. All right, so the story is that, you know, once upon a time, I worked at Best Buy, and so I believe dumb. it was Black Friday or it was Black Friday week. So it was really busy, you know, ton of people in and out of the store, thousands of people, so you can't keep track of nothing. Uh -huh. And then I remember I was working the uh, near the customer service counter because that's where the computer section was. Oh, I thought you were the elite business team, though. And someone came, like, running out of the bathroom screaming. All right, so now we're in the top one thing that never happened before, but let's keep listening. And it was a dude. He's like, dude, oh, my God, I'm going to bark. <laughs> It was a dude. He was like, dude. <laughs> Screaming. And it was a dude. He's like, dude, oh my God, I'm going to barf. I'm going to barf. And he ran up to customer service. He's like, dude, someone just like had a problem in there. And they're like, okay, let's go see what okay, this dude. is. So let's check it out, he dude. He sent in, you know, basically like employees. And his name was Maximilian Dude. These would be going in there to see what happened. And every employee that looked, walked in there would like turn around, like walk out with gr a green face. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> You live in life like it's a cartoon. They had a green face. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, what the hell could possibly be going on in there? That's so bad. So finally, I went in there to see what it was. And just walking, just walking in the, the other people are not even smell, care. you could tell someone had, like, serious problems. Like, they probably, like, couldn't, you know, make it. And Big ups, Kevin, for the... Uh interesting on point if something bad style happened sticker. No, we're going out so, the way Phil. we're going out the way so su surprisingly like there wasn't shit anywhere in the bathroom itself but there's this one stall where the door was like closed and and i so you you open it and there was liquid shit on every wall of the fucking stall like oh, every God. wall had shit all over it uh -huh. i was like now i can understand like you had to go so bad you ran to the bathroom maybe you could okay Maybe your bottles were full, and you're trying to get your pants oh, down, like, right away. God. How did you manage to get the liquid shit on every wall of the stall? Uh -huh. Like, you would have had to spin to do that. Yeah, so someone went in there. I mean, what, what I, the ballerina. I'm thinking is that someone did it on purpose. Uh -huh. Like, they, they yeah. you know, maybe they were so angry because it's Black Friday or someone's an asshole, you know. So they all oh, watch this. I'm gonna get these. Yeah, I see Doctor, just Doctor, Doctor, Mister Doctor Inspector and D Dog saying the same thing. Like he, I mean, one day that would take some epic, ex, epic fucking research. But he does pull stories from movies. I think, and this could be another case of that. Like he finds a movie, thinks it's funny, and then like his brain synapses create the story in his own mind. But it's really based on a movie, you know. Like I think that's definitely cases of that. I ran in there spinning and shitting liquid in a circle all over every wall. <laughs> And it was gross, <laughs> you know. It was disgusting. And, and someone had to go in there and clean it. I, I forget. I think like they, they offered an employee extra money that day. Please, here's extra money for doing your job. Yeah, I was in the biz uh, higher level business section, so of course I didn't do it. But they offered someone extra money. Well, I ended up doing it actually, and they didn't actually pay me for it. But <laughs> anyways. Crazy story, am I right, guys? To, like, go in there and clean it up. Because uh -huh. it was so disgusting. Money for that. Oh, like, God, I'll, take, I'll take the extra paycheck to clean this up. Someone <laughs> really wanted the money. They were desperate for the money. Just yeah, they... lies, stacking lies now. Must have been really strapped for cash. But again, but again, but again remember, what? this is a public bathroom, so we had, like, the worst quality toilet paper. Can you imagine that person trying to... <laughs> of course, Phil knows about that. Up afterwards. You, you you literally you're trying to use toilet paper to clean up the walls. That thin ass toilet paper, they're probably like covered in shit. I mean, you can layer it. The even the thinnest of paper, you can make it not thin. It's called stack. It's called folding. Probably like dribbling down their legs and shit. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, like, what at that happened? Point, you man? just gotta let the shit run. Just it's let it like, run. How the fuck did they manage to have that much shit in their colon to spin and shit and cover every so wall of the me. stall? Like, that's an incredible amount of shit. That's an incredible amount of shit, dude. Yo, as gross as this story is, it did not ruin my appetite. I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> <laughs> can you yeah. get some chili? Uh, I'm the only one that can do comedy here, asshole, okay? <laughs> yeah, some, some, yeah. some corn. Some chili some corn. with corn. 
A nice bean burrito. <laughs> so you know Bill's find some real friends here, you know, they're on the same level. <laughs> Tony T says Dumb and Dumber 2 Bob Saget scene okay I don't remember Dumb and Dumber 2 I barely remember the first Dumb and Dumber but uh, but I'm not I'm, I, I trust you believe me I believe you for sure you know what's fucked up is that I've heard something akin to that from my buddy Stepan who fucking works his Stripes so he worked at Stripes I should say he right, I got no time for this he worked I'm for not, jobs like Best Buy I'm not doing it a loom yeah I don't know I don't know how to make the a loom Hello. A smithing table? Would that make a blacksmith if I made it? I think that would make a blacksmith, right? Small killer to me three dollars. So when you work for jobs like Best Buy, Wells Fargo, and other jobs, did you ever invest into stock? My friend has stock uh -oh. sometimes just good and sometimes bad. I think we watched this one before. Oh, by the way, this one again I had to massively uh, curate because like there's a lot of times you already listen to that clip and stuff, so this should be all new stuff, but I think we already heard this one, but let me listen real quick. Um when I worked at Wells Fargo, I had a retirement fund, uh -huh. and I did invest in it for a well, while. What happened? It was the biggest waste of fucking time ever. <laughs> retirement funds, biggest waste of time ever, dude. Because basically, when I when I left that job, there was no way to uh, to to keep like keep it going. They basically said they could transfer it. Yep. So he just said there was no way to keep it going. Now he's going to tell you all the ways you can keep it going to a bank. And that bank would take care of it for me, but then basically, I guess what would happen is they would charge me fees and stuff. Probably twenty dollars to maintain it. Uh huh. Or I could just leave it as is and never touch it and hope that things go for the best with the fun, uh -huh. or I could cash it out and have massive penalties. Now, obviously, I didn't know what was going to happen with the stock, right? What if it crashed? So I said, I'm just going to take it out. So I did. I ended up taking it out. But when you take it out, you take humongous penalties on it. So I basically got <laughs> fucked. Uh, I got fucked for taking the worst option for me. Sound good? <laughs> Best box. My back was screwed up. Basically, that all came to a screeching halt. And I said, I need to find other things to do with my life. And I kind of opened myself up again to where has gaming come. And I was blown away by how far gaming had advanced in the eight years I'd ignored it. Oh, you God. know, I think the first game I played was Grand Theft Auto 4. I was like, what the shit? A crazy-ass giant sandbox game with a realistic city. All kinds of fun side content, Nothing. great yeah. graphics, robust music and everything. <laughs> oh, we got robust. That's a rare robust. Realistic city, all kinds of fun side content, great graphics, robust music and everything. Robust but I was music. like, I can't believe this is what, what's happened to gaming. It's so different than when I played it. You know, <laughs> of course he used it in a dented way. Robust music. <laughs> late 90s to now, what a, a change in the gaming landscape, right? I had actually missed out on so much. Uh -huh. Um. Uh, the thing was, what's the thing? When I only played Street Fighter, I had such excessive tunnel vision. All right, that I just, I basically wrote off everything else as a joke, and it's not fun, it's not interesting. Uh -huh. You know, I had a job where I was working at Best Buy, uh -oh. and people in the store were telling me about hot new game releases and how they really enjoyed them. I was like, nah, whatever, Street Fighter, man, I don't care about all that kitty shit, you know. And I just didn't understand. I was completely oblivious to everything going around around me, that there were other amazing gameplay experiences that I was completely missing out on because I was a Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. um, I remember at one... Uh-oh. When, when, when basically Evolution, which is the national uh, fighting game tournament in the United States, kind of the biggest one in, in the country... Uh, w hold on. We, we're digging and we found some gold here. Let's see. Dig the... This is the rare farming field, the the forehead. Not it's not used very often, but it seems like his harvest was bountiful this time. So we're gonna go digging in the for, forehead field and come up with something. Let's see what we get here. Which is the national uh, fighting game tournament farming. in the United States? Farming, kind of the biggest farming. one. In, in got the it. Check it. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Looks like a little gout crystallization. A little bit of ooze here. Country. Uh, what, where does it go next? Um. Started Dance. bringing in Dance. games that were not considered hardcore competitive fighting games, like Smash Brothers. One year they did Mario Kart for some reason because they wanted sponsorship for Nintendo. So, uh, imagine that. So when they brought these games in, I was like so against it. I was like, these games aren't real competitive games. These are for kids. This is garb, kitty garbage, you know, very ignorant, very uninformed. And quite mm -hmm. frankly, again, that tunnel vision. Why would anyone want to play anything but Street Fighter at a high competitive level? All these other games are inferior. I remember one year, Evo shared a tournament venue with a, a Halo tournament. And oh, and he heard about this. All we did the entire tournament was make fun of the Halo players. How they all looked like nerds, and they just sat there playing with their controllers.
No, no. Not everyone, you. Well, there's, there's stupid shooty games and whatever. Like, it was... There's stupid shooty games. We're going back to our punchy game. Very stupid, very dumb, very uninformed, very... Come on, guys. We gotta get back to our punching each other. Yeah. Immature. But that's kind of the mindset I was in because that's all I cared about and all I knew about. Okay? Uh-huh. <clears throat> so now, the last, you know, 10 years of my life, my horizons have been way broadened and widened. Now I really... <laughs> My horizons have been way broadened. Just saying what he said. I don't care about the competitive fighting game scene anymore, quite yeah. frankly. Um, they don't give a fuck about you. Honestly, I think that it's changed way for the worse. Uh -oh. Although some people would argue it's changed for the better because it got bigger and more popular. I think it's it's way different now. Yo, know, back then I played competitive fighting games for the love of the game. <laughs> Today most people play it for to get attention for themselves and to make <laughs> exactly the reason he did it money, which uh -huh. is so different than playing it for. I did it for competitive purposes. I got that amazing feeling of learning something new, meeting people all around the country. See what I mean? So even though I had tunnel vision, I kind of feel that I was doing it for the right reason. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but ever since I started doing being a YouTuber and playing a variety of games, I'll openly admit, man, was I just so biased and wrong okay, about a lot of the stuff that I had. All right, we're at the, we're at the, we're at at the part of the show where we've heard all the main stories. So now we're doing the rule where if he ever takes a sip, clip over, okay? New rule. If he ever takes a sip, the video's over. I don't care what's going on or how interesting the story is, all right? Starting now. Starting now. Because I have about 20, 30 more video clips to play. We have enough to get us through. Don't worry. So let's go. Um, a professional wrestler. I'm trying to remember what the hell his name was. Oh, God. Um, wrestler story again. I met him when I used to work at Best Buy. He walked into my store one day. Um... Stevie Richards, that was his name, Stevie Richards. <laughs> yeah. And at the time, he was in WWE, this was like the mid-2000s, and they weren't using him well at all. Like, he had come in and was getting a big push, and all of a sudden, he was getting nothing at all. No push. Uh -oh. All right, nothing. And nothing, dude. No one, you know, everyone even was wondering on TV what was going on, why is he like not on TV anymore? So I actually straight up asked him, I said, dude, you're like one of, my, one of the better wrestlers that I've seen, why the hell don't they put you on TV? And he said, because I was at a party with WWE management, and everyone had too much to drink, and one of the VPs hit on my wife, and I basically uh -huh. hit, punched him in the face. Uh, I, now we got the basically punched him in the face. It used to was decked him out or whatever that first time. And since then, that was it. I'm off TV. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's a real <laughs> shit way for that to happen, huh? Big ups, it was yeah, funny. He yeah, never yeah. got a push again. He was getting a push during that ECW era, uh -huh. and then he was with Victoria for a while as her valet, and then that was it. He was just off TV forever, and that's apparently what happened. That's what he told me. Phil knows everything. Got the got the TV bitches. Got the Victoria Valet. It was a behind the scenes uh, story. Uh -huh. It was kind of messed up. Uh, mm -hmm. The only other celebrity that I've seen in person, I guess you could say, was Stan Lee. I saw. Uh, what about Justin Wong? I'm at, at uh, <laughs> uh, New York New York Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con. Both Comic Cons, I saw him in person. I never like waited in line to meet him, but I saw him in person in the, in, the, in the same room or whatever. Um, you know, that's that was about it. You know. Oh, Joshua Hobbit says the Wrestling Observer confirmed the story. Hype. Okay. Well, there we go. It happened. Um, if you're talking internet celebrities, I mean, I've been to conventions. We had tons of them. <laughs> he's saying, like, <laughs> so he's saying, like, he went to Comic-Con and, like, Pokimane was, like, there. <laughs> yeah, so I've seen, like, Pokimane, uh, Pe PewDiePie was there, <laughs> Angry Video Game Nerd. I didn't meet him, but they were in the same building as me. <laughs> okay. But I thought you were talking about like like real life TV celebrities and stuff like that. So, uh, so there you go. Thank you for the cheer, Magnus Flamebeard. Also, Big Man gave me that 100 bit cheer and said, "What department did you work in at Best Buy?" I'm a oh. Geek Squad. I worked for Best Buy for business. I thought it was a high level elite business squad. It was a very short lived uh, effort by Best Buy to try to be able to have a specialized team that would sell. We were a very specialized team. Servers. You've heard of the Marines, right? Navy SEALs? Well, we are one and the same. High-end computing stuff, etc. to small businesses and basically get bulk bus Big small businesses set up with like point of sale, uh, cash registers and the like, but also have them do other stuff. Uh -huh. And basically the whole thing was, was a flop. They never actually gave us the resources of the time to sell the stuff. So we The resources he's talking about are business cards. Just end up becoming over-glorified computer salesmen in the store. I only Sound worked good? there for a year. So. Why, how, why'd you leave that job? I want to know about that story, huh? Could you tell us more about that, maybe? Maybe something about, maybe something about this? Could you tell us more about that? <laughs> oh. 
All right, Fee Five Fifty Fee Fee Fo did a two hundred bit cheer and said, "Pink Cigarette is a good song from Mr. Bungle." Mr. Bungles, that's just familiar. I think oh, I know about God. that band. Shut up. <laughs> My yeah, when I Bungle. Oh, World of Warcraft. Yes. Is it really? Not oh, Pedo Phil. Shout out to Pedo Phil. Inviting him to a group. <laughs> Pedo Phil. I don't think I did anything. Yes, World of Warcraft. <clears throat> Glorious. I love this. I, I love. Bluff should be up here. This is my favorite World of Warcraft YouTuber, is Philip Burnell. I don't know if it is for you guys. For me, it definitely is. Pedo Phil is biting to a group, dude. You better respond. P Pedo Phil's waiting it's for you. a lot of the other... Oh, Kekin, Kekin 3 has challenged you to a duel. <laughs> ...horde areas. The starter areas are like these, these, like, dark area. You know, like, the undead area and everything is, like, spooky and creepy. The Taurus area is beautiful. It's like this beautiful nature. <laughs> the Torrens are kind of out of place when it comes to being villains. Uh huh. Because they're really not. They're like, like they're almost like Native Americans in their lore what? and everything. Uh, I never heard that take before, but okay. They're almost Native Americans. <laughs> they're out of place as villains. <laughs> Phil has to. Th he sees everything as comic books, dude. Big animal means villain. You didn't know that, guys? Come on. These guys are big and have horns. Thusly, they are villains. Oh man, went to the other side. Shit. But oh, we gotta wait for the elevator. I remember if you run over there, it was gonna, it was, I was gonna miss it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my first playthrough, I was a Tauren, and I played. I want to say I played for a few months. I don't remember how long I played. Probably like three, four months, and I really liked it. But for whatever reason, I stopped playing it. And then later on, I, when I worked at Best Buy, I had my coworkers who I played with. And that was pretty fun. I did that for a little bit. Yeah, so that's some big lore there. So, I mean, not really big in terms of, but in terms of WPIG knowledge, uh, he did play with his roommates from Best Buy. His, his coworkers from Best Buy, they played World of Warcraft for three months. I had my coworkers who I played with. And that was pretty fun. I did that for a little bit. Um, probably like another two, three months. I don't know, for whatever reason, World of Warcraft is fun to me, but it's like, it never appealed to me long term. For whatever reason, I never really like was like massively interested in it. Mm-hmm. Probably too difficult. <laughs> I always just thought it was like, okay. Mm-hmm. I liked other ones better, like City of Heroes I thought was much better. City of Heroes, get fucked, WoW fans. City of Heroes is where it's at. City of Heroes, way better than WoW. Confirmed here. Signets, Confirmed. Signets to get commendation <laughs> or whatever, yeah. The Bluff Commendation, dude. Uh, what? Commendation or whatever, yeah. The Bluff Commendation, dude. Uh-huh, right. So, you can, I believe you can leave, oh, wow. Spirit Rise, Elder Rise, and Hunter Rise. I want to kind of keep watching this, but we got other things to do. That'll come a different day. We can watch the WoW playthrough. <laughs> together and have fun next <laughs> by they would ship in half of his question he says what are your opinions and thoughts on black friday and cyber monday oh, i'm God, currently black looking friday to buy a nintendo shit. switch and an xbox one for my kids do you uh, think it's worth it to wait the holiday season to purchase them to maximize the deals wait till the holiday season to purchase them to maximize the deals physical brick and mortar stores are the worst possible places to go for Physical brick and mortar stores are the worst possible places to go for deals on Black Friday. Hold on, we gotta see the the bingo arms here. Physical brick and mortar stores <laughs> are the worst annoying. possible places to go for deals on Black Friday. Uh huh. They don't have good deals mm -hmm. anymore. They don't have, they don't have Maybe at one point they did. They are a nightmare to get to. There is. <laughs> Maybe at one point they did. Maybe they do now. But Risk I don't involved think so. with assholes who just have All right, today's no Black Friday, by the way. Big ups. No heed of the humans around them, and they just want to care about them. What, what? There is risk involved with assholes who just have no heed of the humans around them, and they just want to care about themselves and getting their own greedy hands and on, on deals. Uh, um, right, A lot right, of the stuff right. they sell those days isn't really even a deal. What they're doing is they're selling you a low-quality product for a cheap price that normally they don't even sell. Ooh. When I used to work at Best Buy, they would ship in low-end computers to sell for like $150 on Black Friday. These are computers no one would want to buy normally. 
But because it's a hundred fifty dollar computer, idiots would run in to buy them. You know, Celeron processor, garbage computers. <laughs> Cel Celeron. Who needs Celeron? Okay, Celeron. Um, you ever heard of it? <laughs> I was an expert in the elite business field. This is how it how it is, and this is how it still is to this day. Oh, Bill Brasky, you're out um, there. Be careful. Be careful out there. It's buy the Celerons. Buy the Celeron processor computers, dude. They just got shipped in fresh. It's not an opportunity to really get yourself a deal in real life. Now, online is the complete and polar opposite. They wait for Black Friday. What? What is the symbol? Still in real life. Now, online whoa, is the complete and polar opposite. <laughs> they wait for Black Friday and they wait for Cyber Monday to put out really good deals. This gaming headset never goes on sale, uh -huh. but it was $50 off during Black Friday weekend and I bought it two years ago for $50 off. Okay? Whoa, whoa. There is opportunity online to buy that stuff. All right? Okay, so, all right. what I would say is. Yes, online purchases, two thumbs up. <laughs> Buying stuff in real life during that time period, hell no. Not worth the risk and certainly not worth the time. Real life during that time period. Look, so watch his, his eyes have to lock on to the laptop over there. And that's when he does that kind of the mouth thing. Watch, he's, mouth, his eyes are now on the, on the laptop. And now that look at the mouth. That's when he turns the mouth on. You know? Now, okay, I got the mouth engaged. Now I can do this. Now I'll kill him with this. Hit him with one of these. Hit him with the stroke mouth. Let me hit him with one of these. Okay, let me engage stroke mouth. Let me hit him with one of these. Oh yeah. Make the dance laugh with my stroke mouth. Boom, 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 boom. Got the stroke mouth. <laughs> not worth the risk and certainly not worth the time off away from your family and friends during those days when you should be spending. Well, with good them. thing you don't have any of those to worry about. Next, and you but you jump, you jump, and you 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 rip the candy canes off the wall behind me. And when I go for that, then you go in the bathroom and turn the faucets on. Right? Yeah, you could be like, there's points for trolling. Right? There's points for trolling in the house. You could be like the the cat that trolled the family or something. That actually is. I think that would be a hilarious game. Oh, it's that would be an hilarious. absolutely hilarious game. People would probably like it too. Because mm -hmm. Untitled Goose Game worked, right? People thought, how could a game where you play as a goose... Shout out to DJ Runo. ...around basically trolling people work. It worked. It was fun. So I could see a game like that working. <clears throat> okay. Okay. That <laughs> just killed him with that. Hope you guys have recovered and chat from that joke. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it. It took me... It took me an, almost an hour and a half. I caught up with the contributions. It took me that long, but I caught up with all of your contributions... So now I can actually start actively looking over here at the normal stream chat to talk with you guys because I'm not backed up on contributions. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Going crazy. Big right Boy here. Abide just resubscribed for five months. I'm glad you had a refreshing holiday. Those are the best. I almost bought a TV the day before Christmas. Would have been like that film Jingle All the Way. Decided not to. Went up in price the next day by $100. Uh, uh, yeah, dude. Any of those, those last minute sales, they don't exist. Those items. <laughs> what exists in this in Phil's life? Nothing exists. Black Friday sales exist. Last minute deals don't exist. What else exists? They're gone within minutes. And then people are just so frustrated. They want something, so they buy something that's different than what they wanted. Okay, so they don't exist except for the people that manage to get them. Okay, got Overpriced it. I'm trying to keep or, up here. Know, it's tough. A rip-off product. Uh-huh. That shit used to happen all the time. Uh -oh. the Best Buy. Uh-oh. We had like two or three of the doorbuster computers, and then we'd have like 40 of a shitty computer that we were told to upsell to the people. So they came in for the $200 computer and said you sell them the $250 one that actually is a piece of donkey shit, but they buy it because they came in for a computer. You see? You see? And that's what we used to do at Best Buy. That's what we were told to do by management. Uh -huh. Sell this shit computer to get the inventory out of there. Okay. It's not what they wanted, but okay, I'll sell it if that's really what you want me to do. That's how those places were. I don't know if they're still like that, but they were pretty fucked up back then. Pretty you know, we're talking up, 15 years ago. That was yep. about the mid-2000s when they were like that. Uh, don't that's worry, I got them back, though. Tell me though, I got them back though. I went there one year, went to the used DVD sales. I bought the whole fucking rack, dude. I spent a thousand dollars on used CDs. That'll show them to fuck with Philip Burnell. Hi <laughs> to customers. Anything to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Yeah, imagine selling stuff. You're a salesperson. Imagine selling stuff. Oh, all right, whatever. Huh. Any less questions? Pro Truth Zone, everything is great.
<clears throat> everything is absolutely great. In fact, I'm <laughs> having a good time on stream with all of you. Uh -huh. I'm having way more time talking with you guys and having fun answering your questions than I am playing the game. I think the game is terrible. But I'm having a lot of fun just hanging out and talking with you guys. So oh, I hope yeah. you're liking the stream. Uh-huh. A lot of fun. If you do like it, there's something you can do to make it even better. All right, we're done. Like some of these other content creators do. So, you know, that's, for me, that's my focus. Um, and I hope that people get that out of my stuff. Uh -huh. I really do. Uh, uh shit. The best <laughs> insult I've ever used is probably just telling the truth. And that's the, that's, that's all it takes sometimes. Is doing because what? there's so many people. Oh my God. The best insult I've used is telling the truth. To see it like it is oh, and say man. it like it is and tell the truth. Shut the and fuck I've up. taken a lot of shit in my life oh, for yeah. being a truthful person. Uh -huh. I've gotten in trouble at yep. work, at jobs I've had. I've gotten in trouble in school. I've gotten in trouble. Every authority figure ever, like, oh my God, Phil said that. Yeah, I said what was actually going on because no one else will fucking say it. Yeah, I need those business cards, okay? <laughs> and someone has to because you're all pussies, you know? Someone has to do it. If you're going to take the brunt or whatever for doing it, I'll do it, you know? there's a, I, I firmly believe... Uh oh. The reason why I have some issues with jobs in the past, like for example, one time. Oh yeah, let's hear this. He's gonna say the reasons he's had problems at every single job he's ever had. It's not because of his work ethic or bitching about everything. Let's hear why he's had problems at every single job he's ever had. Let's go. And I worked at Best Buy, uh -oh. and they wanted us to have a business team where we were uh -oh. gonna sell servers and networking and all this stuff to small business owners. They didn't give us any resources to do so. They didn't, they didn't give us any resources to do so, which we just heard was business cards. They didn't allow us to attend business mixers. They wouldn't even make us business cards so we could hand them out to customers. All they had us do was stand inside the store and sell computer shit like a normal associate who worked at Best Buy. But then, listen to this, they were expecting us to qualify and study and get high-end networking training. Uh -huh. They were actually having us take online courses to learn how to do, like, like networking, to build an uh -huh. office of network computers. <laughs> and I'm like, why are we doing this? <laughs> we're never going to sell this shit. Why not? Because, number one, we don't carry any of it, any of it in store. Number two, uh -huh. because you won't let us network. You won't let us go out. You won't let us network. Where do you want to go? There and tell the people that we even exist. So you're having me study out off off of the time of the clock, by the way, not when I, off the time of the clock, by the way, I was clocked in working, having me study and, and do online courses and shit for networking, something I will never do in this job because the <laughs> management of the company is. So they noticed right away that you didn't want to learn. You probably he probably bitched to high heaven about that, too. Guys, you learn take, you know, could you learn from this notebook today? What? We're never going to use this. Huh? Asinine doesn't know like a bitchy kid that you know what the fuck they're doing. Then they're fucking they're just basically doing throwing it. money at a wall, not knowing what the fuck they're doing, and they expect that this business team is just going to sell you know ten, twenty thousand dollar transactions overnight when we don't have the product in the store and no one knows that there's a business team at Best Buy. Yeah, you know, it's 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 really stupid. It's for this. Um, it's all about. And this. I was very vocal about this, uh -huh. and ever since I started talking up, speaking up about it. They tried to get rid of me, and eventually they did. They kind of uh, so ever, ever since I told them how much I hate doing shit, they tried to get rid of me. And ever since I started talking up, speaking up about it, they tried to get rid of me, and eventually <laughs> they did. They kind of <laughs> so now the truth comes out. In 2020, he was a fucking bitchy employee that complained about everything, and then they found a reason to get rid of him. There it is, boys. We found it. We got there. Framed me, claiming that I violated the store's uh. The store's uh, store discount policy uh -huh. to get me which, out of there. Which but, you did. You did violate the store policy. Because they didn't like someone speaking up and exposing them for their ineptitude. Oh, yeah. That was the problem. Not you bitching about learning on the job. Okay. Which is just one example, by the way. Right? He's telling us that he, all we go have to go by is what he told us. But if he told us that, you know, that it's probably like the iceberg. Th you know, if you, you only see 10% of the iceberg. Like, he's saying that he complained about this part. So that means there's 90% more shit there that he was also complaining about that actually sounds kind of bad, so he won't tell us, though. And by the way, yep. what did they do? They got rid of the whole business team. They did, They just got rid of about two years of launching it. They completely just got rid of it. And anyone who stayed with the company just went back to being like a line-level associate selling oh. computers. Okay, so that's how they saw you then. I thought you guys were high-level. Why would you go back to line-level associates, dude?
You should be in management. Everyone else, you know, either got laid off, you know, or fired or whatever. Uh, he was going to say laid off like me, but then he realized that would be a complete lie, so he didn't say it. So, that's what I mean, but I do this all the time. That's the kind of person I am. Um, I, I always bitch about everything. And it gets me in trouble. You know, uh-huh. it does. Uh, but that's the, the best insult you can use is to tell someone to their face the truth, and they just... <laughs> that, so you're... You are... What? Now he's saying I insulted them. Huh? I insulted them. Now, now it's... The question was, what's your biggest insult? And he talks about how he treated his employers? We're ready for it. Because they've been so lied to or... What? They've been so... Had their ass kicked. Big ups, Commander Keen. Loved your game. I have a friend who currently works at Skorsky. Definitely still in business. He's going to try to see if they can find info about Phil's employment. Hey, Commander Keen, hang on. That be- that company's been closed for years. So nothing can be confirmed or denied, dude. There's no history of anything in this world. You know how that works. Come on. But yeah, that'd be cool. Pissed. You know what I mean? That you know finally I mean? they get the truth, and they're like, oh my god. You don't have to go out of your way to insult someone. You don't have to fucking... They finally get the truth, and they're like, oh my god. And, you know, pull out, pull all the stops or nothing. Just tell them something that they don't want to pull face out the all the of, stops, and that will hurt them. Well, not hurt them, but that will make them be shocked more than anything else. Uh-huh. Anything all righty else? then. Golden Nobles gives it a sub to Crazy Dream. Congratulations, <laughs> Golden Noble. Or excuse me. Congratulations, Crazy Dream, and thank you, Golden Nobles, for uh-huh. this support. Uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Papavero, the fifty bit cheers. The prerequisites for being the president should change. There's tests and requirements. Don't give a fuck. Get out of here, Papavero. Then I worked for shit about you. Life. Go ahead. It's just been so- yeah, Jay Wu. So just in case anyone just cut turning in here, yeah, no pulls today. I had to reinstall OBS, and everything's fucked right now. It'll be ready tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, we're going back to Ask the King. Everything will be back. We'll be having some fun. Like ten new cards premiering tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But let's go. We can't complain about it now. So nuts. So I went to college. Out of college, I started at a mortgage company. Uh-huh. Within a year, I found out that they were a predatory lender company within a year of doing the job i figured out they were a predatory lending company okay so it took you a year to figure that out and that my management was corrupt and forging loans illegally and i stopped now they're forging loans illegally <laughs> okay that's a new thing i was working there then- oh. <laughs> they were forging loans illegally now that's why you stopped working there Right, right. Okay, cool. I'm on board. What else? What more shit can we spill today? Then I, was, yeah, was it illegal forging or le- illegal forging? Because, you know, there's illegal framing and also legal framing. So worked for Best Buy for a year. Uh-oh. While I was playing competitive... Well, actually, I played competitive Street Fighter before I went to Best Buy. That was when I got my fourth place at Evo and all of that. Hey! Um, which was crazy. Wait. Uh-oh. I was like, gee, am I going to be a competitive Street Fighter player now? I don't know. <laughs> He got fourth place in Evo and said, oh, what? I might be a professional gaming. Uh, I might be a professional Street Fighter player. I don't even know. <laughs> Which was crazy. I was like, gee, am I going to be a competitive Street Fighter player now? I don't know. Then I went to Best Buy for Uh-oh. a year until I found out that, whoa, that thing's huge. That's a <laughs> yeah, we heard this before, by the way. Seabass. Oh, Seabass, I went to Best Buy for a year until I found out that the program I was working for, Best Buy for Business, was a huge sham. Now it's the whole business is a sham. And the company didn't really support it. Uh huh. And but within a year they shut down the whole thing and they framed me, and fired me illegally. And I challenged. They framed me illegally. There's nothing illegal about firing you for for breaking you know this company's policy. I'm in court and won. <laughs> so then after that. Oh, now he took him to court and won. By the way, like he lawyered up. He went to the unemployment office and they told him what to do. Uh- and when I worked for an office job for about four years, What's that one where called? I thought that maybe that was going to be my whole career. Like, seriously, I thought that would be my whole career, uh-huh. working at this office job. Then they laid me off out of nowhere. By the way, I inadvertently started up a whole YouTube fad thing. I started up a whole YouTube fad thing? Uh, when I started uploading random videos to YouTube while I worked uh-huh. at the office job. Uh-huh. See what I mean? Like, it's been crazy shit. There hasn't been, like, a level of consistency in my life. Right, I'm not time- hearing this again. I'm in the I'm in the pissed off mode on the PlayStation 2. I also believe was it ported to the original Xbox? I think it was too. I, I'm not 100% on that. <clears throat> yeah, by the way, he said he sued Best Buy and won. There was no suing happening. It's not that in that set I mean, I guess in the 
dictionary form of the word it was. What he was was he was able to get unemployment payments. It's not like you sued and get this huge payout, you know? Oh, I got to sue him and won. It was incredible, dude. They were, they, were, they were ruined for years about that. So it was a lawsuit, yes, but he was able to continue to get unemployment. That's the beginning and end of it. Around the time this game came out, I was working at Best Buy. Uh-oh. And I remember seeing it in the store, and it was a best seller. And I was like, whoa, you know, a game about an alien coming down and murdering humans is a bestseller, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> what kind of content are you looking for for best-selling video games? Hold on a second. There's a movie about, like, dinosaurs and stuff? That's a bestseller? Huh? I guess. What do you want? Like, whoa, you know, a game about an alien coming down and murdering humans is a bestseller, huh? You know, this is a time frame when I wasn't really invested too much in console video games. I was just playing competitive Street Fighter and just doing my thing. Um, uh -huh. I didn't play it. And this game got so popular at the time, it actually had a bunch of sequels. I think it had two to three sequels. Um, and Yeah, Breezy Style, that's what it was. Uh, he won an unemployment court. And Breezy Style, big ups, doing the same thing. You won, dude. Come on, good job. Big ups. And the franchise just kind of fizzled out and died, and we never heard from it again. Uh -huh. So they decided to remake the original game for modern consoles. Now, from what I'm going to understand... Okay, I don't care. Oh, God, sorry about that. This remake is... I don't care, sorry. Remember... Oh, yeah, it was. Here uh, we go. People in charge of Majestic, right? Now, from what people told me during the playthrough, the second one was still pretty good, but the th I think the third one was like utter dog shit or something oh, like dog that. Shit, dude. Pretty good. Pretty so, good, dude. There were four games, says be the colonel. Gotcha. Gotcha. See, here's the thing. I like this game. I do. But obviously, it's, it's 15 years outdated. And obviously, if they were made a modern Destroy All Humans, there'd be way different things. Checkpoints and the gameplay would be more refined. It's a cool game for 15 years ago. I remember working at Best Buy at the time <laughs> and people telling me the game was good. And back then, for what was out on, like, original Xbox and PS2, yeah, this game would have been pretty groundbreaking and neat, I think. So... Mm -hmm. So. Yes, I did. I did watch the Twilight Zone Jaturity. I've seen. I, I have seen the whole series. I love it. So, a few shout outs. Shout out the Hedgehog did a 500. Bit. Do not care. Next. Worth the best. Be Skittles. Because if I swear to God, if I ate a fucking rotten zombie Skittle right now, I would probably smash something. I'm so angry today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Here's the thing. Last console gen, it was a little easier. I don't know why. I was able to get a piece that PlayStation 4 easily. When E3 happened, it wasn't even E3. It was that day they did the special Sony event. I remember it was a special event. They announced the PlayStation 4. I just walked right into my local GameStop, and I pre-ordered it that day. They said, yep, we're open for pre-orders. You can get it. No problem. Okay. <laughs> done. Zero. No. <laughs> did they really say all that? Yep. We're open for business. Yep. You can get a pre-order. Yep. That's to be done. Yep. Done. Problem, right? No problem. Console yep. generation before that was a fucking mess. There were no pre-orders. You had to line up outside of a retail store that was going to sell the console in order to get it. I remember when I worked at Best Buy. Uh oh All right. The Xbox 360 launch was the messiest thing ever. There oh, people... God. Do we get toilet again? Because Breezy Side for the gift. I wish I could play the fucking <laughs> Blanca for you, but not today. Lined up outside Tomorrow. of the store. I'm not kidding. And big up to Theodore Holmstrom with receiving the gift. Legend. You for two days. Uh -huh. They had tents and lawn chairs, and they were camped out on the curb camped in front out? of the fucking store uh -huh. for two days to get the launch Xbox 360. All right. Oh, we got to get and, the pneumonia story? And by the way, not everyone got one. So some people camped out for two days and didn't get it. Okay. All right. Pneumonia? Some of the people in the line, people who worked at the store knew them, and people in the line caught pneumonia. It was Here we go. It was in the rain for two days. Remember, it came out in the fall. It was cold and rainy. They got sick. They went to the hospital with pneumonia. Oh, God. Of course. They, now they're sick and in the hospital for getting for the pneumonia. fucking launch 360. Uh-huh. All right. So that, well, you know what that means? That happened one t time somewhere in America. On Twitter, and now it happened at Phil's Best Buy. That's exactly what happened there. And then on top of that... Uh-oh. On top of all that... There was, there was shit in the bathroom, dude. If you remember, the first wave of Xbox 360s were 100% faulty. They all red-ringed within like three months. So imagine waiting outside of Best Buy for two...
You get that Two back. Days, no work, nothing. Just sitting there like an asshole. You you get the console, you bring it home, but get pneumonia. You go to the hospital, you get a five thousand to ten thousand dollar hospital bill uh-huh. because you caught pneumonia. Then finally, you get back home from the hospital, you go to play your Xbox three hundred and sixty, and it red ranks. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the ultimate fuck you. I don't think you'll ever have it worse than that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> next question. There you go. There anyway, you I think now I vented a lot about okay. the launch yep. of the, the PlayStation it. Five. Uh, you uh, vented Eternal and I'm very sorry to hear. That. Vented and dented. Up, oh, Eternal Napalm. What do you want to say? This that this happened to you. This is bullshit. This is horse shit. Um, you don't deserve that. You did the right thing. You got fucked in the ass by GameStop and by capitalism. You did the right thing. You got fucked in the ass. <laughs> Was that the statement? I just want to hear it again. It's out of context, but I want to hear it again. Deserve that. You did the right bullshit. You got fucked in the ass for shit. Um, you don't deserve that. You did the right thing. You got fucked in the ass by game. <laughs> just stop it there. It's funny. You did the right thing. You got fucked in the ass. <laughs> I remember when I worked at retail before during the launch of consoles. Okay. You always get told one thing. Like, well, I remember when I worked at Best Buy. Oh, God. We had the Xbox 360 launch, and we uh-huh. were told, well, this is launch day, but we're going to get another batch within two weeks. Yeah, right. We didn't get another batch of 360s for, like, two months. Oh, no. So it doesn't matter what they say. Just, you know, you basically would be the first group of people, all right, um, that will get it whenever they get it. <laughs> Who knows when that will be? But obviously... <laughs> As they say, better late than never, right? If you really wanted a PS5 and you didn't get in on pre-ordering it in the first wave, this is probably your best opportunity. But I, I'm just going to say this. If you are thinking about this, now, oh, man, I wanted the PS5. I'm going to go line up tomorrow morning to get one. Please, please, folks, listen to me, all right? What? Oh, God. Wear, wear heavy clothes, okay? Wear layers. Someone I know almost died from pneumonia. Please be safe. Uh-huh. Be wear safe. a fucking mask. Stay the uh, it's fuck, Corona days. Fuck away from other people. Socially distance yourself. Do not risk your health mm-hmm. and the health of others over a goddamn PS5. It's not worth it. I personally have told you the story that when I worked at Best Buy, oh, people who were in line to get the Xbox 360 at launch got pneumonia and ended up in the hospital for. And one of them got fucked in the ass. It's crazy. We and ended up with like a ten thousand dollar hospital bill. Oh, now the now we know the hospital numbers. This story gets outrageous as the years go. Started out with someone he knows got pneumonia. Now they got pneumonia, went in the hospital. Now they went pneumonia, got in the hospital, and had a ten thousand dollar hospital bill. Sound good? Kevin in the house again says it's a good thing Panda didn't get Xbox pneumonia. All right, <laughs> this shit is not worth it. It's Be not worth it, dude. Safe. All right? Please do. Don't risk it all for a fucking console. Uh-huh. Do it the right way. Yeah, do it the right way. Beg your fans to give you one. Okay? Okay? Fair enough? Fair enough? Just okay. beg. So that's the rumor or whatever going around. Well, it's not a rumor anymore. It was confirmed by GameStop. I didn't even realize that until this morning. <laughs> uh, you guys <laughs> just told me that. So, all right. All right. All right. The other thing I want to talk about, right. guys, obviously, yes. the thing that's been going on this last week that's the hot topic, all right, is the fact that We've got ridiculous contributions coming into my streams, all right? And... Oh, this is... I think this is the vest start, maybe? Obviously, it's, 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 it's just... It's fucking weird that we've got these big contributions, right, that are coming in. Oh, I gotta hear this. It's, it is out of the ordinary. 1.5. That I'm getting this amount of large contributions, you know, almost seemingly out of thin air. It's not like, oh, here's a longtime viewer and supporter oh. coming onto my stream and saying, oh, Phil, you know, I really wanted to help you out right now. So here, you know, here's a tip. That's not what's happening. What's happening is we're getting names we've never seen before. Ah, uh, this is where he's worried about it. So don't stop tipping, guys. I'm just worried it might not be real. So don't stop tipping. I'm really worried about it, but don't stop tipping, okay? So I'm getting big contributions, but I'm worried. So don't stop tipping, okay? We're getting weird accounts. You know, they don't make any sense. And they're coming in and they're tipping giant amounts. You know, yesterday I got a $500 tip. I got $1,200 tip over the weekend. Jesus. I'm frequently getting like $30 to $50 chunk tips. Chunk. And they're popping up out of nowhere, which is seemingly, you know, without any kind of backup or anything. No okay? backup. How are you supposed to back up your tips? And it's very suspect. I'm not going to lie. It's very suspect to the point where now whenever I get a big tip, I got to question it. Is this legit or not? I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> you know? 
I don't know, dude. Um, now, listen, I'm certainly listen. not saying I'm ungrateful. And I'm certainly not saying um, it's all fake. What I'm saying is it's very suspect when I'm getting giant, you know, contributions every single stream so like next this. Time, <laughs> so next time, please submit your driver's license when you want to tip me. I'm not listening to this anymore. Dark Side Kenny says, why don't I talk about the mistreatment Best Buy did to me? Yeah, I've why are you talking about that Many times I've talked about it. Yeah, tell us more about it. Because it was a dumb rule. You can't use your discount to buy consoles for your tournaments. That was stupid. Yeah, but that wasn't the rule. They made that up. That was the excuse to get rid of me. <laughs> they made that up now. Okay. To buy consoles for your tournaments. That was stupid. Yeah, but that wasn't the rule. They made that up. That was the excuse to get rid of me. That was a big shirt tuck, shirt untuck here. To buy consoles for your tournaments. That was stupid. Yeah, but that wasn't the rule. Ready? They made that up. That was the excuse to Bam! get rid of me. You know that because they couldn't fire me because I didn't do anything wrong, but they wanted to disband the Best Buy for Business team that I was a part of. What do you think's easier to do? Disbanding a dis uh, or and oh, excuse me, not disbanding, just re putting workers in one team to a different place or making up reasons to fire people. What's easier to do? <laughs> so that was their excuse to get rid of me. It wasn't a legit excuse at all. That's why they lost. And by the way, like the guy on the, the SRK said, I see Superfluous Moniker saying the same thing. There was rules against the consoles that apparently they had. But in the, in the document, it doesn't seem like they talked about that. But Phil definitely could be making a profit from this tournament because it did have an entry fee. And he could have used that for future gaming tournaments as well. In unemployment court, and I got unemployment. Let me see that again, though, real quick. In unemployment court, and I got unemployment. Uh huh. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, thanks, Hate Army. Yeah, they could just said we're not, it's all at will employment. So you said, hey, the team's done. Sorry, guys. But no, they have to make up the they have to frame DSP. You know, remember they, <laughs> we're framing DSP. We're framing DSP. Spread it around. We're framing DSP. It's on the news. All right, we're framing DSP next week. Get ready. We got to get rid of this guy from the business, high-level business team. What's going on? We're framing DSP. It goes all the way to UK. What do you got? All right, mites. What? <laughs> That's I did Australia. <laughs> hey there, governor. We're framing DSP. Pass it on. Then we go to Australia. How you doing that, mate? I'm just cutting up the bush. Oh, we're framing DSP, you say? Well, <laughs> I'll shrimp on that barbie for you. I'll frame DSP. It's going all over the place. <laughs> Whoops. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I worked God. at Best Buy. I worked uh -oh. on a business team at Best Buy. Uh oh. When I was first hired by the team, this is a, most, a very similar situation, of course, not uh -oh. on the scale of CD Projekt Red. But when I was hired for Best Comparing himself to CD Projekt Red. Get ready. Buy for business, which is what this team was called. Uh huh. Okay. What'd you do? I was told I didn't need any kind of technical experience, but it would be based on my knowledge of computers and my ability to sell <laughs> products. So you don't need any special skills whatsoever, sir. We just need your skills of knowledge because what? You're a gamer or some shit? Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll take you. We'll take you. We'll take you. Which I, I had good knowledge of computers and I could sell them. That's what uh -huh. you, This is a guy that said he didn't know how to replace fans. But he has good knowledge of computers. Sorry, Ram Rancher. No visions today. Sell products. Which I, I had good knowledge of computers, and uh -huh. I could sell them. That's uh -huh. what, Didn't know how to replace fans. But I was hired on. Uh-huh, okay. Then about, I'd say, probably five to six months into working for this job, they uh -oh. completely changed the job requirements uh -oh. and said, oh, now you need to... <laughs> hear the oh, you know you're in trouble when you hear that fucking oh. Ew! They completely changed the job requirements and said, oh, now you need to be certified to install servers. So, what? what? Imagine that. Requiring education to do stuff. I, I didn't, Why? Huh? This job isn't server installation. Not a single person ever came into the store looking for server installation because no one knows that Best Buy sells or installs servers. Why is this a job requirement? <laughs> now, uh, the there was five of us on the team at the time. Uh -huh. One of the guys said, fuck. Those other four guys kept it. <laughs> Listen, I believe he transferred off the team, if I remember. Five of us on the team at the time. So th yeah, th this is these are the stories you want to you, you want to find on the iceberg or the employment series we're on now, where more details come out 
the later it goes, because then you get the real, real nonsense, made up shit. Like everything is fabricated now because we're so far beyond. When he talks about a story deeply in the old days, like it's a higher chance it's real. Usually not, but at least there's some truth there. Now we're in 2020 explaining a story that he's never talked about before. That's when you know it's complete, complete bullshit. So here we go. Now, on the team, there was five of us on the team at the okay. time. Uh huh. One of the guys said, "Fuck this!" And I believe he transferred off the team, if I remember correctly. Uh huh. Okay. Um, right, 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 right. And the rest of us were all basically going to taking online learning to try <laughs> to learn how to do this certification. Okay, so online learning is too much work, dude. Ready? All right. And I was trying to do it while I was juggling other things in my personal life. He was juggling. I was juggling gin, juggling SRK forum post writing. I was juggling top haters. I was juggling a lot of stuff, dude. Daily trips to McDonald's for my sausage biscuit. D <laughs> what else were we juggling here, brother? You live by yourself, have no kids, no girlfriend, nothing. What are you juggling at that age? Certification. All right. And I was trying to do it while I was juggling other things in my personal life. Uh huh. <clears throat> I took the test the first time and I failed it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Failure. God, I wish I had my wasted one. <laughs> God, where's my wasted? <laughs> God damn it. I wish I had my stuff ready today. Where's my wasted? I can't find it. It fucked me. <laughs> you failed the test. Online learning failed. Right. And then Best Buy. <laughs> You know, those online learning shit you got to take in those companies is like so easy too. it's like, uh, what is the, the the test you take is like server learning. It's like, what's the name of this course? Server learning, hu animal husbandry learning, shotgun learning, or, you know, and you like, that's it. You know, that's like one question legitimately. And you got to get like six out of 10. Correct. <laughs> First time. And I failed it. All right. And then Best Buy, you know, gets on me. The management gets on me, and they're like, oh, you need to pass this test, man. You need <gasps> Oh, this is the best thing yet today. Imagine that. The management gets on me and says I have to pass the test. How dare they? How dare they? Gets on me. The management gets on me, and they're like, oh, you need to pass this test, man. You need to pass it. What are you doing? Why are you failing? To which I told my, my boss straight up. The, the yeah, th this is real now. I think you're right. I think this story is real now. Because, like, he wouldn't say this. He doesn't say, like, de degrading shit to amongst himself very lightly. Store manager. But he's going to, like, he's going to try to make himself turn out to be the badass. So, like, what comes afterwards might be fake. But, dude, this is real, man. This sounds real. I told him. Listen. Listen, dude. You hired me under certain, you know, preconceived notions of what the job was going to be. Just because Best Buy changes the job in the middle of me having it, right, doesn't mean now that you think you can sh make me do shit. Like, oh my god, this is incredible. Now we're getting the truth. So, yeah, so they, they, the job position required more knowledge, and Phil is saying, because you hired me when that wasn't required, you can't ask me to do this. You, you... The story's starting to make sense now. Now you're starting to see where they got rid of him for 70 cents. Actually, this is not legal, what you're doing. <laughs> if you try to force me to do this when it was not a job requirement when I was hired, that's against the law. <laughs> it's against the law. In addition, if you try to discipline me <gasps> at all for not actually getting the certification, that's against the law. Dude. Okay, this is what I have to save this one. This is magic. The, the, the levels of, uh, of, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Of entitlement is off the fucking charts right here. <laughs> Everyone hates him for no reason. Now, there is not a doubt in my mind about what we already knew. They wanted to get rid of him for any reason they had, and when he used that employment discount, they fucking knew it. They had their reason to fire him. So if you got an issue, go get a lawyer. If you got an issue, get a lawyer. Imagine telling that to your boss. <laughs> and guess what? <clears throat> the store manager didn't like me after that. Oh, you think? Because I stood up to him. And, and said random bullshit that's not even true. Told him, <clears throat> I'm not going to do this bullshit that's illegal because you're going to force me into it. 
I worked at that job for about another two and a half months, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, they were they were just waiting for you to fuck up, and they didn't have to wait long, did they? They only had to wait two months for you to fuck up for no reason. Yeah. And basically, what happened? What I became, happened? What happened to you? The black sheep. In the black sheep, you painted yourself black. I became the black sheep of the store. Uh -huh. All right. After painting yourself black. Okay, now you have full black face paint on. You're you're fully black face now with the sheep. And then what's going to happen? No one wanted to have no none of the management wanted to have anything to do with me. Makes sense. Yes, I agree. Um they basically kind of the, the store manager did, you know basically treated, didn't care about me anymore. Kind of uh, I wouldn't either. They don't have time for this nonsense. They probably said, "All right, don't worry about the test, man. Don't worry about it. You're fine." And then just waited. Treat me like dirt. Yep. Um eventually what happened? Did what they happened? fire me because I didn't do the, cert the server certification? No. They could have, but they didn't. They waited for you to fuck up instead, which you did. That's not what happened. What happened was they framed me. Uh, framed me. They actually framed me. They framed him? Saying that I had violated the store's discount policy, the employee discount policy, because I had bought three PlayStation 2s. Uh-huh. And they said, there's no way that three PlayStation 2s could possibly be for yourself. Our, the, our policy is only for personal purchases. Therefore, you definitely gave those to other people. And you've no, no, now you're adding stuff. Violated the policy. So but now, you're, now you're lying. That's, that's even lying according to the court documents where they said you were making a profit from the tournament. That's what they said. That's what you said they said at court. So now this is complete lie started now. But you're fired. Uh -huh. Now they had, no, they had no knowledge of that. They had no evidence of that. And they had no knowledge of that. I, it's a lie. I owned all three PS2s. You did own all three PS2s, but you used them for a tournament, which was, there was an entry fee for that. Those were PS2s that I had bought to run tournaments. Yeah. At the time. Oh, oh, plural tournaments? Because you said in the court documents that there wasn't plural. So which one is it? I was actually a tournament director in the. I was a tournament director. This is like saying you're a, a, a movie star after getting an extra in one movie. You ran one tournament. You're not tournament director after one tournament. Northeast United States, and I was going to New York, New Jersey, bringing those PS2s with me. They were my personal property, and I was running tournaments on them. Running tournaments when you could have gotten a profit for that because there was an entry fee. But they insisted that this was a lie and that I had like bought them for resale. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, you're lying. Now you're just lying now to make it sound better for you. They said you were making a profit from the tournaments. They cr they created this whole fabricated situation. No, nope, they did not. Help me to fire me. <clears throat> What's the whole fabricated situation? Now, of course, this is just my own personal situation. Oh, you got that right. Oh, big ups for the 50. Okay. Uh, this is Hiro certainly not Hirohito. what is going to happen to every single person. But the po point I'm trying to make here is thus. Okay, here we go. He's if done. you don't play ball in, in, in the business world... If you don't follow basic uh, basic corporate rules... I'm just going to translate on the fly here. Especially in America, okay? Okay, yeah, in America, it's triply so. Um, th these companies may not be able to directly punish you for sticking up for yourself. Sticking up for yourself by saying, I don't have to do the work you assign me to do. That's what we're saying here. Just want to keep it real. But these companies will find a way, one way or another. When you break the rules. To screw you over. To fire you legally. Okay. They will. Okay. Yes, they will. Yes, they will absolutely do that. If you do things that the people don't, the, if you do things that make a company like, like you, they will absolutely wait for you to do something wrong, no matter how small it is, and then fire you for cause, which you were. They will find a way, one way or another, to get rid of you if they really don't want you there. Yes, they will. They'll wait for you to make a mistake and fire you. And you. So, did. for example. Uh -huh. um, oh, God, we need more examples. CD Projekt Red sends uh -huh. out an email. Everyone uh -huh. now has to work six-day work weeks. You'll get paid overtime because, by the way, it's dictated by the government they do that. It's not like they're doing that out of the kindness of their own heart. In Poland, the so they're not they're not making them be slaves. Labor laws are different. They have to do it. If not, they can get into huge trouble with the government. Okay. So required crunch. You have to work an extra day a week now. You'll get paid for it, but you have to work a whole extra day a week, um, because we want to get this this done in time for the release window. Get mm -hmm. it polished and done. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh well, 
sorry, my life situation isn't that I can work that extra day. I have a family. I have requirements. Well, you I'm don't sorry, have one of those CD to worry Project about. Red. I love working for you, but I can't do that. <laughs> okay, fine. You don't have to then. But uh -huh. by the way, we'll make your life a living hell, and we'll find a way to get rid of you later. That's basically the writing on the wall, <laughs> and that's how it always is with these game companies. And uh, with that's what they America. said. Yep. I know well, that CD Projekt Red is not based in America, but I'm just uh, giving you my own experience. God damn it, dude. They, this, is, this is the best video of the day. Sometimes you find gold like this, man. These, these lore dives, man, they're sometimes a slog. But when you find shit like this, man, mind-bending shit. We're not a team player. It's worth it. It's all it. Makes it all worth it. Makes it all worth it. They want to play ball. <laughs> they will just cut you. They'll find a reason. They, the reason was that you abused the, 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 you did not use your customer discount correctly. That's why they fired you. They'll say you, you take too many coffee breaks. They'll, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is that another thing? You know, he probably did that too. They'll say you take too many coffee breaks. Is that something else you did? They'll find something. Uh -huh, what else? And get rid of you. Yeah, like not passing tests that are required knowledge for your job. And that's basically the pressure <clears throat> that a game developer is under. If you work for a game development company and they say there's a requirement of, of crunch and you say no, do you really think that they're going to look at you in a good light moving <laughs> forward? Uh -huh, Especially uh -huh. if, what if that's your dream job? Uh -huh. What if you've always wanted to work for a AAA game developer? I don't give a shit. All right, I'm keeping that up. Though. That's amazing. But uh, I'm going to give a little company. bit more you chance to put here. out amazing games that everyone around the world will play. And then you can say, wow, I worked on that game. And I mean, the other thing is, I think I, I'm pretty sure with CD Projekt Red, at least, they receive a cut of the profits of the game. Like, I think if the game does really well, there's like a 10% employee profit share. So if Cyberpunk is the best-selling game of this year, uh -huh. all those employees will get a giant bonus. Okay? So, so, sounds pretty good to me. that's what's promised of them. I've actually heard horror stories like companies, uh, who is it, the makers of Borderlands or whatever? Borderlands? Where they promise that. And then what they what don't happened to Borderlands? I like Borderlands better. They don't actually live up to it. Everyone crunches and works their asses off to put out a great game, and then the fucker keeps the money or doesn't pay the money out. <clears throat> okay. That's not the case with but CD whole, Project Red, though, but you could just keep writing shit up. At least, at least we have to believe what's being said. We have to believe that CD Project Red... Believe what's being said. ...will live up to their promise. They'll pay the overtime. That's our, that's that being said, sister, sister uh, conspiracy theory podcast. Believe what's being said. And if the game is a bestseller, you'll make a ton of money if you're one of the people who worked on this game. You'll get a big extra bonus. Sounds good to right? me, dude. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> so in the end, it's pretty cool. Obviously... There's completely split opinions on this. Some people are like, hey, this isn't the situation that people are, are spinning it as. These people are getting paid <laughs> handsomely for what they're doing. This isn't a situation where a AAA studio is abusing the employees, not paying them, and then they're going to screw them over on the back end too. Uh -huh. um, you see? Uh, but you then see? some people are like, no, this bullshit. You see? I don't know what I just said there, but you see? I like when he throws those in, when he doesn't really know what he said, but he's like, yeah, you see? Shit. I don't get why. Just because it's, just because it's CD Projekt Red. And just because in their country they're legally required to pay the overtime, we shouldn't give them a pass. We should hold them to task and say, no, you promised the world. Hold them to task. You were not going to crunch. So if this game is not going to be polished enough to release, delay it. Too bad if you're going to miss the launch window of <laughs> the consoles come November. If the game isn't ready, delay it. Enough of these companies pushing out unfinished games that then end up being buggy. Yeah, so so they want to have a crunch to avoid that situation. He fucking messes at launch. Or enough of these companies abusing their employees with months of crunch. Or both, right? All of these things. All How can of, you win in this world? The above is bad. How can you win in Phil's reality? Mis mistreating your employees. Uh -huh. Not compensating them for their work. Uh huh. And pushing out unfinished buggy games. All those things are bad. All right? those things are bad. So... How can you win? If it's late, if it's buggy, it's bad. If you make your employees work hard so it's not buggy, that's bad. Definitely think. If you delay it, you'll get pissed about the delay too, Philip. You oh, you know, this game got delayed. Like, I don't know what the fuck. It's delayed six months. It's just a stupid uh, zombie game. I don't know why it needs six extra months. This is an interesting and unique situation. If this were any other game studio, you'd just be like, meh. It's just, it's business as usual. These game studios are fucking evil. But we still support them by buying the games anyway, right? Like but I think this do? is a unique case What's where case? everyone kind of thought CD Projekt Red was different. CD Projekt Red literally said in a news story, we're different. And now here we are, late 2020, and it looks like they're just...
Okay, Robert Evans cheers 100 bits and says, have you, have you heard people have been turning into zombies in certain parts of the world? It's the same as everybody else. I haven't heard about that. Everybody else, right? So, for me, I... Right. Fu- the last take we're listening, I'm start, starting to get bored. For me, this is nonsense, but let's hear what Phil's for me is. I thought about this, and listen. What have you thought about it? Obviously. How many shots did you take before you started thinking about it? Obviously. Money is a great thing. Right now. <laughs> People around the world are hurting for money uh-huh. because of, the, of the, the pandemic, right? Money is a great thing. And so I'm sure if the people who work on Cyberpunk put out an awesome game, it sells like crazy, and they make a ginormous bonus paycheck because of it, <clears throat> I don't think they're going to complain. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, wow. God. Excellent. And, of course, this would put them in a great position for future games and everything. And, of course, I think we all expect that Cyberpunk is going to be a good game. That's the uh-huh. expectation. After Witcher 3... Like skyrocketed CD Projekt Red into the stratosphere as a huge AAA studio because it was such an amazing game. So I think we're all expecting that level of quality out of Cyberpunk, and if Shut it lives up. up to that expectation, okay. you know everyone's gonna buy and play this game, right? So, so at the same time, I think it's bullshit when you're promised something you don't go back. Up. Are he saying the same shit again and again? I'm skipping. He's going the same and say. I'll put that. I'll put the good parts of that on Twitter. Later, I want but... get experience. Oh, this is the brightest shit light, solar flare lighting time. Or get networking skills so I could get a job when I graduated from college. Uh Maybe if I was filthy rich, right, and I didn't have to work during college, I would have had tons of free time and I could have done internships. It's amazing how nothing is his fault. (laughs) It doesn't matter what it is. Nothing is his fault. And all kinds of shit. I wasn't given that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So when I graduated from college, no one would hire me for a finance job. (laughs) So I ended up working. Get the hint. Working at a, a company that I thought was a finance job, but it wasn't. It was predatory lending. Lending mortgages and credit cards to families with horrible credit scores who don't know how to manage their finances. And oh, you're one of the families they would target now. Basically giving them insanely high loan-to-value loans. Imagine you already are terrible with money. I'm not hearing loan, this again. And a value loan on your home, $1,000 against your house. Uh-huh. You have no equity. No equity. hopes they would default and we would steal a house. That's the, good? My, for Best Buy. Right, best, best Buy for business. Now, I've told that story a million times, oh, right? I definitely uh, have. They hired me to be someone who know, knows technology and is going to sell technology. They, know, they hired you to know technology and sell technology. Couldn't pass an internal online quiz about technology. Be to small business owners, but they didn't actually follow through. And within eight months of working there, they were trying to get rid of the whole program. And they framed me and fired me, lying to get me out of the company so that I wouldn't be paid anymore. The big bunny that they were basically paying me way more than the line level person in the store. But- ah, they were the big money they were paying him. All right. <laughs> they were paying him the big money, dude. For a team that was a failure. Uh-huh. So, that what about, the- hey, what about the test you didn't pass about the servers, dude? You didn't leave that part out. Don't work out. Uh-huh. Then I went to work for a helicopter company. Well, that's next week. That's next week. Can't block. Classic camp block. Hello? He's falling asleep? Why? Why was that clean? I was already jumping and I pressed kick. And somehow she gets a jumping punch that beats it. This game sucks. I hate Alpha 3. God, it doesn't tell you. The properties are nothing like normal Street Fighter. Uh-oh. She's jumping at me right above me, wide open. Anti-air super. She sucks to the ground and blocks the super. Th- then there's no there's no risk reward to jumping. If every time you jump, someone can just immediately block it anyway. What's the point? Like, What's the point, dude? It's so bad. Did I have a point to this one? Um, Jono the Rabbit here, so I think I realized when you didn't see my question the other day, Streamlabs was allowing me to change my username, but there being a login requirement, I didn't send. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. What I... the point is this one? Hold on. Let me refresh. What was it like working for Best Buy? It was, a, it was a joke. It was an absolute joke. Oh, here we go. What was it like working for Best Buy? It was a, it was a joke. It was joke, an absolute dude. joke. The leadership there was terrible. Uh, I really didn't know what the hell they were doing. In the entire store, there's probably one guy who was actually a good manager, and that's because he was previously in the military. And this was, you know, he was an older guy, and this was, like, his job after the military was to be, like, a manager uh, in the <laughs> store. Uh, but it was only, like, a, maybe a mid-level manager. Um, the store manager was probably the worst manager I've ever seen in my life. He didn't manage anything. He was just an asshole. Uh-huh. Um, of the course. The manager that we had for our business team was terrible. Oh, uh, of uh, like course. Every, like, seriously, it was just, like... He made us learn stuff. He made us learn stuff, dude. Just go an to asshole. work and hope you sell shit. 
and no one there to really guide you or give you any kind of help at all. And, you know, I had to learn most of this stuff there on the fly myself. <laughs> that's how it was. But that's how it is with almost... Oh, God, can you imagine him learning on the fly? That's the worst. I have to learn on the fly? What the fuck is wrong with you? What? I can't learn on the fly. Every retail job I've ever had, it was like, basically, you know, you're, you're out there by yourself fending for yourself because they have no serious training. They have no one who knows what the fuck they're doing. Serious training? They tried to give it to you. At all? You know? It's pretty bad. Pretty bad, dude. Anything else? Remember Circus City? See, when I went to Circus City, it was unique, and the reason it was unique was oh God, unique. Circus City had just. Oh my God, I forgot that she has that super with Bison. Circus City had just stopped doing commission based sales. Up to that point when I started. Oh, we heard this already. Did at Best Buy prevent me from wanting to purchase products from there? No. Oh, yeah. the, by the way, Jay Bowler says this Star takes incredible focus, and he cheered. Thank you for the cheer. Thank you for the cheer. Says, has the has, was the way that my job ended at Best Buy prevented me from wanting to purchase products from there? No. no, no, it made me buy more. I bought used DVDs to screw them. No, because honestly, you know, just because I had a bad experience working there doesn't mean the products there are shit or anything. Sometimes they have good prices. It's a it's sometimes a nice place to shop to just see what kind of new stuff they have in stock when it comes to technology. Uh -huh. right? So no, I would say it hasn't prevented me from buying anything from there. Some people might have sour grapes about that, but. I've been able to go back and, in general, buy stuff from there and not have... Where's the story of you buying of used CDs to screw them over? Problem with it. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. This way. God, let's watch you do this, Marco. No! Okay. Because the game fucked me over. You saw what happened? The game... Uh, I saw what happened. You did a circle for some reason. The game just doesn't randomly give you circles. W what did you do there? Much of a problem with it. What's oh, this? God. Okay, here we go. This way. No! The, the game <laughs> fucked me over! He was gonna say controls, and then he said controller, because he didn't know where to go with that excuse. You saw what happened? The game- I saw what happened! Yeah, we all saw! No! The, the game fucked me- You still could have saved it at that point, by the way, too, if you didn't bitch about it. Okay, here we go, this way. No! The, the game fucked me over! <laughs> you saw what happened? The game made me run in a circle. The oh, yeah, it always does that. That was classic. That's what I hate about Super Mario Galaxy. When it made me run in a circle. The stupid glitch that happens with the control of the game. Uh huh. Glitch. Completely fucked me over. Uh huh. Completely. I, I didn't do it wrong. Uh -huh. I was holding the right direction, and the uh -huh. game made me roll run back. in a complete circle. How's that, that rollback? Cannon Brothers again. Yeah. I can't action. believe they didn't fix that. Let's see if he gets this one. I just indulge me here. Let's see if he does it this time. Only one, one more attempt. Rem oh, that was close. All this. They didn't fucking improve that at all. They just like he was running a circle. The glitch controls. He's not gonna do this, is he? He's not looking good right now. <laughs> Let's see him struggle with this. Come on, buddy. You're a gamer with oh that business God, knowledge. All the coins there. Nice. <laughs> He's working on it. Oh no. <laughs> I can't move. Yeah, Whoa. you can. Yes, you can. Oh god, there's zero chance we're doing this, is there? Oh god! Oh. <laughs> yes! Yay, we got it! This is gonna we be hard because the controls suck. Seriously. Oh yeah. I love uh, Mario games. It's gonna I be say. real hard. Fucking Nintendo and the Mario games. Just random fucking random fucking controls. I hate that shit. Uh, Sunshine has the worst controls. This game probably has the second worst control. Uh huh. Controls of, of any Mario game. Not to say I kind of want to keep watching. That that's actually bad because most games have way worse controls than Mario games. But what, what? What? Okay, so uh, so now he's saying every single game has bad controls. Listen. Not to say that that's actually bad because most games have way worse controls than Mario games. Ah, most games, most games have worse controls than Mario, but Mario sucks too. So uh, maybe you need to uh, recalibrate, brother. But that sounds like you mean actually it's good. <laughs> this is like frustrating that I can't No, it is frustrating when you're not good enough to play this game, huh? Actually control my Mario with any accuracy uh -huh. That like, he kind of just jumps in a direction that I'm not even the one I'm facing Uh huh And I can't really get him to do exactly what I want Like you said, he's a Uh huh, that happens, with that's Jin Brain He's like, he's way more Whoa, he just did it again He's way more floaty in this <laughs> He's way more floaty in Super Mario Galaxy it's almost like there's not enough gravity, dude. It's weird. Then really any other wow, look at that bullshit. <laughs> it did it again. 
It keeps doing it. It keeps making him right. run in a circle. We're on staying. The, on we're staying. Pad instead of just fucking going. One more time. I'm just one more time. I'm apologizing. That's terrible. This is a That's this is a field trip. Really fucking bad. It was really fucking bad, dude. Honestly. Jump. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pressed more. jump once, it didn't jump at all. I can't all. get I enough. Jump again, that doesn't right, count. That doesn't count. And falls down. Let's go. It Come on. Let's go. Action. Let's do this. You got oh this for this time. Whale tail. Come on. Duck tail, whale tail. Let's go. You got this. We can do this, brother. Come on. Let's do this. Uh, and also, see that? Uh-oh. The way the camera is in this game, uh -huh. you can't tell what direction you're actually jumping. Uh -huh. So how are they expecting me to grab these coins it's just, it's, that are it's between the platforms? It's just random, dude. Just jump wherever you want. You're doing great, brother. Uh-huh. That's fucking stupid. You're like, doing awesome. They're actually expecting me to be able to see where I am when I... There's no way. Yeah, I don't know why they I expect am, you, you know? know? Just like passing a business test when you're in a business team that might have need to have knowledge of servers. Why do they expect you to have to take it pass a server test? Same thing. Talk to the management. All right, we're on a bit of a roll here, though. Uh-oh. Where are you going next? <laughs> okay. All right, thanks, like some rice. I'll play it. Tomorrow, probably. Uh-oh. We're hell looking better. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. This is intense. <laughs> oh, damn it. We got the one up. This is intense, dude. What do we do here? It's like a puzzle boss. I think he's got it now. He's past the right. hard ones. <laughs> okay. Okay, he got it. Now, oh, how do I get, get back over there? Uh, it's called leaving a place to get back for yourself that you did not do. Good luck. Here we go. Come on! Oh my yes! god! Yes! 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 That's crazy. Yes! How do I get back to the start of the stage to get the fucking star <laughs> after I've gotten all the fucking coins? This is my favorite. Ugh. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. I guess that means I have to leave some of these coins. You just I, figured it out, brother? I have to. Yeah. Uh huh? Get the hint? <laughs> just got it, by the way. Hang on a minute. I just want to see the game over. No more lives, right? <laughs> Hang on a minute. I have to leave myself a way back, and he's not leaving himself a way back again. Okay. Oh, God. Come on, brother. We can do this. Power of positivity. What? Not that time. Wow. <laughs> God damn it. We got to see the game over. Well, we I just remember our lives have to start over. We got to see it. We got to see it. We came this far. We can all go a little further. Come on, dude. You got this. Come on. Fourth place at Evo. You could be a pro level player if you really wanted to in any game. Show us. Uh oh. <laughs> That's okay. Going forward. Here we go. Getting that groove back. Future's so bright, we gotta wear shades. Going through. Ooh, almost did it there. <laughs> this is becoming a, a, a truly a rival here. And. Uh, Extra safe okay. now with the jump. Here we go. Here we go. Didn't do that. I totally didn't do that. Yep, definitely didn't do that, dude. That was out of nowhere. Uh oh! Oh, oh, oh saved with the twirl. He's got a lot of work left to do, though. Where's he gonna go next? Turns to go left. Oof, risky jump there. Keeps it going. Twirl blocks every little place. What's he gonna do here? Whoa. Come on. He's struggling so hard, but he can make it happen. He's almost there. <laughs> Come on. We need to see the game over. Ten more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, now he has to, to make it back. back. Come oh. on. Does he make it happen here? Can dreams happen? What? What oh. just happened? Did you see that? Yeah. There, boys, we got there. I didn't do that again. That's the controls of the game that are <laughs> fucked up. I was running and I just yes. did a normal jump for some reason. Mario ducked, yes. which I never pressed, and fell off the platform. He wouldn't allow me to jump forward because yes. the controls just fuck up in this game. Uh -huh. 
They just do whatever they want. That is dude. so stupid. Uh huh. Uh, it's seriously bad. Like, uh, uh, of any, if anything, as I said, and I said this near the end of the game too, uh, uh, when I was doing all these purple coin stages, uh -huh. the controls of the game are okay until you get to these challenges. Until stages. you almost die. And then when you're at this challenge <laughs> stage, it's actually exposed how <laughs> it's actually exposed. bad. Yeah. They did different controls for the challenge levels to make it harder. The controls of the game are. Uh huh. They because did because now you're trying to actually do these really difficult jumps and things, uh -huh. and the controls don't hold up anymore. Yeah, the controls start to show plan. this flawed. Mario's uh -huh. walking in circles uh -huh. instead of going straight. Mario yeah. won't keep his momentum for some odd reason. As you get to the later parts of the game, it gets hard. The controls get more loose and more difficult to use. Actually, it's a very common tactic in Nintendo the direction. You know, so uh -huh. I mean, I like this game, uh -huh. but it's certainly far from the best Mario games. Oh yes, far. From it's the best. all right. Back on track. Back on track. Back on track. That was too fun, though. <laughs> Basically, there will be no in-person <laughs> sales of the consoles. <laughs> Why? Well, because of the pandemic. I mean, let's face it. Previous console generations, there always were. You would line uh -huh. up outside of the retail store for hours, sometimes days ahead of time. I remember when I worked Best Buy during the uh -oh. launch of the Xbox 360. That's exactly what happened. We had people who were lined outside for two days uh -oh. but no, pneumonia story. store to get a launch Xbox 360, and a bunch of them ended up catching pneumonia and going to the hospital. <laughs> now it's a bunch of them. So Everyone was there dropping like flies, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing that. They're basically saying it's way too risky with the pandemic. Instead, uh -huh. you have to order online, and then you can either go to the store to pick it up or have it mailed to you one or the other. Um, so I both agree with that, but also I kind of cringe. And here's why. <laughs> I agree with that because we don't want the fucking pandemic spreading worse. How do you cringe? Game console. That would be stupid okay, as let's shit. Let's the cringe. All right. It's a freaking luxury console. It's video games. It's uh -huh. not worth risking your life over uh -huh. or the lives of others around you because you're spreading COVID. So where's the All cringe? Right? At the very same time. Yeah, this that's is true. Pretty Elsa's bad running. because the let's let's cover both sides of the fence here. The whole pre-order methods of the PS5 were a complete and utter shit show. Right? Uh -huh, shit show. Think about how tough it was to pre-order a PS5. Every retailer site was crashing, having errors. There was no set time when it were going to be available. They were just throwing uh -huh. them on the site willy-nilly, and the Imagine sites were falling apart. Did. Even PlayStation's <laughs> own website did not work properly during the uh -huh. pre-order process. Did. Amazon didn't even allow public pre-orders of the PS5. You had to have a secret behind-the-scenes link in order to fucking pre-order. <laughs> so if you were part of the, uh, the, the special group... I'm waiting for the <laughs> cringe happened part. to get a pre-order on the one day when they launched. Uh -huh. Good for you. But outside of that, everyone else seems completely fucking screwed. Uh -huh, right? Screwed, and the question here is... All right, I'm done. <laughs> Circuit City, no. At Best Buy, I was considered a higher up in the chain because I was part of the oh. business team. Uh-oh. Here we go, boys. Higher up in the chain. At Best Buy, I was considered a higher up in the chain because I was part of the business team. Uh-huh. And so I was thought saw as an authority for technology and stuff like that. I was seen as an authority for technology and stuff. Couldn't pass an internal test about servers, though. Couldn't pass a test about I was part of the server, business team. Though. And so I was thought saw as an authority for technology and stuff uh -huh. like that. And so Excuse me, sir. Could you uh, switch out my... I'm having trouble with this fan. I already bought a new fan. Could you just change it for me? Uh, no. Fuck you, okay? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> That's way above my high, high pay grade. Well, sir, I thought you were an authority on text. No, okay? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Sometimes I was, you know, went to for certain <laughs> management decisions. Which oh, oh. Oh, no, no, you can't be serious. For technology and stuff like uh -huh. that. Sometimes I was, you know, went to for certain management decisions. Which... He was went to for management decisions. Like what? You got to clean up the bathroom or you got to get someone else to do it? That's the, that's the management decisions. <laughs> the management decisions. There was no other manager around, but never uh, technically in the food chain of management of the store. Probably not. Was I in the food? Okay. Was I in the food chain of management of the store? Probably not. But I was doing management style decisions and making management style. Uh, uh, I was an authority figure. So, in other words, no. You want to just go with that, or? Um, in regards to, uh, when I worked at the office job, HSI. Oh no, that's next week. Next, that's next week. I imagine y'all. Next week's episode is going to be six hours. So you better be fucking ready next Thursday. <laughs> next, episode, next, week, next week, Sikorsky hype, my friends. In 
New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Golden Air Remix is two ply or three ply toilet paper. No, no. Even worse than that, how many how many times should you fold the toilet paper before you wipe the shit off the walls on Best Buy Day? That's the decision she was making. Management level decision. The, another management style decision he made was to talk to Stevie Richards or leave him alone like he should have done as an employee. That's the decisions that he made as a management style decision maker. With two roommates, and I worked uh -oh. at Best Buy, and I had like no money. Like all my money went to rent and shit. Like I had like no money. So <laughs> all my money went to rent and shit. Imagine that. And I had like no money. Like uh -huh. all my money went to rent and shit. Like I had like uh -oh. no money. So yep. this is what my day. Next? I would wake up, uh -huh. get dressed to go to work, go to the, the Best Buy parking lot where there was a McDonald's <laughs> in the parking lot. I would get a double cheeseburger. No money though. No money though. And Coke. It's Two dollars. Uh -huh. One dollar for each. Was that when you're to not get diabetes diet or what? I would eat the double cheeseburger and the coat. I would go to work. At the end of my shift, I'll go back to McDonald's. <laughs> and, my, and the reason I got gout was my aunt didn't tell me it runs in the family. Sound good? Oh, shit. I did the next Bar song. Alert. Not Call a meerkat song. We're at the Best Buy, and I had, like, no one wake up where there was a McDonald's in the parking lot. I would get a double cheeseburger. Uh -huh. I would go to work. Uh -huh. At the end, probably like the cheapest back then you could have. Uh -huh. And I would get uh -huh. a chicken sandwich. Make chicken sandwich. Probably like the cheapest back then you could actually get like four chicken nuggets for a dollar. <laughs> so I probably get like I'm a chicken sandwich, four chicken nuggets, and another like double cheeseburger and oh. another coke. Whoa! This dude's got two burgers and he's going for the nugs. Damn. He's got two burgers and the Nugs DLC in the afternoon. He starts the day with a double and a so uh, and a soda. Man. And I would eat. And that would be my all my food for the day. So oh right, yeah. Except for the for the fucking whiskey coming down later that double day. Double cheeseburger huh? for breakfast. Right, double, cheeseburger for <laughs> double cheeseburger for breakfast. And double cheeseburger for breakfast. And then like three three to four dollar menu items at night. So my entire food intake for the day would be like seven dollars. Uh, too bad your your aunt gave you gout too, huh? And that's all I ate. Leanest to say, that was one of my heaviest times of my life. If all I was eating was McDonald's, I was fat as fuck. But uh, it was cheap. I didn't have any money. I didn't uh -huh. have money for anything. Yep, definitely cheapest way to live is to buy fast food two times a day. Got it? Sound good? Being better. <clears throat> uh -huh. I did eat the Coke. I ate the whole thing. I would I would drink and eat the eat the cup. That's how you get Titus. full. A dollar man, you gotta eat all the wrappers, you roll them up. Nope. Don't have time for that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Big Papa Phil took me two dollars asking if I've ever been asked by a boss to complete a project and realize you were never even trained to do it. Having to me at work and uh -oh. I feel so up failure. Yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Fucking That happens to everyone. I worked for, a t when I worked for Best Buy, uh -oh. okay, I worked for a Best Buy for business team. Uh-huh. Where... Oh, I thought it was a high-level technology team. Basically got, like, a, a cursory introduction kind of training uh -huh. and we're told don't worry there's gonna be all this follow-up stuff and the follow-up stuff never happened so except they, for the test they asked you to take that you didn't pass so that probably meant you couldn't even do what they wanted you to do in two to three months of me working for this bed best buy for business team guess what i was doing what selling computers like the normal associate who is selling because computers. okay now that's all coming together because you couldn't pass that test they they told you to take and you could okay the, the program changed they said you know what we need some more education here so here's a test you got to pass internal he couldn't pass that. So he says, oh, we can't have him doing the business shit then. Then you got to work the floor, brother. Sound good? And Phil bitched and complained because I'm not doing that test. So then what are they supposed to do? They put him in a different position. Computers in the store. We had no way to reach out to small business owners. We had no product in the store that was different from any other store. It uh -huh. wasn't like we had servers or anything else in the store. Yeah, yeah. Everything that we, they expected us to sell for businesses was like, Oh, it's mail order to go and shit. Uh -huh. And it was mail just so do. dumb. Like the best, the best sale I ever made when I worked for the business team, uh -oh. it was a guy. Uh oh. And he was uh, actually he wa he was a if I remember correctly. Oh god. Okay. L lion coming here. He was like a youth outreach uh -huh. kind of youth youth outreach. The guy where he wanted uh -huh. to basically do a lot of things for for local youth. And <laughs> He was a youth outreach person doing things for local, local youth. And he wanted to have a way to present.
things to them, and uh -huh. I basically sold him an incredibly good laptop with <laughs> a projector. So you sold him a laptop? In other words, that's called doing your job? And even though it wasn't my job responsibility, I taught him how to use the projector. Oh like, my I, god, going above and beyond for the customer. Imagine that. I actually taught him. Yeah, like, I, it was there for like two, three hours one day. He spent a ton of money, but because of that, in the store, I taught him how to use all, everything. The software, the projector. So it seems like something that you might have to do when you work at Best everything. Buy. And he literally went and overnight started up this community outreach thing. And he came back to me two months later. He was like, he was like, you're so grateful. He was like, you taught me how to use all this. Uh-huh. Top two things never happened on any timeline No ever. idea. Uh -huh. And look at all these good things that have happened. He showed me all these pictures of all these, uh, you know, kids, inner city kids uh, and stuff. Yeah, help! Uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be kidding me! Just because I showed you how to use like a laptop and stuff. Uh -huh. He's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, so, dude, didn't that make you kind of feel good and like understand how helping people is kind of cool? Dude, that's amazing. And that was like the one thing ever that ever came. I ever sold. That was my one and only sale ever for me working Best Buy for business. Outside of that, it was just selling computers to normal people because they didn't. They weren't serious about it. Uh, it was a giant corporate effort. To try to pretend like they were going to sell uh, business level stuff, and they never gave anyone training. They I, never. They tried to give you training, but you failed the test. Actually, had the products in the store. They wouldn't even give give us business cards. So <laughs> Sir, it's not really positioned that you get business cards, but we appreciate the thought that we could like hand a business card to someone and say, "Hey, I work for the Best Buy for Business team." You know, you just, you just wanted to be a big shot with a fucking business card. Go print out one out yourself. Oh, yeah, you would do that years later with DSP gaming business cards. Give this to your friends and let them know to send small business owners here so uh -huh. we, could, we could train them and sell them equipment. They never even did that. Uh huh. Oh, no. I actually, uh, that's one of the major reasons why they didn't like me, by the way, at Best Buy when they eventually fired me. Uh oh, here we go. Do we get it? We get this story again. Because one day, uh -huh. I went to an office with the store manager because everyone on the Best Buy for Business team was very disappointed in how it was going. Because they were like, this sucks. We're supposed to be doing all this stuff and we can't do it because we have no support or anything. Uh -huh. So I said, fine, I'll speak up for us. And I went to the office with the store manager and I explained. Fine, I'll speak up for his guys. I guarantee it was all like a big joke, you know? Phil, go tell him how much we hate this. Yeah, you go tell him, Phil. Yeah. He's like, yeah, okay. I'll take care of this. Hang on, guys. Now, meanwhile, all the people back there are cracking up watching him. Everything. And he was basically like, well, you're not going to get anything. You're not going to get business cards. You're not going to get permission to go to business mixers. We're not going to get extra advertising. We're not going to get the product in the store. We'll give you nothing, but we're going to expect the world of you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they say in those big meetings. We're going to expect the world. Actually... How about no? And we expect the world from you. Now get back out there, asshole. So I told him, I said, wow, you're up one of the worst managers I've ever heard of. Like, you really just uh -huh. don't care uh -huh. about us being here. And it's probably the least support I've ever heard of any manager. Like, do you even take your job seriously? And basically since that day. Why do they want? <laughs> Why should he take it seriously when you fucking a, don't? He hated my guts. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a different story then. What about the training, sir? That's why he didn't like you. You said earlier, I thought it was about the training, the tests that you failed. Those internal tests, by the way, that are so fucking easy that they are made for you to pass it so they can just have on a piece of paper that every employee passed this fucking training. Okay, authority for technology, sir. And was trying to find a way to get me out of the store and fire me. Oh, this story's changed. That's a retcon. What happened about the server test, sir? <laughs> Because obviously when, when the store managers told you're a terrible manager, you don't deserve your position, you're a piece of shit, he doesn't want to fuck, you know. Imagine that. You talk shit to someone and they don't like you for that. Hmm. Weird. He didn't, didn't want to have anything to do with me anymore, and that's why eventually he framed me. Ah, uh, no. You use the employee discount when you shouldn't have? For say, claiming that I abused the store discount policy, mm -hmm. which I did not. Oh, well. And uh, that that's uh, one, many ways to skin that cat. That's how he fired me. Uh-huh. So they waited for you to fuck up? Well, oh, you, he, says, he says, I want to hear the other side of the story. I can tell you the other side of the story. Oh, we're going to hear both sides now. The other side of the story is when Best Buy started their business for business teams. <laughs> That's not the other side of the story, by the way. But okay, let's hear the second side of the story. Oh, no, let's hear one side of the story for the second time now. They essentially started hiring people and paying them way more money than they, have, they actually planned on wanting to because they wanted quality people. So I was getting, in the store, I was getting paid way more than most of the I thought you had no money, though. The people who worked in the store, including managers. You were getting more money than managers, but didn't have enough money for anything but the dollar menu. As Craig would say, make it make sense. But then they didn't give me the, the resources to actually sell any business stuff. So, what, I'm waiting for the second part of it. 
that you're paying a ton of money for me to work in the store because uh -huh. I know about computers and shit, but <laughs> you're not giving me the resources to sell anything. So I'm not selling anything that's making money that's that gives you a return on your investment for paying me so much for working there. So they just wanted to get rid of me. It was a losing effort. They hired everyone within six months of the team. Wait, I thought they we'd locked. get the other side of the story, sir. <laughs> What's the other side? Guys, they didn't want to put the time and effort into it, so they just wanted to get rid of everyone on the business team. So that's what they'll say. Because, by the way, it wasn't just me they got rid of. They got rid of everyone who was on the business team. Uh... Either they fired us or... They forced people to take downgraded positions, severely uh, downgraded positions. Oh, severe, right, right. I'm not right. talking, oh, you shift to another department and get paid as a manager. I'm talking, go from being a business associate, who at that point, I think I was getting paid bit. like $15 an hour in mid-2000. That was a lot of money. Uh -huh. To like, oh, get paid $9 an hour. So $15 an hour, which is more than some of the managers were paid back then. He had no money to buy for anything but dollar menu stuff, though. Like, that was uh -huh. the way to keep your job, take an insane pay cut. Uh -huh. That's what we were told. Okay. Does the Best Buy location still exist? I don't know, Expandong. I have no idea. That was in Connecticut. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Ooh, all right, a few There's more. Best Buy to... shirts they made me wear? No, because I was a, a line level associate, Ooh. so I didn't have to wear shirts. I, I, yeah. I wore business, like, button-down shirts. And stuff. We've seen those on stream before. Like, actual slacks and button-down shirts. Yeah. Well, they were wearing, like, the store polo shirts. So I never had the, the shirts that everyone else had. Like I said, I was literally considered... Oh, here we go. Like an independent employee. I didn't have to answer to any of the managers or anything in the store. I was an independent employee. I didn't have to answer to anybody, okay? But they were paying me way more money than the managers in the store anyway, but then I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't selling any business components because we didn't have them in the store. And no right. one knew that our team existed because they didn't market us. Right, No right. one knew you could go to Best Buy to buy, to buy like, business-level... Uh -huh. Computer components. Mm -hmm. So why would you ever go there? So you, you wouldn't go there to look for that. It was incredibly stupid. Uh huh. So stupid, right? Nothing is his part. I can't. Nothing is his ducks. fault in any situation. None of it. Maybe I gotta go. On cheers. Is your extra snorty tonight? Yeah, I have a uh, post nasal drip. Is pretty bad tonight. <laughs> Good question. You're extra snorty tonight. We Tron cheers. Is your extra snorty tonight? Yeah, I have a uh, post nasal drip. Is pretty bad tonight. Uh, okay, thank you. Great Mark question. Almost done. Let's go. Baseball okay, time. Baseball time. Up front to begin with, but some managers lose the problem because they're like, when you're like that, when you try to be an honest person and you're upfront about stuff, some people think, oh, that's a problem person. That's no, when you don't do your job, that's the problem. It's not a problem person. That's the person who doesn't want to create the problem because they're trying to prevent the problem from happening by being honest with you and upfront to begin with. That's your reminder because I don't, didn't hear it. The thing he said he's being honest about is the, the, the employer require them to get more knowledge about their job. Phil said, you can't do that. That's illegal. And if you want to talk to me about that again, get a lawyer. That's what he said. That is what Philip Burnell said. But some managers literally are just so afraid of conflict and they're so afraid of having to do actual hard work. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. That they don't want to hear it. So that's what I mean. I've run into many of these managers in the past. Remember, Phil Burnell's problem was that he d didn't think he had to learn anything after getting the job. He did not think he had to do extra training. Where that's the, that's the that's the case. Like, I'm trying to think. Like, pretty much the Wells Fargo job was definitely the same, that thing. The Best Buy job was the, was exactly the same situation. Right. Two jobs you got fired from, or for for you fucking up. Um, I actually don't think that happened to me at. The helicopter job? You were just laid off there we because your job was not necessary. And there was that the company, wow, he didn't even try. The company was just falling apart. <laughs> Blaming the outfielder for not trying. I kind of want to see that now. <laughs> I actually don't think that happened to me. Yeah, typical outfielder doesn't want to try. Yeah. Just want to put in the hard work. The helicopter job? I think what happened there was that the company, wow, <laughs> he didn't even try. The company was just falling apart and they needed to cut people and... They just didn't know what to do with me because they, I was completely mismanaged. It had nothing uh -huh. to do with people not liking me because of stuff I said and did. Because I was actually busting my ass at that job. You just told us that's what the case. It had nothing to do with people not liking me because of stuff I said and did. Because I was actually busting my ass at that job. I think they were just a bunch of fucking idiots. Huh? Uh, take a sip means we're done. Ba baseball. Got more baseball. Doing was fine. I mean, I, I never, seriously, it had been, what, three years or something since I even had a single word with Twitch saying that anything that I've done might have been risque or wrong, and then I got into any trouble. Then all of a sudden, they just kicked me out of the partner program, unceremoniously, no explanation. The fuck is that? You see, what I do is completely risky, but at the same time, what I do is also 
the most stable thing I've ever done. Uh -huh. When you when you're such a bad worker, every job you have is very risky. Other you can lose it at any I time. Have, less stable <laughs> than what I do on YouTube. Yeah, when you are the level of employee of DSP, you, you, every job is very risky. Let me tell you that it's very risky. I had a bank job that didn't work out because I found out the bank was a predatory lender. It took you a year to figure that out. And basically, it was a lot of uh, internal. And you also got drama and issues with the staffing and internal drama because you complained because you weren't getting the best leads. Uh huh. Remember that the management. I worked at Best Buy for a business team that within one year, the business team imploded and they laid everyone off and tried to frame me and fire me. It didn't work. They didn't lay off everyone. Some people got transferred and <laughs> they, they still did fire you. You, just, you. you were able to get unemployment. Um, I worked for an office job for four and a half years where things started off well and everything was good. I was told I'm one of the best employees. I got promoted. Uh -huh, they, they gave me a shiny paper saying I got some certifications. Put me into a special team to do continuous improvement at the job. They trained me extra. They had me doing these special specialty projects, worked my butt off, and then laid me off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so everything I've done that everyone else... I got fired from for doing something badly. It's crazy. Oh, it's a stable... Except for the... I guess you could say Sikorsky. He didn't, we don't know anything bad he did then. But every other job he's talked about... He seems like an asshole employee, except for the yogurt job, I guess, which he did. Uh, he did say was he did leave that job out of his own accord. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah, Almost I, there. I went to best. Right. <clears throat> Tox yeah. Knox to me, dollar thirty says you might want to go back to Game Pass app to the games A to Z category. Your library isn't showing you the EA Play games. Oh, we're doing that right now. We're literally we're doing, doing that right, right now. now. So there Sweet. you go. There you go. Cool. Cool. The tour of Game Pass. This is a good. That was a good game, man. And <laughs> I played Army of Two. Oh, they have all the battlefields. Battlefield 1940. Yeah. I'm sure no one plays those anymore, but still, that's kind of cool. Black, dude. I remember when this game came out. When this game came out, it, for some odd reason, it was insanely popular. And I, I worked at Best Buy at the time. We uh -huh. had like a jillion copies of it, and they Black. were selling like hotcakes. We still like, we had Black. a whole display of this shit. And people were buying the fuck out of this game. Awesome. I don't know anything about it. But apparently mm -hmm. it was like very popular at the time. Black. <laughs> let's wait for the... Let's, let's wait for the finger by ear. Yeah, I think I did. Come on, bite, like bite your fingernails. Bite your fingernails. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> them, and it took something like seven years, but he won the lawsuit. Now, he didn't win a big money. He won like $31,000 or something minuscule like that. Uh -huh. But it was a moral victory to prove... That this mm -hmm. is not how it works. Yep, you can't yep, just yep. do whatever you want. Just because mm -hmm. you said I did something wrong and you kick me off your site, you kick me out of a partnership. That's not how the law works. The law uh -huh. says no. You oh, act yeah, law side Phil actually good? need to prove the person did wrong what you said they did. I'll give you another example. Uh oh. When I was fired from Best Buy in the mid 2000s, they accused me of violating the store's discount policy as the reason for termination. Uh -huh. In my unemployment hearing. I proved to the judge it wasn't true. The judge ruled against them and granted me full unemployment benefits, even though Best Buy didn't want to give them to me. Because I <laughs> like he's flexing that he was able to get unemployment. They proved they were lying. They didn't have any actual concrete evidence that I had violated their policy. I explained what really happened, and the judge said, "Okay, you win." So, so really, it's a, it's a really a lazy manager, I'm sure, at Best Buy because if they had documented all those gripes they had with Phil, they could have, you know. Just not giving him unemployment, but they had to go to court with that one piece of information, which was we think he's getting profit from these three, you know, these two seventy. This remember, it's two dollars and seventy cents. I mean, that's the thing, right? That's the thing. It's two dollars and seventy cents. So if an employer doesn't have a problem with you, or you're even dare I say a good employee, they would eat, they would not dream of firing you for that little offense. That's a bitch to hire new people. But they didn't like Phil's work ethic enough for the reasons he's talked about himself. They used that as the reason to get rid of him alone. That was the mistake they made because they had more reasons to bring to the table. They fired for cause, no unemployment. However, they only had that one piece of knowledge, that one piece, that one, you know, uh, information to share with the judge. And the judge said, hey, this might result in him not making profit from those three consoles these could actually be for personal use so that's why he won you know that's the key so they were trying to fire him for 270 because yes they were just looking for any way to get rid of him this is legally this is how it works companies just because they have a blanket agreement 
with you doesn't mean that that is enforceable in any way, shape, or form in, in a court uh -huh. of law. When uh -huh. it goes to the courts, they will decide if anything's legal or not. Uh -huh. And already Twitch just lost a, a lawsuit that was very similar to what's going on with people losing their partnerships. So what they're doing is stupid. I really it's stupid. Street Fighter. We're almost there now. 2021 still, somehow. Have I had jobs where I quit the job outright? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yogurt job only. My mall job I quit. That was the, the health food store. Uh, I quit Circuit City. Uh, oh, Circuit City. Did he? Yeah, he did leave Circuit City. That's true. That was a short-term one for the job thing. And he tried to get, he got the predatory lender one after that. So, yeah, he did leave that on his own accord. That's, that's the end of the list, though. That is the end of the list. Um... And I quit the Wells Fargo job that I had. No, no. They asked him to stay on as a regular employee. He decided against it. It was. That's not really quitting. That's saying, I don't want to work this job anymore because it was too hard. Best Buy, they fired me because yep. they framed me to get rid of me. To cut costs to get rid of the not a framing. business team that I was on. Uh -huh. um, but I won that court. And then at the office job, they laid me off. <clears throat> yeah, the internship. You're right. Yeah, the Wells Fargo thing, he did quit. He didn't quit. Oh, no, he said he said, fuck you in the end. Like, fuck you, I'm out of here. Yeah, that, that was the one that he did say he quit, quit, but I don't think so. Like, it's probably not the case. When he went to the high-level management, he's like, you don't give me enough leads. And he's like, fuck this then. Like, you know, like, it's not probably how it exactly worked out. Yeah, that's true. Terminated from Best Buy. Oh. That employer, no matter who they are, <clears throat> has to document the yeah. reason why that employee was terminated and have valid evidence of it happening. If not, not only are you are you violating employment law, you mm -hmm. could be violating other laws as well. So for example, <clears throat> when I was terminated <clears throat> from Best Buy, they accused me of violating the store's discount policy. The reason they gave, hello buddy. Wow, he's hyper, he's running all over the house. The reason they gave for terminating me is because they claimed that I had willingly and knowingly been violating the store's discount policy buying multiple PlayStation 2s uh -huh. that I was giving away to other people. Yep. There was no way that I could have been buying PlayStation 2s more than one for myself. That was their argument. It was complete nonsense. Complete nonsense. It was. It was complete and utter nonsense. How do you prove that something I bought was not for me? And in reality, they were. Those PS2s that I bought, <laughs> all right, those PlayStation 2s that I bought, uh, for, were for tournaments. Tournament Which use. you could have made money from. He just leaves that right out. But they were mine. I didn't donate them to the tournaments. I never gave them. And you could have made profit from the entry fee and done that multiple times in the future. He just doesn't say that at all. Anyone. I still have them somewhere in this house. I still, I think one of them broke. But I still have like two PS2s uh -huh. in my house wanna... right now. That were the ones that I bought from, uh -huh. from Best Buy. Well, hoarding, yes. <clears throat> Very right? Cool. So they had zero evidence of wrongdoing, but they still terminated me. What happened? I went to court, and I, I basically... What'd you do? I was not story, even please. close to the fucking landmine. This is bullshit. Get, but anyway, okay, we're not, we're I went not to court. That. There was a hearing with a judge. I explained the whole situation. And during this hearing, here's what happened, okay? Oh God. The judge said, okay, so let me get this straight. There are things that did not happen. You were violating the store's discount policy. You bought those PS2s, saved money on them, uh -huh. willingly, and then gave them to other people. I said, yes, but judge, I can prove to you I own them. I have them right now. <laughs> Sir judge. Like, I have them in my possession. I could easily show you that I still have them. He said, okay, well, if it comes to that, but let's let's think about this realistically. Mm -hmm. He said, and he actually asked the person on the phone, because it was a phone in hearing. He asked the person on the phone from Best Buy. He said, so how much money did Phil actually save on this transaction by using sir, his store sir discount. Sir okay? And they had to look it up because they didn't know off the top of their head. And yeah. they looked it up in, on their the, the receipt, you know, the system. They said, oh, he saved 42 cents on each transaction. 90 cents on each one. What? The judge yeah, so doesn't that show you how bad they wanted to get rid of you? Like, this is not a flex, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how bad they wanted to get rid of you. If you're such a great employee as you always claim to be, they wouldn't even fired you then. He's literally like, what? Can you repeat that? Oh, yeah, I'm sure he said, now we're just getting the top five things that never happened on any timeline in any universe right here. Can you repeat that? What? I totally agree. You seem like a really cool guy. I kind of want to hang out with you. 
Do you have a YouTube channel? I want to sub. The judge literally said that. Like, yeah, he saved 42 cents on each transaction. Like, wait, so you're telling me that Phil bought three PS2s and saved 42 cents on each PS2 using his store discount? Yes, that's how... That, yes. Excuse me, judge. That's how badly we wanted him out of here. Okay, now you may be shocked at that and say, well, why is that? That's because when stores sell game consoles, they sell them at cost. Games, games I don't need actually make uh -huh. profit. I don't care. Trees, the extended warranty of a game con. Your employee, Phil, okay. willingly violating. Yes, there we go. Which is like, so you're telling me your employee, Phil, yes. willingly violated and willingly and knowingly violated the <laughs> store discount knowingly. policy uh -huh. to save 42 cents each yes. on a console. Uh, Your Honor, you, we cannot o emphasize enough how much of a bad employee this guy is. Let me tell you a little story. We had an internal test about servers we needed our business employees to know. He failed that test and would refuse to retake it or learn it again. We're dealing with a real... I don't want to be disrespectful to the court, but we're dealing with a real douchebag here, sir. I don't know how else to put it. So we're looking for anything wrong to fire him for at all. And uh, this employee discount was kind of like our shot. So that's the long and short of it. What do you think? Like you, act, and he, he said this because this was the HR employee he's talking to from Best Buy. Uh -huh. He's like, you really think Phil did this? Like he said, I, I have a plan where I want to save like a dollar forty. And so I'm really sorry, sir. Uh, again. I know this is about $2.70, but I really want to make sure you understand. I can't emphasize this enough. He is the worst employee we have. Uh, please take that into your consideration, sir. I'm going to abuse the store discount policy. Uh -huh. And he even asked me, he says, do you have any other evidence? Do you have any other examples of where Phil could have violated the store discount policy? Mm, no, it's tough, to, it's tough to have documentation about just being a general asshole that doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, there's a lot of cases like that. No, we don't. And the judge immediately said, okay, well, I rule in favor of Phil. He's going to get full unemployment. And I also am going to be a sub to his Patreon. And uh, Phil, if you want to further pursue this with a lawyer to sue them for wrongful termination, you can do that. <laughs> um, yeah, of course. Yeah. If you want to sue them for $18 million, you totally could, dude. Just lawyer up. You know, based on this ruling. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. okay. So that's what happened. And this was so many, many. If that was the case, why don't you do it then, brother? Many, many years ago, okay? This is like the mid-2000s. Uh, if you're so confident in your case, go ahead and do it. Happen. What are you scared right. of? So this is a situation where that's wrongful termination of an employee, okay? Uh, okay. Now, in regards to Twitch... Not learned about Twitch. No, I never ended up suing Best Buy over that wrongful... A <laughs> Great question, by the way. Day tomorrow. Oh, by the way, Toad, the, doc the court documents, we showed them earlier in the beginning of the stream, they just say that, yes, he, he was... Uh, it, it's, it, we do believe that Phil's story that he is not gaining profit from these consoles. That was it. He's not getting profit from these from these consoles. That was what their judgment was. No, I never ended up suing Best Buy over that wrongful termination because uh -huh. essentially what happens is if you sue for wrongful termination, yeah. you can sometimes get damages, but usually they're not a lot. A lot of the times what happens is you get your job back, but the job didn't even exist. Like I said, what they had done is they had phased uh, So you would have got something, though. They have to give you something, position. right? I was on a uh -huh. business team. That business team didn't exist anymore. So even if I had sued... For wrongful termination and it went for like a year uh -huh. i might have gotten a job back at best buy that wasn't equivalent uh, to what i even uh, had yep. <clears throat> and by the way do i really <clears throat> want to fucking work there after that of course i don't so of course i, I don't so no I, I didn't want to get those big settlements dude this is i took my unemployment i won my unemployment hearing i took it and i just accepted it and i went and i got to a, got a better job so nice. sound good <clears throat> <clears throat> because they framed me there and that people basically talked we're almost done. Because they thought that the online component was the all that, that I was. It wasn't. Um, but yeah, by the, the end of my run, I was respected as a player and <laughs> as a tournament organizer. <laughs> even though I didn't necessarily always get to play high level in Super Turbo tournaments because they weren't prominent, uh -huh. I was still running tournaments for the other games. And people were actually. Uh, I've shown you those. Uh, I've shown you those threads about him being a current organizer, and no one liked it. <clears throat> <clears throat> people were actually appreciative of what I did for the community for a few years there. Uh -huh. I was putting a lot of time and effort into making the community better. I mean, that's why I lost my job at Best Buy, because they framed me for bullshit, because I bought <laughs> PS2s to run a tournament with, you know, out of pocket. I didn't make any money running the tournament. Uh, excuse me? Uh, employee discount, sir? You kind of left that out. PS2s to run a tournament with, 
you know, out of pocket. I didn't make any money running the tournament. In fact, I lost about, uh, I'd say probably about $700, $800 running that tournament. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Alice uh, what about the employee discount, sir? Telemon, to me, $1. fifty. So I hope Street Fighter 6 is good and you play it a lot. And you'll go to you kind of left that part out, Philip. but okay. Oh, Vice City, big ups. What? Why is the door closed? God. Here. We ain't got no suntan. We ain't got no Rat either. caught in a box here. What are you doing? Yeah, I'll, I'll send you to, uh, it looks like, I think, let's see, who's streaming right now? Because I think Meerkat bowed out because he's not feeling good. So I'll probably send you to, looks like, the, oh, Taken L's. I have Detractor Beam and Nerd Brew Gaming, so I'll send you there. Oh, and Lee is, uh, as well. So you have many choices today, my friends. And we went to Orlando. Okay. Oh, here we go. When I was, well, first of all, when I was a kid, I went to Florida vacation with my parents, and we okay. went to Orlando, okay? But then later on, in the mid-2000s, yep, what I had an internship with a life insurance company. Right, we're not hearing about that. We got to get to the finish. We're speed running now. For example, I worked for Best Buy, uh -huh. and Best Buy did not like me because I was working on a business team. I was more paid. I was higher paid than most people in the store. Ah, so now the only reason they don't like him is because he was too highly paid. Sound good? Don't think about it. It makes sense. The business team within a year failed. They didn't want to have the business team anymore. They were trying to find ways to get rid of us or shift us into other positions. Mm -hmm. I was outspoken against store leadership saying, you guys made the team fail because you're not giving us any resources. You're Another example of Phil bitching at management for not letting him be successful. You're basically screwing us over. Oh, excuse me. S -s -s so they hated me in the store. Uh -huh, they right? hated you. So they framed me. Did they fire me and say, <laughs> oh, you're not a good worker? No, because I was a good worker. I was making sales. I was doing all of this. But they didn't want me there anymore because I was making too much money. Uh -huh. And because, basically, there was no more need for a business team anymore. So they framed me and said they... that I violated the store's discount. We're framing DSP. Quick, we're framing DSP. Pass it on. 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 ...policy when I didn't. I filed for unemployment. I won the hearing that we had because they tried to fight it and say, you don't deserve unemployment. I won the hearing. The... Yeah, like, they, like, that's how Best Buy was. They tried to make sure he didn't get unemployment. Like, they, they went the extra mile, dude. <laughs> extra mile. The judge essentially laughed at them in the hearing. Uh, the judge essentially laughed at them in the hearing. Yes, he thought, it was, he, thought he was watching a stand-up uh, routine. Um, I could have sued them for wrongful termination and actually won the court case and got my job back. But the thing is, there was no point. Number one, my position didn't exist anymore. Number two, I didn't want to work for a scumbag company like Best Buy. Uh, scumbag, you dude. See? So how did Phil get them back? He bought uh, discount DVDs to really fuck them up. See? But this is the point. Like, it doesn't matter. If a company wants you out, they'll just lie to get rid of you. I know. They'll wait for you to fuck up and then fire you. Yes. They don't care. Uh-huh. Right? Oh, this person is a liability or this person is, you know, someone we don't like. Fuck them. Right? Just get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to That's me, dude. Okay, sounds good to me. Next, Pokemon. Aerial Ace, come on, Cider. Jim Trollin says, That's when Domino's was best. I missed that, Philly. Do they not have it anymore? Okay. Back when I was very, very poor, I worked at Best Buy. Uh oh. And I had like poor. no money ever. Uh huh. I was always. So little money that we were buying McDonald's twice a day. Keep up. Bro, because I could barely afford to have my apartment that I, I, I uh, split with two other roommates. Uh -huh. It was pretty expensive where I live. So all I had a, a money for was like rent and basics. So what I would do McDonald's. is I would order the 555 deal oh. that they had at Domino's back. Well, I thought you went to McDonald's twice a day. Now we're talking about we had 555 deals. Hype. Today, if you don't know what that was, it was three medium pizzas of <laughs> any kind oh, oh. for $5 each. Man, why does the, why is the ant keep giving him his ant keep giving him gout? We got five, five, five. Including the deluxe specialty pizzas. So I would do the Philly cheesesteak pizza, the uh -huh. ultimate meats pizza. Oh and God, the God. Something else too. Like I would just get a ton of pizza, uh -huh. and it would be fifteen bucks for all of that pizza. And now, by the way, those three mediums, the mediums essentially at Domino's are like a small anywhere else. Oh, oh yeah, don't think they're too big, guys. They're totally small, dude. Very small pizzas. Uh, but you could still eat, like, a meal would be like three to four small pieces of the pizza. And you could stretch it. <laughs> I'll take the ultimate gout pizza, please. Okay, that's the extreme meat. Sure. Now for two, three days, you could just eat Domino's. And I did that, but I was at my, my unhealthiest and fattest uh, and poorest. I essentially would do this, and then I would eat Domino's for three days straight. That's all I would eat. Hype, dude. 
That's breakfast nice. would be the ultimate meats. Hi. And then dinner would be some of the leftover Philly cheesesteak. Wow. Hype, dude. Huh? Fucking hype, man. And you and, and but it's still your aunt's fault you got gout though, right? It's not your fault. <laughs> the best buy was also fucked up and corrupt, and they basically completely destroyed the entire idea of a business team that I was working for within a year, and I left there. Uh, then I went to uh, a helicopter. Uh, 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 uh. How, how did this employment end? Destroyed the entire idea of a business team that I was working for within a year, and I left there. Uh, then I went to a helicopter company. I left I there? For four and a half years. Okay, sound good. I left there. Okay, okay. I left there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Yes. cool, cool. However, it's not like when Machinima broke. Machinima broke the contract. It was amicable. So when uh -huh. you think this green screen was given to me in the mid two thousands. Oh, two thousands. When I worked at Best Buy uh -oh. for business. Oh. I oh. went on a business trip to Florida. I can't remember. Okay. Whatever. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Are we serious here? No, wait. <laughs> was it? No, but yes. No, but in a, in, a, in in somewhat yes. Maybe no. Hold on. Well, in in a real sense, it was, but then also in a more negative sense, no. I can't remember. Yes, we went to Florida. <laughs> That's when I went to to uh <clears throat> Miami Beach, or was it South Beach? South Beach. Whichever one I went to. Okay, I, we went there for training for Best Buy for Business, the business team that I was hired for, to sell computers and technology to big ups. Dude got free training in fucking owners, like Miami networks, hype. Point of sale sounds fun to me. Registers and things like that through Best Buy. Uh huh. Sounds hype. We went dude. out there. Uh -huh. They wanted us to do a mate a video using Best Buy technology, so they gave us like a laptop, editing software, green uh -huh. screens, video cameras. We'll we try to finish by two. Video. I promise into the program and stuff like that. Yep. And so basically they wanted us to do like a a 10 minute video, like a, like a comedy video or a mock-up, something to, to show like their ridiculous, silly, stupid uh -huh. things. So silly, um, stupid. Yep, so silly. Hold on. Hold on. I got to Hold on a second. Quick poll. Trying to get the zombie. Hang on. Oh, quick. Ah, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. God damn it. Let me do one more real quick. Oh, oh Jake the Snake. Shit. Hold on. Let me try one more. Oh, Road Dog. That's pretty good. I like DX. Oh, no, one more. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, one more. Let me do another one. Uh, Undertaker. I already have that one. And yeah, let me do one another one real quick. This is, I'm not pausing, by the way. I want to work with Let me do one more. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Whew. I got distracted. Yokozuna. So, I don't want anyway, that one. Okay, next one. There's nothing wrong. Stupid email. Like, what is this? It's nonsense. Okay, so. While we were there, they wanted us to do a video, an edited video to like promote Best Buy and the new Best Buy for Business team. So they handed us a whole bunch of shit, and one of the things they gave was the green screen to film. And we actually tried to implement it in a shot. It didn't look good, of course. We didn't have professional lighting or whatever. But I always kept it. If I was like, maybe one day I'll actually do something with this. I'd be Order. interested in video editing or videography or something like that. <laughs> um, the thing is, I don't have anything to hang this with. Like, it didn't come with a stand. It didn't come with anything. It's just a cloth. So... I can't do anything with it. It's nice to have something like this. Uh, Eventually, yep. maybe I could use it. Now, okay, there's no way to hang things on walls without professional hangers, right? The other green screen that I had that you guys are thinking about, okay? And you're thinking about the giant green screen that I okay. bought that was like... Not hearing this story. Like Your former Best Buy manager tipped me a $1.50 and says, what game would you rather play right now? A new Elder Scrolls? Former huh? Best Buy manager... Oh, yeah, this screen name. Listen to the screen name carefully. Listen, listen. Wow. Your former Best Buy manager tipped me a dollar fifty and says, "What game would you rather play right now? A new Elder Scrolls or a new Street Fighter, without rollback netcode? Why did you steal our PlayStation 2s for your tournaments? Ding dong die." <laughs> That's a hundred percent a LARP, and he doesn't care. Uh, you know, I'm sure a new Elder Scrolls would be absolutely amazing. He answers. I just want to play a good fighting game. He answers the question game. legitimately after saying "ding dong die." That would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> I just want to play a good fighting game, a new good fighting game. You know what I mean? And Street Fighter for me has Come been a franchise on, that I played since the day it hit American shores. He answers in like the question seriously after the guy says "ding dong die." And I love that franchise right, for 30 years of my life. It's been a part of my life. <laughs> And for the last, like, six, seven years... <laughs> oh, I should have titled the stream Ding Dong Buy. Did I like working at Best Buy? Was there a good side to the job? Three more! Yeah. Basically, the people who I worked with were kind of cool. The problem was the management were a bunch of fucking jokes. No As usual. They didn't know how to manage. They didn't know how to run a business. Uh -huh. The business itself didn't know how to run itself. Like, seriously. Uh -huh. like, 
when I started there, the whole idea was Best Buy for Business. Start we're having this new small business team. You guys are going to market to and sell to small business owners. So you're going to sell them point of sale systems like cash registers, uh -huh, scanners. Sound good. Sell them networking for their store. You're going to sell them projectors to show off products and presentations. You're going to do all this. So they hired a bunch of us to do it. And then within six months, they lost their way. They lost their direction. They, <laughs> they lost their way. We got there. We lost. They lost their way, dudes. Kind of direction of how we were supposed to sell. They weren't even giving us exclusive products to sell. Uh -huh. People didn't even know we existed in the store. Uh -huh. They didn't know there was Best Buy for business. So no one was going into Best Buy looking to buy equipment for their small business. So we had nothing to do. We walked uh -huh. around like idiots selling computers to normal people. Because there was nothing else to do. They wouldn't let us go to business mixer. We walked around looking like idiots. We walked around like idiots selling computers to normal people. Because there was nothing we look, walked around looking like idiots selling computers to normal people. Imagine that. Hey, you're such an idiot, dude. Stop selling normal computers at Best Buy. They wouldn't let us go to business mixers. They wouldn't let us advertise. They wouldn't let us do anything. So we business mixers? Kind of sat around doing nothing. Um, that was my experience with Best Buy. And then basically, in the end of the year, I worked there. They wanted to get rid of me because they thought I was getting paid way too much money for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, there it is. They got paid way too much money. What a great experience with Best Buy. The store uh -huh. manager hated us, didn't want us in the store, but felt like we was a necessary thing because his boss told him. The manager hated us. No, they just hated you. Let's get that straight. About it, that they to have it. Uh -huh. Basically, it was a big joke. It really was. It was a big fucking joke. Big but joke. that's how most retailers. I'm serious. Like most retail is run completely inefficiently. There's one desk of big wigs at the headquarters who make all the decisions, and everyone around them are yes men. Oh, yes, yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. and no one fucking says shit, and the whole company just, just, you know. They... I've had enough. Your best buy. What I was gonna say was, I used to see when I used to work at Circuit City, and then later at Best Buy, they yeah. used to pull that shit where it'd be like. Look at this PC that looks totally weird. Oh, but that's for your media center, right? So play all your music and movies through this. And it was like, well, how do you do it? Oh, here's a bunch of memory cards, burn a CD. It wasn't practical. Like today. <laughs> burn a CD. It wasn't practical. We have those. You want to know what those are called? Amazon Fire Sticks or what's the Google version? There's two or three different versions. There's the Apple version too. They're tiny little already. devices you simply plug into your... I don't want to hear a dented explanation of Fire Sticks. The best buy job that uh -huh. I had had. And... All right, moves. I applied at, the, at that place because, yes, because my dad was working there. Oh. And I had three different interviews with three different, completely different departments. One was uh, line level customer support. His dad was probably like, all right, dude, I really want him to get hired here. So could he like interview for like every place you got? You know? One was a materials department. And one was, I for, actually forget what the third one was because that department ended up changing right no, now. His dad didn't work for Best Buy. His dad worked for, he's talking about Skorsky. So I'm going to cut this now. Last video right here. Then we're out of here. And. I mean, the whole idea of a doorbuster is bad anyway. Oh God, Most of the deals that they advertise for doorbusters, doorbusters aren't real deals, or they only have so limited. Like, when I worked at Best Buy, oh God. they'd be like, oh, doorbuster deal. This PC that normally is a $1,000 PC is going for, like, four fifty. Uh -huh. Guess how many of those they had in the store? How many? So one person would get it, and then everyone else, they'd be like, oh, so we're out of that oh. one, but here's another one that's similar, but, you know, it's not the same one, but you should get it. And it was always junk. It would be like... That PC actually was only uh -huh. worth like $500 and we're selling it yep, for 450 yep, 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 But you should whatever. say it's equal. All right, I'm done. I'm and checking out. <laughs> I'm done. I've had, it's been too long. Everyone, thank you for hanging out today. It's been a lot of fun. Sorry it's not the normal stream because I know everything didn't work in terms of pulls and animations, all that fun stuff. But it was still fun hanging out, I hope. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving if, for those celebrating. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll fix everything. So, uh, you know, we can get a true Ask the King action happening tomorrow night, evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and enjoy the rest of the big apocalypse happening today. So, again, you're going to get redirected after the outro song, of course. Just a heads up, my, my transitions are all messed up, so this transition is going to be, I don't know what's going to happen, actually, when I hit transition, but the outro song's coming up. You're all legends. Thanks for chilling. Next week, we'll get to Sikorsky, so you better get ready for that. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow on WPIG and Sunday with Atlas the Bookkeeper. On that being said, you're all legends, all right? Never forget it. Thanks for hanging out, all right? We'll see you there.